can support us, completed Novel House in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story, chapter 1141 Xian Hai, here I come an officer from the Jiujiang station. When Mr. Wang heard these few words, he started to frown involuntarily. I have never required their help before. Go and tell him to return. After all, they won't be of much help anyway. Mr. Wang, you have been busy recovering your body and lecturing your classes, so you might not know this, the worker from the university said with a smile on his face. In the past half a year, the Jiujiang station has been breaking one major crime case after another. Even if you compare them to the law enforcement over the whole country, you will see that they are the best of the best. The reason I needed to recover my body is related to the Jiujiang station, so I have nothing to say to their people, and I do not care about how many cases that they have solved. Mr. Wang appeared like he had once worked at the Jiujiang police station, but due to various reasons, his relationship with the station was rocky at best. Like I said, tell him to leave. I am sure they currently have many cases to handle. They should not part with one of their people just to accompany me. The university worker looked at the police officer standing next to him helplessly. The rather old police officer walked toward Mr. Wang and said, Brother Wang, Captain Yen has returned. He is now the leader at the local station. Captain Yen? Twenty years ago, he was the young man who requested for the case to be reopened due to the problems that he had discovered about two weeks before you did. He is now the leader at the Jiujiang station. It is under his brilliant leadership that we have managed to solve so many major cases. The old officer appeared to recognize Mr. Wang. Brother Wang, the current local station is no longer the same as it was. The reason I am here today is because of Captain Yen. In fact, if possible, he wishes to see you in person before we depart. After all, you were the only person who lent your support to him back then. When Captain Yan's name was brought up, Mr. Wang was silent. I do not have the face to see him. Closing the notebook in his hands, Mr. Wang handed it over to Zhu Han. Don't you suspect that the haunted house is really haunted? Perhaps this notebook will help guide you closer to the discovery of the truth. Sir? I feel well rested already. Today, we will depart to Xian Hai. It was as if Mr. Wang had turned into a different person. The presence that radiated off him was completely different from before. You still have not changed after all this time. The worker from the university shook his head. We have already prepared the transportation for you. You can depart at 2 p.m. Before that, you'd better rest as much as you can. After stretching lazily, Chin Gu was woken up by the alarm clock. After a quick freshen up in the bathroom, he hurried to open the door. Ever since he obtained the black phone, his every day had been filled to the brim with meaningful events. Be it morning or night time, almost every hour of his life was occupied by some important event. After doing the makeup for his employees, Chin Gu stood inside the dressing room. Watching the employees chatting among themselves, he too felt quite relaxed within that atmosphere. If only this kind of life could continue forever. After he had finished the makeup for everyone, Chin Gu called for a simple morning meeting to discuss the future direction of the haunted house with his employees. You are all now experienced actors at the haunted house. You have plenty of experience in this field and are more than capable of handling any type of sudden accident so I am not worried about leaving the haunted house in your care. Boss, how come it sounds like you are going to leave us behind and go for a long trip away all of a sudden? Xiao Gu was wearing the Dr. Skullcracker outfit. He pulled off the mask with both hands. Director Luo has just bought the biggest haunted house in Xian Hai. In the near future, I will move over there to open our first branch. After the situation at the branch has stabilized, I will return here. Opening the branch was the second important mission, the main reason Chen Gu was going there was because he wanted to deal with the cursed hospital. Currently, all the clues pointed toward the cursed hospital. His parents might be found there as well, so he had to go there no matter what. Boss, our situation here has just stabilized. 
Isn't it a bit too rushed to suddenly open a new branch? Zhang Jingjiao had experienced the nastiness of society before, so his thoughts were rather more reserved. Our base will still be this haunted house in Jiaojiang. The branch in Xian High can only be called a trial. Chen Go looked at his employees. Now, I will assign all of you some work. After I leave this place, the scenario above ground will all be handled by Su Wan. I will also hand her the temporary key for the haunted house to Su Wan. Xiao Gu, if you run into any problems, you should go to Su Wan or Uncle Su for help. Okay. The underground scenarios will be handled by Wu Jinpeng. Chen Gu turned to look at the handsome uncle with the single ponytail. What, me? No, no, I can't do it. Wu Jinpeng quickly waved his hands. Do not worry, there are people who will come help you. This here is the list. Later, you shall go to the underground scenarios to communicate with them and see if there is anything you guys can do to ensure the operation can run smoothly. The whole room was filled with his trusted confidants. Most of the living employees had survived a life or death situation with Chen Gu before, he would not worry about leaving his life with them. Chen Gu handed a name list to Wu Jinpeng. It had names of several people like Dr. Wei and Ou Bai on it. After being given the name list, Wu Jinpeng slowly calmed down. Now that the people in Jiaojiang have been arranged, I will discuss the people who will come to Xi'an High with me. Chen Gu turned to look at Zhang Jingjiao and Chu Changlin. Changlin, you have personally worked at that haunted house before. I will give you the task to design the various scenarios and mechanisms for that haunted house. From today onward, you will be the designer of the props used in the scenarios at that haunted house. Chu Chang Lin was especially proficient at building various kinds of haunted house props and mannequins. The man himself was originally Shang Guan Qing Hong's employee, but he was lured over by Chen Gu to work for him. Shang Guan Qing Hong did not even attempt to train you to your full potential. But now, I will provide you with a large enough stage so that you can showcase your talent as much as you can. Chen Gu had ultimately fulfilled his promise to Chu Chang Lin. Back when they first met, Chu Chang Lin was just a bottom feeder who was not given much attention, and now he had been promoted to the main designer at Xian High's haunted house. That was a promotion that skipped several steps. Thank you, boss. This appreciation came directly from Chu Chang Lin's heart. Chu Chang Lin will be responsible for the design of the set and props, the rest will be handled by Zhang Jingzhou. Chen Gu valued Zhang Jingzhou a lot. He had rescued this employee from Liwan City, and since he started working for Chen Gu, his improvement could be seen with naked eye. He had familiarized himself with the operation at the haunted house in a mere few days and could often provide unexpected help to Chen Gu. For example, when Chen Gu was fighting Lu Gang online, it was Zhang Jingzhou who led some of the fans to lead Lu Gang slowly into the trap. In terms of business management and interpersonal relationships, Zhang Jingzhou had done better at these compared to the other employees. Now that they were going to a new location, Chen Gu required such a talent. Furthermore, it appeared like Zhang Jingzhou himself came from a wealthy background. His own family business had been in operation in Xi'an Hai for years already. Combining all these different factors, Chen Gu decided to select Zhang Jingjiao as the branch manager. Boss, I am afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, you are the most suitable candidate. After saying a few more words, Chen Gu had his employees return to their posts and started the business for a new day. Later tonight, perhaps I should use the nightmare mission coupon that I won from the Wheel of Misfortune. After completing this daily mission, I can consider moving to Xi'an High. Chen Gu had done everything that he could do, he had drawn practically all of the ghosts from the Black Phone's Wheel of Misfortune. Even though there were still some unexplored ghost stories left in Jiaojiang, exploring those deeply hidden stories would take weeks or even months. Chen Gu did not have that much time. The most important thing to do now is to set the scene as soon as possible by sending Xiao Sun into the hospital. That is the most crucial part. After witnessing Xiao Sun's talent in person, Chingu desperately wanted to send brother Sun into the cursed hospital. 
The popularity of the new Century Park haunted house was rising day by day on the internet. It attracted many foreign visitors. The income of theme park had steadily increased. In contrast, there were endless problems with the futuristic theme park. After two directors had been hospitalized, the upper management had been thrown into yet another power struggle. Many basic employees had no idea what was happening, and that seriously impacted the visitors' overall experience. All in all, New Century Park had already stabilized the situation, and it was time to overthrow the enemy. That noon, Chinga suddenly received a call. It was from an auntie. She told Chin Gu that the doctor that Chin Gu had once introduced to Jiang Ming could no longer be contacted. Before this, the communication had gone smoothly. The preparation for the cochlear operation had been done already, but the doctor had suddenly gone out of contact, and this caused Jiang Ming and his mother to be extremely nervous. Chin Gu asked the auntie for a few more details, and only then did he find out that Jiang Ming's mother had already taken Jiang Ming to Exian High. With the auntie's help, they had found a cheap rental home to stay at. The operation was originally planned for the following day, but the surgeon had suddenly disappeared, so all of them were panicking. This can't be dragged on any longer. I shall depart for Exian High today. Chinga knew very well that the doctor in question had already had some problems before this. His disappearance probably had a lot to do with the cursed hospital. If he hurried over, perhaps there was still a chance to save that doctor's life. With a human life on the line, Chin Gu did not hesitate. He rushed back into the haunted house and informed Chu Chun Lin and Zhang Jingzhou to pack up their stuff after work that day, and they would meet up at Xian Hai's haunted house the following day. Since Chu Chun Lin had worked at the haunted house before, Chin Gu did not have to purposely jot down the address for him. Picking up his backpack, Due to the suddenness of the event, Chinga only took most of the red specters and the more dangerous specters that might go out of control when he was not around with him. Old Bike can look after White Tiger when I am gone, and I will leave the Dr. Skullcracker costume for Xiao Gu. I will instead bring some of the new costumes with me. Perhaps they might come in useful. A haunted house prop that looked as suspicious as the Dr. Skullcracker's hammer would never pass the security check. So Chingu decided to figure out a way to book a car to head to Exian High. Taking out his phone, Chingu made a call to Li Jing. Brother Zhong, there is something that I need to report to you. When Li Jing got Chen Ji's call, his heart dropped into his stomach. Why are you reporting to me? It makes it sound like you are part of our major crimes unit. If it is nothing important, you can talk to me after I am off work. We're still busy dealing with the case at Jiu Hong Apartments. It's like this. There is a Dr. Fong from Xian Hai who has suddenly disappeared. Based on his various actions, I suspect he is currently in a very dangerous situation. How would you come to know a doctor from Xian Hai? Since this was related to a human life, Li Jing pulled his attention immediately. Chen Gu summarized how he got in contact with Dr. Fang and the history of Jiang Ming and his cochlear operation to Li Jing. You're putting me in a very hard spot. All I can do is help you contact the police at Xian High and inform them of the severity of the situation, pushing them to launch an investigation. Li Jing had his own difficulties. He was a police officer in Jiaojiang, and the case in Xian High was beyond his jurisdiction. Brother Zheng, can you send someone to accompany me to Xian High? If I go on my own, I definitely cannot convince the officers at Xian High. They will not believe my story either. That will only waste precious time. Perhaps, because of this, it might cause us to lose the precious time that could be used to save a human life. Chen Gu was telling the truth. If not for the fact that Chen Gu had helped the Zhejiang police so many times and cooperated so many times with them, meaning they could be sure that Chen Gu would never lie, they would not trust him so implicitly. Li Jing also knew that Chen Gu was most likely not lying. He paused for a long time before he said, We are seriously understaffed at the moment, but I heard from Captain Yen that Ol Wu will be heading to Xian Hai for a mission this afternoon. You can hitch a ride with him. Thank you so much. 
forgive me for asking this, but how is he going to Exion High? He will be taking a transport assigned by the Jiujiang Medical University. The mission that he was given was, I believe, related to a lecturer from that university as well. But don't get ahead of yourself. This might not work. Let me go and inform Captain Yan of this first. Li Jing hung up the call while Qin Gu carried his two large bags and called a cab to head to Jiujiang Medical University. On the way there, Li Jing came back with good news. Captain Yan had approved for Chen Gu to tag along with Ol Wu and the people from Jiujiang Medical University. At 1.30 p.m., Chen Gu finally managed to contact Ol Wu. He placed his two large bags in the trunk. When he got into the car, he was greeted by Mr. Wang's dark face. He had just been scared until he fainted by this man before him, but now they had somehow found a way to sit in the same car. Mr. Wang did not even know what to say. He had many thoughts in his mind, but he did not dare voice them. He appeared to fear Chin Gu without even realizing it. Mr. Wang, let me make the introductions. This is Chin Gu. He has helped us solve the case of a hidden body inside cement, abandoned bodies inside an old well at a school, a killer on the loose at the third sick hall, the case of Jia Ming killing his wife. Old Wu gave a random repertoire of Chen Ji's history, and it shocked Mr. Wang. It feels like you two share a very good relationship, as close as actual colleagues. Mr. Wang once again studied Chen Gu. He really could not figure out how a haunted house would come to help the police solve so many major crimes. Was the haunted house boss actually an undercover cop? I guess you are not wrong that. There was this week when I encountered him six times. At the time, we were working three shifts per day. I met him more often than I encountered my actual colleagues. Ol Wu was once rescued by Chin Gu, so he had a good impression of the young man. Captain Yen and Inspector Li value his opinion as well. They often joke among themselves that it was such a loss to the law enforcement that this kid chose to open a haunted house and not serve the force. With Ol Wu there, the atmosphere in the car was not that awkward. After they got on the highway, Chin Gu drifted off to sleep. At 4 p.m., Ol Wu first deposited Mr. Wang at his assigned living area, and he continued to drag Chin Gu to locate Jiang Ming and his mother. Xian Hai was much bigger than Jiu Jiang, they traveled for a very long time before Ol Wu found the place. He parked the car in front of a rather old looking apartment building, and Chen Gu got his two large bags out of the trunk and entered the building. Room 202, is it? I'm on my way. After hanging up, Chen Gu raced up the stairs and knocked on the door of room 202. It was an auntie who opened the door. Chen Gu had met her at Jiang Ming's home before. She was very kind and passionate. Chen Gu. I know that you are not a bad person, but the doctor that you recommended has suddenly disappeared. We really do not know what to do. You need to first change the surgeon for Jiang Ming. The disappearance of Dr. Fang cannot be explained in a few words. Chen Gu thought about it and then said, Have you contacted the police? No, Dr. Fong has not taken our money, so there is no reason for us to report to the police. The auntie was really nice to have stayed with Jiang Ming and his mother for emotional support. Leave this to me then. Chen Gu helped Jiang Ming contact another doctor. After he consoled them, he led Ol Wu directly toward the hospital where Dr. Fong worked. Chen Gu, are you sure something has happened to Dr. Fong? It is very inconvenient for you to carry two large bags like that. How about we find a place to stay first? Ol Wu noticed the sweat on Chen Ji's head, and he knew that Chen Gu was really desperate. Dr. Fong has come into contact with things from that hospital. If we do not hurry to find him, I am afraid we might not be able to find him at all. Chen Gu knew that Dr. Fong was a very good doctor, and it was because Dr. Fong was the best in his specialization so he was worried that the cursed hospital might have gone after him. Chapter 1142 A Good Person? There are still three and a half hours until night falls. We have to investigate the places that Dr. Fong has been to before he disappeared, Chen Gu said adamantly. 
when he stayed together with Ol Wu, those who did not know would assume he was the police officer and Ol Wu was just the driver. As Ol Wu drove away, he could not help but ask in confusion, why can we only conduct the investigation when there is still light? Do you have something else to do at night? The city will not be safe at night. Xian Hai is the safest city on the northern side of China. Some of the business areas here operate for 20 hours. It has the nickname, the Eastern City, that never sleeps. Ol Wu gripped the steering wheel. Shouldn't you youngsters be more familiar with these things than me? Chinga smiled but did not explain. Twenty minutes later, they arrived at Xian Hai Second Hospital. The whole of Xian Hai City had 11 top-grade hospitals, and the second hospital that Dr. Fong was posted at was ranked at the forefront of the ranking and situated at the busiest part of Xian Hai. Chin Gu and Ol Wu, who was wearing his police uniform, walked to the administration counter. Hello, I would like to ask you some questions about one of your doctors here. The nurse on duty initially did not want to respond to Chin Gu, but when she saw the uniform that Ol Wu was wearing, her attitude became much better. With the accompaniment of the nurse, Chin Gu came to the unit for ENT specialists. There was currently a doctor who was inspecting a patient's body. Dr. Fong has missed work for many days now. I personally have no idea what is going on. The doctor inside is called Dr. Zhao. He is Dr. Fong's closest colleague and best friend, so he should know some information. After leaving that nugget of information, the nurse of duty left to return to her desk. Chin Gu and Ol Wu waited for Dr. Zhao to finish his consultation with his patient before they entered his room. Which one of you is the patient? Dr. Zhao was very busy. He appeared like he needed a very good rest. He had heavy bags under his eyes, and he looked rather dispirited. We are not here to consult the doctor. Chen Gu pointed at Ol Wu next to him. This is one of the best inspectors from the major crimes unit from the police station. Chen Gu did not introduce himself and did not specify that Ol Wu belonged to the Jiujiang's police station. Even though his entire sentence was nothing but the truth, it gave off the feeling that both of them were people sent over by Xian Hai's police station. Inspector? Dr. Zhao immediately understood the severity of the situation. Are you here for Dr. Fong? Looks like you really do know something. Chin Gu planted himself on the chair, and the real police officer, Ol Wu, stood at the door. I told the officer from your station the actual details yesterday, but I did not expect another visit from your inspector again today, so it looks like Dr. Fong has already. Dr. Zhao did not finish the sentence but the intention that was in his words was not lost on everyone inside the room. Do not ask questions that you should not. You only need to tell us the information that you know. Chen Gu picked up a piece of paper and a pen from the table and prepared to start his inquiry. The feeling that he gave off was very professional. The past few weeks, Dr. Fong has been performing very badly. He even made a mistake during one of his surgeries. The number of patients who have complained about him has grown larger and larger. This would never have happened in the past. Ol Fong is the best ENT specialist we have ever had. Could Dr. Fong's mental condition be related to his family members? I saw Ol Fong's family just yesterday. His wife and daughters are perfectly normal. They couldn't be more worried about him. Oh right. Something appeared to have just occurred to Dr. Zhao. From what Ol Fong's wife told me, Ol Fong would often spend time mumbling to himself, saying things like they are coming soon, they are very happy, and they are already here. They are already here? Was someone following Dr. Fong and stalking him? Ol Wu closed the door of the consultation room and walked over. He did not expect to stumble upon such a curious case as soon as he arrived in Xian Hai with Chen Gu. A few days before he disappeared, Ol Fong had serious problems sleeping. He kept hiding next to the bedroom window holding a knife and would keep sneaking glances outside the window as if there was someone standing there outside their house. His wife and daughters were very afraid, and they could not help themselves from looking out the window as well, but they never see anyone out the window. There was no one down there. 
Dr. Zhao sighed. Ol Fong's wife prepared to book an appointment with the psychologist here for him, but before the appointment could be arranged, Ol Fong disappeared. Dr. Fong's wife and daughters did not see anyone outside the window, yes? Chen Ge repeated as confirmation. Ol Fong's wife did not see anything, but his youngest daughter yesterday told the people from the police station that there was a woman who would not stop smiling hiding at her home. A woman who could not stop smiling? Chin Gu narrowed his eyes, and the name instantly floated up in his mind, non-smilers. The station naturally sent people to check Ol Fong's home, and they did not find any traces of this mysterious woman. They concluded that Ol Fong's daughter had probably been under too much pressure lately, so she had been seeing things. The things that she saw would still be related to her own memory. The woman who kept smiling would not appear out of nowhere in her mind. They should have followed this thread much further. Chin Good did not go into deep criticism about the things the police from Xian Hai had done, all he wanted to do now was find Dr. Fong as soon as possible. Dr. Zhao, do you know who the last person who saw Dr. Fong was? I believe that person would be me. Dr. Zhao looked like he had aged several years in this short questioning. Ol Fong had just re requested half a month off but before his holiday was over, he suddenly came back to work a few days ago. From the looks of it, he appeared rather normal, so I believed he had recovered. At the time, I did not think too much of it, and I even invited him to go have a few drinks with me after work. Dr. Fong disappeared at the hospital? For now, the evidence appears to suggest that. After his shift ended, no one saw Ol Fong leave the hospital. He locked himself inside his own room. I have no idea what he was doing inside. When I came to work the next morning, people told me Ol Fong had already disappeared. Dr. Zhao was filled with regret. If only I'd paid more attention to him that day, perhaps things might have ended up differently. You should not blame yourself, this has nothing to do with you. You did everything you could. Chin Gu frowned deeply in thought as he tried to think back to his first phone conversation with Dr. Fong. Dr. Fong had indeed mentioned he was being followed by non-smiler, and he had also brought up the recent reconstruction of the hospital's storeroom and his finding an envelope in the old storeroom. After opening it, he had found a letter that requested him to go to an abandoned hospital at midnight. If he refused to do so, something bad would happen. Dr. Zhao, a few weeks ago, your hospital updated the hospital storeroom, didn't it? Did Dr. Fong visit the old storeroom at the time? How did you know that? Dr. Zhao was truly surprised. From his point of view, the renovation of the storeroom was a completely different separate from Dr. Fong's disappearance. There was no connection between the two at all. Try to think back to that period. Did the strange behavior about Dr. Fong start during the time he entered the old storeroom? Chen Gu put down the pen he had taken and placed the paper note on which he had jotted down the important information into his pocket. Now that you mention it, that does ring true. More surprise appeared on Dr. Zhao's face. The feeling that Chen Gu gave off was completely different from the local officer that had visited him the previous day. No wonder you guys are inspectors. Even such details do not escape your notice. If it is not too much trouble, do you mind bringing us to visit the old storeroom now? Of course not. Besides, the place is pretty much abandoned now. Dr. Zhao was very good friend of Dr. Fong's, so he was more than willing to help. After informing another doctor of his departure, Dr. Zhao led Chen Gu and Ol Wu out of the hospital. The old storeroom is not at the hospital? Chin Gu asked with curiosity. A few years ago, our hospital changed address. The storeroom is still at the old address. The old hospital only has a few specialist units left over there. Twenty minutes later, the three arrived at the hospital's original address. After they got the key from the manager, they entered the old storeroom. The place had just been cleaned, and the rows of shelves were all empty, there was practically nothing left in the room. When you guys were cleaning up the room, which area was Dr. Fong responsible for? I believe it was at the inner part of the storeroom. 
Dr. Zhao took out the key that would open the iron door leading deeper into the storeroom. Due to the aging electrical circuit, the lights inside are not functioning that well. The place is very dim. The nurses at the time refused to go with him. If I'm not mistaken, Ol Fong entered the place on his own that day. The middle of this storeroom is partitioned off with an iron door? Who designed the place like this? What is the purpose of this? I have no idea. The three entered the inner room and discovered things that would never be used at a hospital, like an old, white wedding dress and pairs of shoes covered in a layer of dust. Inside the dark room, just these rows of tattered shoes gave off a very creepy feeling. I have no idea why these things would be found here. The old gentleman who guarded this place when it was built passed away many years ago. This place is commonly locked up. If not for the fact that the new hospital director wanted to redo the storeroom, no one would have known that there were so many shoes abandoned here. Dr. Zhao held the flashlight and keys. His heart was palpating with an indescribable fear. There are all different styles of shoes, and the sizes are all different. Is it possible that one of the former guards here liked to collect dead people's shoes? Could he have stolen all of the dead people's shoes and then stored them here? Chen Go mumbled to himself. He did not notice the expressions on all Wu and Dr. Zhao's faces that had gotten paler and paler. I have to say, if you don't mind, your supposition is rather unbelievable. Dr. Zhao pointed at the surrounding shelves. All of these shoes on the shelves were once worn by dead people? I realize the process of thinking for you inspectors is really different from us normal people. Ol Wu touched his nose. He wanted to say something else, but after what Dr. Zhao said, he suddenly did not know how to voice his thoughts. Chen Gu, who walked at the front, did not answer. He suddenly stopped after walking past two shelves. The shoes on the earlier few shelves were all neatly arranged. How come only the shoes from this shelf are on the ground? Someone has tripped here before. Narrowing his eyes, Chen Gu compared the location where the shoes had fallen and tried to reconstruct what happened that day. Someone who was about my height found something around this spot where I am standing. He was shocked, and his body knocked into the shoe rack, so the shoes got knocked off and spread to the two sides. Chen Gu had very sharp observational skills. Just based on where the shoes had landed, he had managed to come up with many reasonable hypotheses. What shocked the victim probably suddenly appeared behind him. When he turned around, he lost his balance, and he knocked into the shoe shelf. Chen Gu locked onto a direction and walked toward there. Scanning the shelves on the side with Yin Yang vision, he came upon a discovery. What's this? There was a small paper ball hidden in a very inconspicuous corner at the bottom of the shelf. Chen Gu opened it up, and there was only one sentence on it. Do not enter the last and innermost room. Dr. Zhao, take a look at this. Do you think this is Dr. Fong's handwriting? Chen Gu handed the note to Dr. Zhao. After taking a look at it, the latter shook his head. It is not Dr. Fong's handwriting, but it has appeared where Dr. Fong's accident happened. It can only mean that someone was kind enough to warn him of the danger before he came in here, but unfortunately, he did not notice it at the time. Chen Ge held on to the paper note. This was a very important clue, so he had to look after it. Dr. Zhao, do you still remember the people who came with Dr. Fong to this storeroom that day? I do. Among them, do any of them have similar handwriting to this writing on the paper note? I do not think so. The handwriting of most doctors is very hard to read because we need to write prescriptions very fast. Dr. Zhao confirmed it one more time and finally said that the note was not written by the people who went with Dr. Fong that day. It was not someone from the hospital, huh? Chen Ge frowned, but after a while, he said, to enter this place, one has to first get the keys from the management center. Could it be that someone there passed this note to Dr. Fong? Since they could not find more clues at the old storeroom, Chen Ge took the paper note and hurried back to the management center. After comparing the handwriting, Chen Ge noticed that the handwriting on the note was very similar to one of the managers. The manager had the surname Qi, 1. 
It was a very rare surname. Chen Gu put away the paper note. He looked at the pictures of the employees that were posted on the wall and asked very loudly, I am so sorry, but is Chi Ren here? Is he on duty today? Brother Ren asked, for holiday a few days ago. Is there anything that you want me to tell him when he returns? The people at the center thought Chen Gu and Ol Wu were inspectors from the Xi'an High Station, so they were very cooperative. When he heard that Chi Ren had not been to work for several days, Chen Gu immediately had a bad feeling arise in his heart. Can you give me Chi Ren's address? We wish to ask him some questions in person. This is very important. The people at the management center hesitated for a while before they finally gave Chen Gu the address of Chi Ren's apartment. Brother Ren does not like to communicate, he normally will not talk to strangers. So, I advise you to be prepared for no one to answer the door. The people at the management center had bitter smiles when they mentioned Chi Ren. Does he have any strange habits, or has he done anything strange before? There is nothing particularly strange about him. Oh, right, Brother Ren, I am sure, lives alone. In his employment information, he stated very clearly that he has no family, but he occasionally mumbles to himself, saying terms that are very scary like Qi Shou, 2, Qi Yan Jing, 3, Qi Bai, 4, and so on. Just the mere mention of these terms made the person at the center feel uncomfortable. One time, I could not help myself and asked him why he kept saying these things, and then he told me all those terms were the names of his family members. He sure comes from a very strange family. Who would even think of naming their children like that? Chen Gu did not finish the other half of the sentence. He had a feeling that this family who had the surname Qi probably had some kind of relation with the non-smilers. With this useful information, Chen Gu had Dr. Zhao return to his post while he and Ol Wu traveled to Qi Ren's apartment. They knocked for a long time, but there was no answer. In the end, it was the landlord who had come over to tell them Chi Ren had not returned for days. The landlord revealed some very important information as well. The last time Chi Ren left the apartment, he was carrying a very large bag. It was filled with water and a lot of food. It was as if he was preparing for some incoming danger, and he was going into hiding. If my assumption is not wrong, the reason Chi Ren gave Dr. Fong the note was because he wanted to save Dr. Fong, but he failed. He was worried about the non-smiler's revenge, so he hurried and packed up to run away in the night. From how Ching Gu saw it, even though this Chi Ren had a very strange name, he believed that he should be a good person. Looks like if we want to find Dr. Fong, we need to find this Chi Ren first. He will be our next lead. Hopefully, he can give us more information that might help lead us to Dr. Fong. Chapter 1143, Which is Scarier, Me or the Curse? Chen Gu had Ol Wu show the landlord his real identity, and then the two of them were given the permission to go inside Chi Ren's room to check. It was clear that Chi Ren had left in a hurry. The food that he ordered was abandoned, unfinished on the table, various clothes were abandoned on the couch, the drawers were left hanging open, the room was chaotic and unkempt, like it had been entered by thieves. Did Chi Ren tell you where he was going? No, but recently, he has been calling someone. I overheard him begging that person to let him stay with them for a while. During one of the phone conversations, he even got into a huge argument with the other person. The landlord pointed at the wall. This is an old apartment, the walls are thin. Chi Ren might look very honest normally, but he can be quite scary when he is angry. Then, did you happen to overhear any names or locations? Chen Ji's expression was serious. I think they mentioned an eatery called Shirley Xiang, and the owner of the eatery appears to have the surname Chi as well. The information provided by the landlord was very limited, so during the course of conversation, Chen Gu silently released Men Nan into the room. When they were conversing, Men Nand checked every room rudimentarily, but he did not come up with anything. After leaving the apartment building, Ol Wu drove Chen Gu and hurried toward Shirley Xiang. The shop was situated on the busiest street in Xi'an High, Destiny Avenue. 
Coincidentally, Shang Guanqing Hong's haunted house was close to Destiny Avenue. The two locations were in the same business circle. Destiny Avenue has bright lights 24 hours a day. There will always be a crowd here, making it a clever choice for a hiding spot. In places where there were many people, it would hinder the movement of baleful specters. Even red specters would be influenced. Brother Wu, you can just leave me at the eatery. I have troubled you too much already today. When we have the time, I will definitely treat you to a meal. Are you sure you can handle this alone? This is Xian Hai. You do not know anyone here, so please do not go and do anything dangerous on your own. Ol Wu gave Chen Gu his own phone number. If you run into any trouble, give me a call. I will do everything that I can to help you. Thank you very much. Ol Wu was on an official assignment to accompany Mr. Wang. Due to that, he could not stay with Chen Gu for too long, but just due to the fact that he was willing to bring Chen Gu to Xian Hai, the latter was very thankful. Carrying two large bags, Chen Gu eventually found the eatery, Shirley Xiong. The shop was not that large, but there were many customers. There was a very long queue that led out the door. The place has quite a good business. Chen Gu queued for about 15 minutes before it was his turn. He looked at the food inside the counter, and the delicious smell of food hit him. Boss, how come your food smells much better than other shops? That is because it is cooked with a secret sauce that has been passed down through the family for generations. I can guarantee that you won't be able to taste this delicacy anywhere else. The boss was a big fatty, and he looked incredibly jovial. Then, why don't you give me one of everything on the menu? I am particularly fond of meat. When Shinga said that, he stealthily observed the boss and the employees. He did not notice any issues. This appeared to be a very normal eatery. After paying the money, Chinga left carrying a large bag of food. The sky was darkening, but the streets were still filled with cars. The place did not die down, if anything, it became even more crowded. Ultimately, Xian Hai is a big city. Chinga carried two big bags and the bag of food and found Shang Guanqing Hong's haunted house on the corner of the street. Compared to the main avenue, there were obviously fewer people here. When I came here last time, this haunted house still belonged to someone else. Just as Chen Gu stepped into the haunted house, an employee came forth to welcome him with passion, but when she saw Chen Ji's face, she immediately retreated several steps. Chen. Chen Gu. The female employee had a very deep impression of Chen Gu. After all, it was due to this scary man standing before her that her own boss had been hospitalized twice. You will have to call me boss in the future. New Century Park has already bought this place from your previous boss. Chenga took out the proof of purchase from his backpack. Go and summon all of the free employees. I have something to announce to all of you. The nemesis had become their new boss, the expressions of all the employees in the lobby turned very ugly. The way they looked at Chen Gu was how a hapless victim would look at the villains in TV shows. To them, Chen Gu was the kind of villain who would not stop even when he had already pushed the victims to the brink of a mental breakdown. Don't just stand there, go. Chen Gu did not intend to bully these employees. Even though it was this haunted house that first ruffled his feathers, Chen Gu was not a narrow-minded person. He had already forgotten about those offenses in the past. About ten minutes later, a few employees in ghost costumes and makeup rushed out from their posts. Counting the receptionist and the floor boy responsible for cleaning up the place, there were about five employees gathered in the lobby. How come there are so few of you? Where are the rest? Is this some kind of rebellion against me? In Chin Ji's impression, when he came last time, this haunted house had at least ten employees. Due to the dwindling number of visitors and the withholding of the salary, combined with the rumors of this place being haunted, many people chose to leave, the female employee said softly. Since we are currently so understaffed, we only have our two most popular scenarios open for now. With such a good spot in the city, how is the number of the visitors dropping? Looks like Shang Guanqing Hong really needs to reflect on his job. 
Chen Ge looked at the remaining five employees. Zhang Guanqing Hong has already sold this place to me. If you are willing to continue working here, I welcome you to do so, but if you wish to seek employment elsewhere, I will pay the salary that Zhang Guanqing Hong owes you, we shall have a good parting. When Chen Ge said that he would pay them their owed salary, the remaining five employees wavered. In the ending, including the female receptionist, four of the employees chose to resign. Chen Ge cleared the debt that they were owed on the spot. You guys do not need to come back tomorrow. I wish you the best of luck in finding a better job. After dealing with that, the four employees removed their makeup and costumes before departing. The large haunted house only had Chen Ge and a female employee left. Why didn't you resign with the rest of them? Chen Ge looked at the female employee, and he thought that she looked rather familiar. I actually sleep here. If I leave this place, I won't even have a place to stay anymore. You should have saved a bit of money, since you've worked here for quite some time, right? How come you still haven't rented a place for yourself? When Chen Ge asked that, he had forgotten that he himself had been staying at his own haunted house. My younger brother has a poor physical constitution, he needs the money for his treatment and education, so I try to save wherever I can, the female employee said softly. She appeared to be very afraid of Chen Ge, but for the salary and a roof over her head at night, she forced herself to stand where she was. Family troubles are sometimes the hardest to solve. I understand. Chen Ge nodded. Why don't me add my phone number first? I will send you the salary that Shang Guan Qing Hong owes you. From now on, you shall stay here to continue to work. Thank you, boss. Have we met before? I keep feeling like you look very familiar. My name is Hu Dai. Everyone calls me Xiao Dai. When you came to visit last time, it was me who played the pen spirit game with you, the female employee answered softly. So that was you. Without the makeup, I couldn't recognize you. Chinga finally realized who she was. When he played the pen spirit game with Xiao Dai, during the second round, he had taken out the ballpoint pen where the pen spirit was hiding, and he had scared Xiao Dai until she fainted. To avoid the awkwardness, Chen Gu changed the subject, the people outside keep on saying that this haunted house is really haunted. I think you have personally experienced it before, so why do you insist on working here? Are you not afraid? In this world, there is nothing scarier than poverty. Xiao Dai squeezed her hands together. She seemed to come from a very bad family. Don't think about those unhappy things anymore. Keep working at this job. I do not dare guarantee that you will get rich, but I can at least promise that you shall one day get double your current salary. Chen Gu did not like to give empty promises. Once he said something, he would try his best to make it into a reality. The employee benefits I have are much better than what Shang Guan Qing Hong gave you so I suggest you find a place outside of this place to stay. Do not take this as me chasing you away, but after I visited this place last time, I realized that there is indeed some problem with your haunted house. Chen Ge started into Xiao Dai's eyes. There are certain things here at night. For your own safety, you'd better move out and find a place to stay. Xiao Dai nodded. She looked rather pitiful. Come, bring me on a tour of the haunted house. Last time I was here, I went through the place in quite a hurry. I believe I have not seen many of the scenarios before. Chen Ge and Xiao Dai entered the haunted house. Before they visited much scenarios, Xiao Dai's phone suddenly rang. Seeing the caller ID, Xiao Dai very embarrassingly excused herself to the side and answered the call. Sis, where are you now? Can I stay with you guys tonight? A male voice came from the other side of the phone. One could hear the voice trying to hold back his tears. Xiao Dai was caught in a conundrum. Chen Gu had just told her she could not stay at the haunted house overnight, so she really did not know how to answer her own younger brother. But don't you have the permission to stay at the dormitory? How come you have sneaked out? I really cannot stay there anymore. Are they bullying you again? Xiao Dai was rather angry. Sis, don't ask me anymore. I am now at the entrance of your haunted house. 
Just let me stay with you for one night, the boy pleaded. Xiao Dai turned to Chen Gu helplessly. Before her lips opened to say anything, Chen Gu already nodded his agreement. That's fine. He can stay here tonight, but this is not going to work for the long term. You'd better find out why he is unwilling to stay at his dormitory. Thank you, boss. Xiao Dai hung off her phone and ran out of the scenario with Chen Gu. When they arrived at the lobby, there was a lanky high schooler with very fair skin standing there. He had a very small frame and wounds on his face. He was holding a pair of glasses that had been stomped. On and broken. How come you came here on your own? When Xiao Dai saw the boy, she hurried over. She took a wet wipe from under the counter and cleaned up some of the dust stuck to the young man's shirt and arms. I will go and find some bandages. Stand here and don't go wandering anywhere. After Xiao Dai left, the lobby only had Chen Gu and the high schooler left. Your school allows their in resident students to wander out of the campus at night? Chen Gu placed the two big bags he was holding on the seat. He fetched two cups of water. He placed one before himself and the other before the young man. The male student did not accept the water offered by Chen Gu, he did not seem to like Chen Gu. Are you my sister's colleague? How come there are only the two of you here tonight? Do you have a problem with that? Chen Gu took a sip of the water and smiled. They were not on the same level at all. Xiao Dai's younger brother stood transfixed. He held the broken glasses and did not dare say a word. Moments later, Xiao Dai ran out with the haunted house's first aid kit and dressed her younger brother's wound as best as she could. During that period, Xiao Dai asked her brother what had happened many times, but her brother clammed up like a shell. After she was done with his wounds, the young man grabbed his school bag and raced into the haunted house. He appeared to know where the staff break room was, so this should not be the first time he had run to the haunted house to seek help. Who you on? Wait a minute. Xiao Dai shouted twice before the high schooler stopped moving. I do not know anything. Can you please stop asking me questions? Hu Yuan had great emotional swings. It was a clear representation of his inner emotional state. This is my new boss, Chen Gu. If you want to stay at the haunted house, you must at least get his permission first. That is basic manners. Xiao Dai dragged Hu Yuan to stand before Chen Gu. He can stay here tonight, but what can hiding here one night change? Chen Gu walked to stand before Hu Yuan. Fear will not dissipate because you run away from it. Eventually, you will have to face it. Why don't you share your problems with us and let me and your big sister help you? Ever since he obtained the black phone, Chen Gu had met many problematic children and had collected many useful experiences when dealing with him. With his coaxing and persuasion, Hu Yuan finally told the truth. There were four students in his dormitory room, and the other three kept on ganging up on him. Normally, he would have just ignored them, but that afternoon, after school, the three bullies shoved an envelope to him. Hu Yuan did not want it. In the end, the three of them stayed to make horrid jokes about his sister, and that angered Hu Yuan enough to get into a physical fight with them. The thin Hu Yuan was naturally not their match. After being beaten up, he did not want to return to the dormitory room, so he chose to come to his sister's place. It was typical school bullying. Xiao Dai was very angry, she wanted to go to the school to talk to the teacher tomorrow. They wanted to give you an envelope? Chen Gu caught on to this strange detail. Did you take the envelope in the end? Chao Fei shoved the envelope inside my pocket. I initially wanted to throw it away but I hesitated after I saw the content of the envelope. Hu Yuan took out an envelope from inside his school bag. I don't think you guys should look at it. I will figure out a way to deal with it later. Actually, Chen Gu did not mind this detail, but when he saw the envelope, his eyes slowly narrowed. There was a very dark print left on the surface on the envelope. Why would there be human blood on the envelope? Chen Gu took the envelope and held it in his hands. Ignoring Hu Yuan's protest, he opened the envelope. 
Other than a few strands of hair of varying lengths, there was also a patient list. The list did not have the patient's name, but there were a few sentences written with red ballpoint pen on the back. Please clip a piece of your hair and place it inside the envelope and hand the envelope to the next person. If you do not pass the envelope to the next person before night falls, I will appear inside your house at 4.44 a.m. If you do not pass the envelope to the next person within the next three days, I will appear before your eyes at 4.44 a.m. A cursed letter? How juvenile. Studying the hair inside the envelope, Chinga knew that many people had received this envelope already. You'd better return the envelope to me. I heard Chao Fei say that he really saw something last night. Hu Yuan reached for the envelope but was evaded by Chin Gu. At your current age, the most important thing you need to focus on is your studies. Just ignore everything else. Chin Gu patted Hu Yuan's shoulder. The person who handed you this letter is called Chao Fei, correct? Yes. Does he also stay at the school dormitory like you? What do you plan to do? Hu Yuan was stunned. He turned to his big sister, but Xiao Dai also had no idea what Chin Gu was planning. I planned to appear beside his bed at 4.44 a.m. tonight. Chin Gu put the envelope away with a smile. I'm just kidding. You must be tired. Go in and get some rest. His expression was normal and easy, like nothing had ever happened. Chin Gu had Xiao Dai lead him to visit the rest of the scenarios, and then he locked himself inside the headmaster's office. Nightmare Academy sets are slightly better than my own haunted house. The props alone are worth quite a pretty penny. Chin Gu flipped through his comic and had his red specters check every corner of the haunted house. After ensuring that there were no hidden dangers, he sighed in relief. There are two things I need to do tonight investigate the eatery and find the source of the cursed enveloped. Chen Gu had seen many patient records, but this was the first time he had encountered one without a name or picture. After midnight, I will go and visit Chao Fei and trace it back student by student. Eventually, I will come to the source. Chen Gu placed both of his legs on the headmaster's office table and switched into a more comfortable posture. The school is a place for education, those that target students shall never be forgiven. Chapter 1144 Perspective of the Victims at 11 p.m., inside the male dormitory at Xian High First High, the lights went off. The three male students in room 408 had already locked the doors and windows and crawled into their beds before the lights went out. Old Chow, are you sure that you saw five people in the room last night? There was a rather well-built student sitting in the second bed, which was next to the window. He was wearing a basketball top and the poster of a basketball athlete was pasted on the wall beside his bed. Why would I lie to you? The student in first bed was bare-chested. There were two night lights next to his bed, and he wore a pendant with a jade around his neck. Initially, I also thought that cursed letter was nothing but a joke, so I did not give it much thought. Who would have thought there would be an actual extra person appearing in the room last night? Chao Fei, who was in the first bed, pointed at the window next to the second bed. At the time, the person's face was pressed against that window. I personally saw him open the balcony door and enter the room. Throughout the whole process, he had his eyes fixed on me. Then, doesn't that mean he was just standing beside my bed? What the f asterisk ck? Why didn't you warn me at the time? Some warning would have been helpful. I really wanted to say something, but I realized I could not make any sound from my throat. Do you know the feeling of having a ghost pressing on you, holding you down? It felt just like that for me last night. Chao Fei kept gesturing with both of his hands. Can you describe what that person looks like in more detail? The student in the third bed removed his glasses and rubbed his eyes. He was very thin and tall. The textbook next to his bed had his name on it, Tian Yuan. I also cannot remember it that clearly anymore. I just felt there was someone there. He had been watching me as he slowly approached me, Chao Fei said as he reached over to switch on the night lights. Tonight, I am going to sleep with the lights on. 
brothers, you won't mind, right? Look at how cowardly you are. If you ask me, this is because you have done too many bad things, and it was your guilty conscience coming to get you. Tian Yuan picked up the textbook next to him and resumed his study. He was a very hard-working student, but that did not change the fact that he too was a bully. Speaking of which, who gave you the cursed letter in the first place? Who have you offended lately that wanted to do something like that to you? Oh, it was nothing like that. The letter was given to me by my girlfriend. I saw how scared she was, so I voluntarily took it from her. Who knew the content of the letter would be true? The bedside lights cast a halo on Chao Fei's face. Once he reminisced about this incident, he could not stop the cold sweat from forming on his face. You are always the first to act like a hero, but now that you have to suffer the consequences, you have dragged all of your buddies down with you. I really do not know what to say other than thank you, the male student in the basketball tank said sarcastically. Sigh, when will I get a girlfriend of my own? Are the girls nowadays not into jocks? Brother Zhuang, that is where you are wrong. I stopped the tragedy before it could get to the rest of us, because I have already given the letter to Hu Yuan. He is not at the dormitory at the moment, so that ghost should have followed him home already, Chao Fei said in a hushed tone. Tomorrow, when he comes back to class, we will try to get some information from him, and we will frighten him even more and try to make him to stay away from the dormitory for the next few days so that the ghost will keep on following him back to his place. What if he insists on coming back here? Tian Yuan put his pair of glasses back. That weakling does not dare fight back. Even if he does fight back, what can he do to us? It was clear that Chao Fei looked down on Hu Yuan. The only thing that he is going for him is his sweet older sister. Do you people know what time it is? Why aren't you sleeping yet? Turn those lights off. The door of the dormitory was knocked on, and the dormitory manager shouted from outside the door. The people inside the room quickly moved to oblige. After the dormitory manager left, Chao Fei used the blanket to cover the night lights and he whispered to the room, I am not going to sleep tonight. I will keep my phone on and take a picture of the ghost for you to see. I wish you best of luck. If you manage to get the picture, remember to wake us up. The bedroom became very quiet, and no one was speaking anymore. Chao Fei buried his head under the sheets and started chatting with his girlfriend by a text. Young couples at the start of their romance had many topics that they would talk about and without even realizing it, they had chatted until midnight. Looking at the amount of battery left, Chao Fei prepared to bid his girlfriend goodnight. The dormitory that they were in did not have a place for them to charge their phones. If they wanted to do so, they would have to wait for the next day when they went to class. His fingers moved on the screen. Before Chao Fei could send the word goodnight, he suddenly heard a weird voice in his ears. It sounded like the room door moving. He immediately yanked back the covers and turned his gaze to the door. The door was closed, and there was nothing out of place about it. He looked around. The inside of the room was intensely quiet, so quiet, in fact, that he could hear the breathing of his other two roommates and the sound of the beating of his heart. Brother Zhuang? Brother Yuan? Are you guys asleep? There was no response. Chao Fei snuck under the covers again. This time, he only allowed his eyes to peek out from underneath. The phone kept vibrating, his girlfriend was sending him new messages. Chao Fei was feeling weirdly frightened. The only person that he could talk to now was his girlfriend. Chao Fei? Why have you suddenly stopped talking? Have you fallen asleep? Come and chat some more with me. I am a little bit scared. Xiao Lu, our bedroom suddenly became very quiet. It is so quiet that even the buzzing of the mosquitoes has disappeared. This is so strange. Please don't scare me like that. Have you passed the cursed letter on already? Yes, I gave it to one of my roommates. He is not staying with us tonight. When Chao Fei typed those letters, he heard another strange noise in his ears. It sounded like the water dripping and falling on the ground because the tap was not shut tightly. 
then it should be fine. Don't scare yourself. The curse has already been passed on to another person. Let's hope so. After Chao Fei replied with that message, his gaze moved away from the phone screen and toward the window. Just as his eyes moved over there, they froze instantaneously because there was a face looking at him from the balcony. His eyes blinked, and in that short moment, the face had already moved to stick itself against the glass window. Blood slid down the glass window. The handle that led to the balcony started to turn on its own. Chao Fei grabbed his phone like it was his lifeline. His heart would not stop racing. His limbs were as cold as ice, but the oxygen around him appeared to have ignited. The balcony door that was locked from the inside was slowly opened. The temperature inside the room dropped drastically. Following the dripping sound, a man wearing a drenched red shirt appeared inside the dormitory room. The closer he got, the more twisted Chao Fei's expression became, but he found out that his body could not react at all. The blood slid down to the floor, and the stinging stench of blood rushed into his nostrils. The hair that was slick from water stuck on the man's face. Only an eye that had no pupil stared at Chao Fei through the gap in between the hair. Why? I have already sent the cursed letter away. Why have you still appeared? It felt as if a pair of hands had gripped Chao Fei's heart. His eyes were widened to its maximum. Following the sound of water dripping, a hoarse voice came out from behind the curtain of black hair. Why do you always bully me? Whenever Chao Fei blinked, the person would teleport one inch closer to him. Why would you give me that letter? The soaked body was standing next to him bed. The eye that was fully white stared closely at Chao Fei. Why would you say bad things about my big sister? Why would you not let me lead a peaceful life? Why? Why? What have I done to you? Why? Why? His tone was getting more and more maddening. The red specter who was drenched leaned close to Chao Fei's face. The wet black hair lingered on Chao Fei's face. A deaf man's pale face stared deeply into Chao Fei's eyes. Why did you want me dead? You are. Who? Who you on? His body was leaning tightly against the headboard, Chao Fei's body was frozen like ice. His pupils rolled upward, this scene was far beyond the threshold of horror that he could stomach. S body went. Limp on his bed, and the smell of ammonia later filled up the room. When you bully those weaker than you, you are like a horrible ghost, but when you run into an actual ghost, you perform even worse than those bullied by you. The soaked red specter picked up Chao Fei's phone and looked at the messages on it. What are you doing? How come you stopped answering my messages? Are you still worried about the cursed letter? As long as you have passed the letter on to another person, the curse will not come to harm you. Do not worry. The curse will only harm the latest unlucky B asterisk starred. The two of us will be fine. Reading these messages, the red specters revealed a wicked grin. It was already 1 a.m. Her roommates were all asleep, but Zhang Lu kept the night lights beside her bed on. She crossed her legs on the table as she applied something on her nails and glanced at the phone screen. How come he has not replied? Zhang Lu's fingers glided on the phone screen and wrote, Do not worry. The curse will only harm the latest unlucky B asterisk starred. The two of us will be fine. The screen in the dark finally lit up. Chao Fei had finally replied to her message. Where are you now? Zhang Lu found this question weird, but she still replied, I am in my dorms. Where else would I be? What's wrong? I'm coming over to you now. Now? Zhang Lu looked at the time on her phone and quickly typed back a few words. Stop kidding. It is already one in the morning. I have already exited the male dormitory. Are you really coming over now? I have already reached the bottom of your building. But the doors to the female dormitory should be locked already. How are you going to get in? I have reached the first floor already. First floor? Zhang Lu looked at the messages that kept on coming. 
the frequency of the messages had suddenly increased. It made Zhang Lu feel very unsafe and uneasy. Chao Fei, I am warning you, don't play such childish pranks on me. I have reached the second floor already. I have reached the third floor already. I have reached the door of your room. The messages on the phone gave off a very strange and scary feeling. Zhang Lu gripped her phone tightly. She had a sudden feeling that it was not Chao Fei who was messaging her. When Chao Fei was chatting with me earlier, there was a long period when he did not reply to my messages. He claimed to have run into a ghost. The more Zhang Lu thought about it, the more scared she became. She planned to wake up all her other roommates, but no one responded. After about 10 seconds, there were no more new messages on her phone. Zhang Lu looked at the screen of her phone and silently slid to the door. She summoned all the courage that she had and slowly pushed the door open. In the dark corridor, other than the night breeze, there was nothing else. I knew it was a prank. Zhang Lu bit on her lips. Her face had blanched from the fear, but that fear turned directly into anger. She fired a voice message to Chao Fei. You sick be asterisk starred. Do you think it is fun to scare me like that? Where exactly are you now? Moments later, Zhang Lu's phone got a new message. Look behind you. Zhang Lu slowly turned around, and the face of a dead man suddenly appeared behind her. Why would you want me dead? Hanging up the phone, Wei Lijia cursed under his breath before he entered the bathroom of his own apartment. There are so many rich people in this world. How come I am the one who is so unlucky? The man reeked a beer. He slumped down on the toilet and looked through the message history on his phone. You can get much from threatening high schoolers anyway, and I still need to share the earnings with Chao Meng. F asterisk CK. All he does is give me orders and stern faces. He really thinks he's the mafia boss? Just wait until I climb higher than him. I swear I will work him to death. At this point of his complaint, Wei Lijia suddenly felt a pressure on the back of his neck. He lifted his head to look up in a blur, and he realized that there was a man in red shirt who was dripping wet standing at the top of his head. The blood leaked out from the shirt. Wei Lijia blinked several times, and the alcohol dissipated from his bloodstream immediately. Who gave you the cursed envelopes? Chao. Chao. Chao Meng. The man did not even take the time to put his pants on. He jumped up from the toilet and rammed into the bathroom door. He ran into the living room but was tripped by his own pants, which were tangled around his ankles. The sound of blood dripping echoed in his ears. He tried his best to crawl toward the door until his head bumped into something. Lifting his head to look, a fatty with an impossibly large body was reaching out to grab his head. Help! Help! Hmm. Chao Meng, who was busy partying at the nightclub, suddenly got a call from Wei Lijia. Due to the booming music, he could not hear what the man was saying. With great annoyance, he left the dance pool and entered the bathroom alone. You'd better have something important to tell me to disturb me when I'm partying. He waited impatiently for a while. Just as he was about to hang up, an unfamiliar voice suddenly came from the other end of the line. Why did you hand me that cursed envelope? What envelope? Why would you want me dead? Wei Lijia, if you really want to know, the answer is that there is no reason. I just want you dead. So, what are you going to do about it? Someone has gotten too big to work for me, is that it? Chao Meng hung up the call, directly. His mind was still on the girl that he had been dancing with earlier. Grabbing the door handle of the bathroom, Chao Meng was heading out when a pale hand suddenly appeared on the door handle, placing itself on his own hand. What the f asterisk ck? Chao Meng whipped his head around, but he did not see another person in the bathroom with him. Have I had too much to drink tonight? Just as he was confused, he heard a small voice from one of the cubicles. It sounded like the sound of a woman. He slowly approached the cubicle. Just as Chao Meng was about to reach the cubicle, the door slithered open, and a slender leg that was so white that it had no color to it extended out. 
A woman has snuck into the male toilets in the nightclub? I should teach her what kind of danger she might run into doing something as reckless as that. Chow Ming's heart was palpitating from the dirty thoughts. With the buzz of alcohol clouding his mind, his eyes could not stray away from that leg that appeared to be inviting him. Just as his eyes were fixed on the leg, a breathtakingly beautiful head dropped down beside that leg. She was staring at Chow Meng with the most beautiful smile. Chow Meng's body stopped moving. In that moment, Chow Meng felt that even his own heart had stopped beating. His mind was drawing a blank as he collapsed to the ground. At 4.40 a.m., Lan Xiaochen had just finished giving a horrible review to a horror movie that he had not even seen. Naturally, that got a strong reaction from the fans of the movies. He happily starting to troll these people. This was the happiest moment of his everyday life. The pressure that he suffered during the day was released at that moment. He enjoyed eliciting anger from others and felt a sense of satisfaction because these people were unable to do anything to him due to his anonymity behind the screen. You guys should be thankful that I have spent the little precious time that I have to write a review for your beloved movie. What more do you want from me? He trolled the people for about 10 minutes until he was banned by the moderator. Lan Xiaochen slammed heavily on the keyboard. Such cowards. But never mind. He scoffed chillingly and opened a new sub account to continue his trolling in the movie review segment. He used the worst language to curse all those people. How I wish my curses could turn into reality and ruin the things that this group of trash values so much. Lan Xiaochen stared at the ID of the moderator on screen and looked at all his sub accounts as his comments were deleted. He took out an envelope from his drawer. There is only one last envelope left. I wonder if it will work on an internet ID. The time passed, by second, by second. When it was 4.44 a.m. on the clock, Lan Xiaochen stuffed the written letter into the envelope, but before he could even seal it, the lights in the room suddenly all went out. What's this? A power cut? The light from the streetlight filtered into the room. Through the dim lighting, Lan Xiaochen realized that a few shadowy figures were flickering inside his room. Chapter 1145, From Today Onward, We Are Friends A heavy stench of blood permeated the air. The originally spacious room suddenly felt so incredibly crowded. The chilling cold light from the screen lit up his surroundings. Lan Xiaochen stood before the computer table, holding the cursed envelope, and slowly turned around. Who's there? Come out and face me. The man who was normally so courageous and fearless shouted loudly in the direction of the living room. Unfortunately, all that replied to him was the static of electricity. Inside the empty living room, the television set was suddenly switched on, and the black and white static appeared on the screen like snowflakes. Lan Xiaochen picked up the badminton racket next to his computer table and slowly nudged step by step to the living room. Perhaps it was a psychological trick or something else, but he felt a sense of deja vu regarding this whole situation. A barely discernible sound of crying came from a corner of the room. The computer suddenly started to play the horror movie that he had been watching earlier. The segment that Lan Xiaochen had critiqued as extremely cliched to the point of boring him was replayed again and again. The things that occurred to the main character inside the movie when he was watching a horror movie had replicated it perfectly now in his real life. The familiar conversation floated out from the speakers. The heavy breathing and the nervous tone kept on stimulating Lan Xiaochen's brain. Even though he was unwilling to admit it, he was really afraid at that moment. Come out now. Or I will call the police. An overwhelming sense of helplessness overcame his body. Lan Xiaochen yelled at the living room as if raising his voice might increase his courage. He was facing away from the screen of the computer as he moved to the door between the living room and his bedroom. He noticed there was a bloody handprint left on his front door's handle, as if someone had opened the door from inside his house. At that moment, the horror movie playing in his computer reached its climax. The male main character realized that the ghost from the horror movie he was watching had escaped into his own home. He wanted to escape from his house, 
but he suddenly noticed that the door of his house was locked. Seeing the bloody handprint on the door handle, Lan Xiaochen suddenly realized that someone had entered his own house, this place was no longer safe. He moved very slowly, but as he approached the front door, he suddenly picked up speed. When both of his hands gripped the door handle, he realized, no matter how hard he tried, he could not turn the door open. Fear had completely swallowed up his sense of rationality. The man who thought he was so above other people, the man who spent his daily nights trolling fans of different horror movies, that man felt the prick of fear for the first time in his life. How come the door won't open? He shook the door as hard as he could, but the door refused to budge even an inch. However, blood started to leak from the edges of the door. The main character on screen was caught in the same conundrum. He took out his phone to call the female lead for help. In real life, Lan Xiaochen also took out his phone in a panic. However, this person had no close friends, so he was calling the police for help. The scene in the movie and the scene in real life had run parallel, and the result was surprisingly similar. The phone call was soon answered, and a stranger's voice came from the other side of the line. You cannot escape. Trickles of blood and pale faces started to appear in the room. Shadowy figures wearing red outfits surrounded Lan Xiaochen, who was so scared that he had started to convulse. Lan Xiaochen, who was never afraid of voices' opinion and who was always ready for a fight on the internet, was currently shivering with the corner of his mouth bubbling with white froth, calling his mother with tears in his eyes. A boy in a red shirt dragged Lan Xiaochen to his side. He opened the front door, and there was a young man carrying a backpack standing outside the door. He is the source of the curse? Not even a red specter? The young man entered the room and closed the front door behind him. So, I was getting excited for nothing. Sitting on the sofa, the young man took out a comic from his backpack, and he started to flip through it. A pail of blood splashed on the top of Lan Shachin's head. The man instantly waved his hands as if he was thrown inside an icy pool. His first instinct was to cry out for help. Chen Gu, wouldn't it be much easier for you to have Zhang Yi look through his memories? Why waste time with this extra step? Men Nan clamped his hand over the Lan Xiaochen's mouth. He looked at the sticky white stuff on his palm and felt disgusted. Zhang Yi's ability is to hide and remove part of one's memory. If this man's memory has already been tampered with, Zhang Yi will not be able to recognize it. To prevent us from being misdirected, I prefer hearing the truth from the horse's mouth first. We cannot afford to be too careful. Chen Gu was a very cautious person. He first wanted the young man to very carefully think over the things that he had done. Hey, I will ask you a few questions now. I hope you will answer them honestly. If I find out you're lying, I will make you see how difficult living can be. With his brain slowly coming back online, Lan Xiaochen was half lying on the ground. He used the remaining energy in his body to force his head to nod. Just from the tone that he employed, Lan Xiaochen knew that the young man sitting before him was someone he could not afford to offend. Lan Xiaochen might not be afraid of anything or anyone on the internet, but in real life, he was even more cowardly than a mouse. Who gave you the blank cursed letter? No one gave it to me. I stole it from an abandoned hospital. Lan Xiaochen placed the envelope on the ground with his trembling hands. This is yours, right? I won't dare do this again. Please forgive me. Someone like you dared to sneak into an abandoned hospital to steal something? You have to be kidding me. The incredulity was clear on Chen Ji's face. I made a bet with someone on the internet that we would all go spend a night inside that hospital. I was just saying it for fun. Who knew they would really come to Xi'an High in person? I could not hide from them, so I was dragged by them along to the hospital. Where is the exact location of that hospital? The hospital was in Xi'an High's countryside. The surrounding area has basically not been developed. It's a very desolate place. Lan Xiaochen was clearly at the point of crying already. There were three of them in total. They were all visitors from Zhejiang. 
Jiujiang must be a very incredible place, because each of them was more courageous than the next. Who knows what kind of training they underwent daily. They entered the hospital with you? Chen Gu did not expect visitors from Jiujiang to appear in Xi'an Hai. I was the first to enter, but once I escaped from their line of sight, I instantly went into hiding. After they had all gone into the building, I ran out of it immediately. This proved how nefarious this Lan Xiaochen was. To put it more frankly, he was human scum, plain and simple. Did the rest of the visitors come out from the hospital? Chen Gu was more concerned about the safety of the visitors. I have no clue. I have waited outside the hospital for half an hour, but there was noise at all coming from inside the hospital. It was as if the three of them had been eaten by something inside the hospital. Lan Xiaochen's voice was stammering. He was still very afraid of Chen Gu. The place was very scary at night. I did not dare stay there for too long, so I ran home on my own. But I returned to the place the following afternoon. I found one of the visitors' wallets in a corner of the hospital lobby. All the identification documents inside the wallet had disappeared. Instead, all that was left were the three blank patient records and a paper note. Did you call the police after that? No, I assumed they'd left on their own. This could not be counted as a disappearance, and there was no sign of any dead bodies, so I had no reason to report to the police, right? It was unclear whether Lan Xiaochen was trying to convince Chen Gu or himself. Where are the three blank patient records and the paper note now? Chen Ji's face was dark as a storm, and the atmosphere inside the room was equally suffocating. I have already used two of the patient records. The last one is inside this envelope. Lan Xiaochen shrunk his neck back like a turtle. Initially, I really did not know this patient record can curse someone. It was not until the day the neighbor's dog would not stop barking. I was just intending to give it a try, so I wrote down their name. Who would have thought the whole family would get sick and die? The dog was the last to perish. You said, other than the three patient records, there was also a paper note, right? Go and get it for me. I want to take a look at it. Lan Xiaochen initially wanted to use that paper note as a bargaining chip, but he realized that he did not have the courage to sit on the bargaining table with Chen Gu. The paper note is inside the locked drawer inside my bedroom. The key is inside my pocket. Men Nan took out the key and headed into the bedroom. Moments later, he handed the paper note to Chen Gu. Lan Xiaochen might call it a paper note, but it was actually a page that was torn out from a book. There was a dark stain of dry blood left on it, and once one looked closer, one would realize the blood stain was hiding a sentence. This is a sickened world, why have you not discovered that fact? I swear to cure you. These simple words had a very special power. They would give the reader a strange feeling, as if the statement was meant for them. A sickened world? I think you'd better work on curing yourself first. Chen Gu used Yin Yang vision to study the words on the page. The more he looked at them, the more confused he became. The black blood stain had a clear layering to it, as if people kept writing the same message on the same part of the page over and over again. This feels like a notice, but at the same time, it could be some kind of hint. Could it have been left behind by the doctors of the cursed hospital? But why would this page be placed together with the three blank patient records? Chen Gu had fought with the cursed hospital several times already. This was the first time he had encountered a blank patient record. This was not something that someone could pick up randomly from the floor. I have already told you everything I know, Lan Xiaochen whispered. So, can you? I can give you a quick release. Chen Gu waved his hand, and Zhang Yi directly crawled into Lan Xiaochen's brain. A person the size of an adult crawled into another person's body through his head. This kind of horrifying scene happened almost daily before Chen Gu. With regards to Lan Xiaochen, it was not that important anymore. After all, when Zhang Yi exited his body, some of his memory would be hidden away. Ten seconds later, Zhang Yi crawled out of Lan Xiaochen's body, and all the red specters in the room disappeared. 
The television screen switched off, and everything returned to normal, but the world had lost an internet troll and had gained a young man who had a renewed appreciation for life. Lan Xiaochen was not lying, but there was a part of his memory that was very blurry. Even I could not see through it clearly. Zhang Yi followed beside Qin Go, walking in the shadows of the city. Which part? Be it the first time he entered the hospital or the time he returned to the hospital, the details about these two incidents were all very blurry. In fact, perhaps he had not actually entered the hospital, but he was made to believe that he had entered the hospital. Zhang Yi gestured with his hands. I believe the enemy have an entity that can control memory as well, and they are much more powerful than me. The cursed hospital also has someone who can control memories? Looks like I have to figure out a way to turn you into a red specter. Your current state as a half-red specter is no longer good enough to deal with the current dangerous situation. The specters who had more unique powers would have a harder time achieving a breakthrough. Chen Gu was very familiar with that fact. He wanted to cultivate Zhang Yi, but unfortunately, he had not found sufficient food for him. He had befriended most of the specters in Jiujiang already. He could not bring himself to feed them to his employees, but the situation was completely different now that he had arrived in Xi'an Hai. Do you think it is possible that Lan Xiaochen was a chess piece employed by the cursed hospital? Be it the cursed letter received by Xiao Dai's younger brother or the supposed disappearance of the visitors from Jiujiang, these two incidents feel so premeditated. It's as if they're inciting me to speed my investigation up. Qin Ji's mind was moving quickly, contemplating various possibilities. I honestly have no idea. You'd better return to the comic to rest. Thank you for everything you have done tonight. Chin Go pulled his employees back into the comic, and he strode down the street alone. I mustn't act too rashly. Both Zhang Yi and Yan Danian are extremely rare specters, so what I need to do now is train them to become red specters. Once these unique specters around me become red specter, they will become a force to be reckoned with. Chin Ji's mind was made up. Yan Danian, who was just a baleful specter, was already determined by the black phone as a lesser red specter, a specter most powerful among all the baleful specters, so if he turn into a red specter, would he not become a lesser demon god? I need to find a chance to sneak Xiao Sun over first and then take it slow. We will see who exhausts the other first. At 5 a.m., Chingu returned to Destiny Avenue. He was about to return to Nightmare Academy when he saw someone walk out from the back door of Shili Xiang Eatery. The person looked similar to Chi Ren from behind. Carrying his backpack, Chin Gook quietly snuck over. The sun was just coming up. It was the time of the day when Destiny Avenue least crowded. The person who snuck out from the back door of Shili Xiang was pulling along a suitcase. He carefully looked up and down the road as if trying to hide from someone. Chin Gook slowly approached, his footsteps not making any noise. He stared at the man for a long time before finally matching the man to the picture of Chi Ren that he had seen on at the management center. Have you been chased out by the boss? Chen Ji's voice suddenly appeared beside the man's ear. It scared him so much that blood drained from his face. Who are you? I am the new boss of the haunted house next door. If you have nowhere else to go, I'd be happy to take you on. Before Chin Gu even finished, the man made a very strange gesture. He closed his mouth with both of his hands. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Chin Gu used his body to block the road. The man shook his head quickly. Finally, he took out his phone and typed the following on it. I do not want to harm you. Please go away. Harm me? Chen Gu used his Yang vision to stare at the man for a long time. After he ensured that he was indeed dealing with Chi Ren, he looked at the surrounding. They were at the back door of Shili Xiang Eatery, and there was no surveillance camera there. You have trouble looking after your own safety, but you still care about harming an innocent passerby. Looks like you are indeed someone trustworthy. Chen Gu took out the comic. Blood vessels boiled behind him, and it swallowed up the light of the dawn. Red Spectre. 
The veins popped on the man's face. He realized the presence of danger. He directly abandoned his luggage and turned to run. Don't be afraid. I just want to help you. I do not need your help. I never give the people a chance to say no when I feel like helping them. Chen Gu grabbed the man by his hand and forced him to stay where he was. Be quiet. There are at least five red specters around us. Do you think you will be able to escape? F. F. 5. Do not panic, maintain your breathing. Chen Gu helped the man reposition his cap. The rim of the cap was placed just right to cover half of the man's face. Walking down the street, Chen Gu led the man back to Nightmare Academy. After he locked the door, he grabbed the man and basically dragged him into the haunted house's headmaster's office. Okay, you are safe now. Chen Gu and the man stood inside the office, along with Man Nan and the water ghost Red Specter. The man did not dare say a word. He believed he had failed to escape. Are you Chi Ren? The man nodded carefully. How did you know that? It was you who was responsible for guarding the storeroom at the old location of Xian High Hospital, right? Yes. Did you give the note to Dr. Fong? Yes. Chen Gu took out a piece of paper. Repeat the message one more time on this paper. Ten minutes later, Chen Gu finally confirmed that the man before him was Chi Ren. A few days ago, this man had tried to save Dr. Fong, but he had failed to do so. Why would you risk offending the cursed hospital to help Dr. Fong? Chen Gu wanted to know the answer to this. Dr. Fong is a very good person. Even though he is the best doctor in his field, he never had any sense of arrogance. He treated even us normal employees equally, and he has helped so many of his patients. He is the epitome of a good doctor. Chi Ren sighed. How could I watch such a kind person lose his life? Then, do you still want to save Dr. Fong? Chen Gu was gradually coaxing the man. Of course. Chi Ren's eyes lit up but soon, the darkness dimmed them again. But now, I can't even save myself. How am I supposed to save him? It'll be fine. I will help you. Chen Gu patted Chi Ren's shoulder with a smile. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, so from today onward, we are friends. Chapter 1146, Two Demon God's Friend? Chi Ren looked at Chen Gu and he could not control his eyes from wandering to stop on the two red specters. Cold sweat slid down his forehead. I. I do not have the qualifications to be your friend. We are people from two different worlds. We are living in the same world, and it is this world. The fact that I've survived to this day is due to the help of my friends. You are Dr. Fong's friend, I am also Dr. Fong's friend, and we have the same target and the same friend, so that is more than enough to form the bond between us. Chen Gu was too lazy to waste more time on this topic. Let's not waste any more time dawdling on this. Please tell me everything you know about Dr. Fong to me now. Perhaps we still can save him if we make our move now. We will not be able to save him, he has already been chosen. Chi Ren shook his head. It is indeed impressive that you can order red specters around but compared to them, you are still very weak. The difference in power level is too much. Who do you mean by them? They are a hospital. Dr. Fong is someone chosen by that hospital. They wanted Dr. Fong to become one of their day shift doctors. I do not know the actual reason. I believe it's because a lot of doctors have recently gone missing from that hospital, so they are currently seriously lacking staff. The information given by Chi Ren surprised Chen Gu. This could be considered extremely confidential information, but Chi Ren knew about it. What is your relationship with that hospital? Do not worry, everything that you say here will not be heard by anyone out of this room. To ensure Chi Ren's safety, Chen Gu even summoned out the red high heels. I wish I could tell you, but I cannot. The moment I reveal anything, I might die on the spot. Chi Ren undid the first button of his shirt. There was a deep black blood vein around his heart. 
It looked as if a thin black thread had been sewn into his flesh. Everyone related to that hospital will be cursed, and when the curse is triggered, this black capillary will continue to grow until it pierces your brain. What will happen if the curse is neutralized? Won't you be free to say anything without worry? Chen Gu stared at the black blood capillary. He appeared to hear crying coming out from the capillary itself. No one will be able to neutralize the curse, not even the most powerful red specter. Chi Ren shook his head. Just as he finished saying that, the surrounding temperature in the room suddenly dropped. A hand covered in bandages pressed lightly on his chest. The color of the black capillary started to fade until it stopped growing completely. You are not wrong that no one will be able to neutralize the curse, but this friend of mine can temporarily make it lose its power, and it will not trigger the alert of the person who laid down the curse. The temperature in the room slowly rose back to normal. Chirin stood there, stunned on the spot. It was as if the hand that had just pressed against his chest was a part of his imagination. Now you can tell me everything you know without worry. Chen Gu prompted for Chi Ren to continue with his story. After a moment of hesitation, Chi Ren took a deep breath. It was as if he had abandoned his life and sped through the following as if worried that death might strike him down at any moment. There is a monster that even red specters are fearful of in that hospital. It also has the surname Chi, the curses that we get are all related to it. After he finished speaking, Chi Ren's face was pale. He stared straightly at the black blood capillary on his chest. He waited for a long time, but there was nothing special that happened to that black blood capillary. He was still alive. The curse has really been temporarily suppressed. Relief washed over Chi Ren. It felt like the time bomb that was strapped to his body had just been removed. Wiping away the cold sweat that had slid down his face, Chi Ren's tone slowly returned to normal. There are four types of living humans at the hospital, the patients beyond number 100, the day shift doctors, the people with the surname Chi, and the non-smilers. Among them, the non-smilers are the hospital director's blood relatives, while the people with the surname Chi are the family created by that monster. The information revealed by Chi Ren to Chin Gu was very important. Other than the thousand-faced demon god who had been killed by Zhang Ye, there were at least two more demon gods at the cursed hospital. One was the hospital director, and the other was the monster with the surname Chi you are all family who were created. What do you mean by that? Chin Gu used his Yang vision to study Chi Ren. This was just a very normal middle-aged man. There was nothing particularly special about him. Chinga really did not understand why a demon god would choose him to become its family. To explain that, we will have to go back about 15 years. Back then, I have just arrived at Exion High for work. I was young and ready for the world. A relative who already lived in Exion High introduced me to a job guarding a morgue. It was not a taxing job, but I would need to work a lot of night shifts. At the time, I was too young to believe in supernatural and superstitious things. Chi Ren started to reveal his past to Chen Gu. I have not been to university and did not have any worthwhile skills. Just the fact that a relative was willing to help me find a job, I was already very thankful. Furthermore, the salary was quite lucrative. The hospital director told me that I would have to go on patrol at midnight, 1 a.m., and 2 a.m., three times in total. The focus of the patrol was the few doors at the bottommost floor of the morgue. Once I noticed that the lock had loosened, I had to report to him about it no matter how late it was. But seriously think about it, who would go to the morgue to mess with the locks so late at night? It was a morgue, there was nothing valuable here. There were only dead bodies. Which idiot thieves would be so dumb to go to a place like that to steal stuff? Naturally, I thought that this order was very strange, but I did not dare question it because this was my new job, and I was not sure I could find anything better. Everything was fine on the first week. Back then, the mobile phone had not been invented yet, and it was quite boring guarding the place alone. Furthermore, the morgue was very cool and comfortable at night. There was not even a mosquito. 
so, I started to think about stealing time off work. Instead of patrolling three times, I patrolled only the first time and then went to sleep inside the morgue. The place was particularly cool. That was understandable due to the air conditioning, so sometimes, I even brought a blanket with me. About two weeks after that, I started to have nightmares, the kind that felt incredibly real. I dreamt that after I had fallen asleep, there was a group of people standing around me, looking at me. I even dreamt that I was treated as a carcass being pushed into the crematorium to be burnt. Those were not even the worst of the nightmares. The worst came on the third week, when I dreamt about a child. The child's face did not have any eyes or a nose, it only had a mouth. He stood beside my bed and asked me to tell him some stories. I was so afraid, but I did not dare refuse, so I told him some of the ghost stories I'd heard back home. He seemed to greatly enjoy himself, and he started to appear in my dreams every night. Eventually, I ran out of stories, but the child with only a mouth still refused to let me go. From then on, it not only appeared in my dreams, it started to show up in real life as well. When I felt like I was going crazy, when my mind was breaking down, a monster whose face was dominated by mouths appeared, hugging that child. He asked me whether I was willing to become his family member or not. I did not dare refuse. Chi Ren had a pained expression. He appeared to be looking for his family members, but he had no luck finding them. After I became that monster's family, he left. Then I found this black blood capillary grown around my heart. I had to follow his requests and orders to go and do certain things. No matter how unwilling I was, the moment I dared go against his will would be the moment I died. After Chi Ren finished his story, he turned to look at Chen Gu. You are the first person whom I have encountered that has the power to suppress his curse. Controlling a demon god's curse was very difficult. The Red High Heels was a specter that had an extremely rare talent related to curses. Combined with the fact that she had consumed and inherited everything that belonged to a demon god, the ghost fetus, she was basically a top red specter already. It was because she had fulfilled these impossible conditions that she had managed to suppress the curse of this monster with the surname Chi. How is the relationship between the hospital director and the monster with the surname Chi? Chen Gu wanted to see if he could get the two biggest bosses to go against each other. After all, Zhang Ye could only hold back one demon god, and during that period, the other demon god could easily kill all of Chen Ji's employees. They have a very good relationship. Sometimes, we even feel like they are the same person. Once the curse was brought under control, Chi Ren started to gain his confidence. He had been keeping his words inside his heart for a long time already, and now, finally, he had a chance to voice them out loud. Wait, you said we dot. Yes, there are more who have the surname Chi in Xian High. Even the boss of Shili Xiang has the surname Chi. We are all victims of the cursed hospital, and we are forced to spend the rest of our lives under the shadow of the curse. We do not dare reveal any secrets, and we also need to satisfy their requests. Chi Rin gritted his teeth like something horrible had just occurred to him. Some of the requests are plain inhumane. The boss of Shili Xiang was force-fed a kind of meat due to one of the incidents and was punished. One person went into the hospital in search of his daughter, but in the end, he failed to find his daughter but had his memory changed and was turned into a soulless puppet controlled by the cursed hospital. With green veins popping on his forehead, Chi Ren sighed with heavy regret. Yes, we are all monsters. As long as you still have that glow of humanity in you, you are still human. Chen Gu comforted Chi Ren, but in his mind, he was thinking about something else. The hospital director had a very good relationship with the monster that had the surname Chi, so close that other people felt like they could be one person so Chen Ji's plan of turning them against each other was impossible. If Chen Ge had to go against them, he would have to obtain the help from two more demon gods. That would only give him the qualification to face the cursed hospital. The cursed hospital had existed for more than 20 years. Just how many demon gods they had in their midst was truly a mystery in and of itself. 
Even a victim at the most outer fringe like Chi Rin knew of the existence of two demon gods, so the actual number of the demon gods inside that cursed hospital was probably much higher than Chen Gu previously predicted. Zhang Ya is a demon god. The red high heels is a top red specter. Xiaobu can unleash the power of a top red specter in Liwan City, but her power will be slightly weaker than a top red specter behind other doors. These three were the most powerful specters that Qin Ji's haunted house had. The Red High Heels and Xiaobu were also the specters most likely to become demon gods in the immediate future. The difference in power is too big. I still need to gather more strength. Three names instantly surfaced in Qin Ji's mind, Dr. Gao, the painter, and Chang Wenyu. Dr. Gao destroyed the door at Coffin Village. He can move freely through the Red City. Perhaps he has already become a demon god. The relationship between us is very complicated. We are both members of the Ghost Stories Society, and with the favor that he left me regarding Gao Ru Shui, perhaps I will be able to convince him. The painter himself already possesses power close to a demon god, and he has many red specters following him. Due to the presence of Fan Yu, we are not really enemies. Even though Chang Wenyu once used me, she desperately needs me to help her recover her soul. Of the three people, she is the easiest specter for me to befriend. Chinga knew that he would not be much of a threat to the cursed hospital, based on his own power, so he decided to contact all his friends. If I see it from that perspective, I still have the chance at winning this. After speaking with Chi Ren, Chingu decided to help fulfill Chang Wenyu's demand that night. The earlier he helped Chang Wenyu recover, the better it would be for him. With the current employees that I have, if the cursed hospital comes to hunt me at their full potential, I will definitely not survive. The haunted house had many Red Spectre's employees, but the boss, Chin Gu, was just a normal person. The cursed hospital would not have too much trouble murdering a living human. The whole plan will have to be moved forward. I cannot give the cursed hospital too much time. Chen Gu turned back to Qi Ren. Since becoming a member of the Qi family, have you run into any doctors or patients who were sent out of the hospital? Yes, I did. They will naturally run into danger when they are out completing missions away from the protection of the hospital, so did they come to you guys for help? Chen Gu asked patiently. After all, all of you are related to the cursed hospital and all of you carry the curse on your bodies. We with the surname Qi are normal humans who are spread over the city. To be honest, we are nothing but disposable chess pieces to the cursed hospital. Be it the patients or the doctors, once they sense the presence of the curse on us, they will order us to do something for them, and normally, we have to agree without the chance to bargain. Qi Ren looked pained. Because we do not have the power to reject them. In other words, the people with the surname Qi are the bottom feeders at the cursed hospital. Chen Ge had a brave idea surfacing in his mind. You can put it that way, yes. You can stay here for now. I can guarantee you that as long as you do not leave this place, you will not run into any danger. Chen Ge had not slept a wink the entire night, but he did not feel drowsy at all. If anything, his eyes were glowing with excitement. Are you going to leave already? By the way, I still do not know what your name is. Chi Ren was still rather confused at this moment. Both the cursed hospital and Chen Gu were existences that he could afford to offend. But in comparison, Chen Gu appeared to be kinder and more reliable. There's food and beer that I bought yesterday on the table. The bathroom is just next door. If you are tired, feel free to rest. Before I return, do not leave this building. Chen Gu left the two red specters behind. He ran to one of the scenarios on the first floor and summoned Xiao Sunday. How far have your studies come along? Chen Gu looked at Xiao Sun with anticipation. I really did not expect that even after death, I would still need to study like I am going to sit a university entrance exam. Xiao Sun appeared much thinner than before, and his body was more transparent. I have studied everything that I need to, and I've memorized everything that was given to me. Now, even if patient 101 comes back to life, 
I will be a much more convincing patient 101 than he would ever be. Very good, I need you to be as prepared as possible. I will send you into the cursed hospital in a few days. So soon? The blood drained from Xiao Sun's face immediately. Listen to my plan first. Chin Gook planned to make use of someone with the surname Qi to send Xiao Sun into the cursed hospital. He shared his plan with Xiao Sun and then brought Xiao Sun out to the city to scout out the target. It took a whole morning before they locked onto a person with the surname Qi in Xian Hai's countryside. We will familiarize ourselves with the environment around here first before we make our move tonight. At around 1 p.m., when Chin Gu returned to Nightmare Academy, he realized that Zhang Jingjiao and Chu Chang Lin had already arrived. From today onward, Zhang Jingjiao will be the branch manager, Chu Chang Lin will be the main designer for the props and sets, and Xiao Dai, you will be the staff manager. There were only three living employees at the haunted house, and Chen Gu had given each of them a very impressive sounding post. I need everyone to help clear away the damaged and unused props and clean up the old scenarios. Depending on the situation, we might reopen for business in three days. After assigning the jobs, Chen Gu asked Xiao Dai some more questions about her younger brother and then picked up his backpack, heading to Xian Hai First High. That was because Xian Hai First High, where Xiao Dai's brother attended, was the school where Chang Wenyu had left her shattered soul. That was where the girl whom Chang Wenyu had asked Chen Gu to find studied as well. Chapter 1147 Ghost Stories Reviewer, Chen Gu, did you hear? There are rumors that a ghost visited the male dormitory last night. There was a student who always bullied his roommate found dazed in his bed. Both pee and poop were found staining his shorts. How come I heard it was the female dormitory that had a problem last night? The surveillance camera was covered by a black shadow, but the manager said she saw many different human faces flutter into the dormitory through the blurry camera. There was a female student who was found in the corridor. She was incognizant. People said she was sleepwalking. Yes, yes. This morning, I saw someone was sent to the hospital. The ambulance stopped for a while, before the female dormitory. Now, everyone is talking about how the students who often bully their classmates are being cursed. This is karma rearing her ugly head. A few girls were standing together, whispering and gossiping among themselves. The most beautiful among them did not say anything, she just looked at the rest of them with derision in her eyes. Chen Wen, you'd better take this as a warning. If you continue to go cause trouble, be careful. You might also run into a ghost at night. A female student with a coarse voice and a rather unisexual appearance turned to warn the student who had not spoken. Do you think I'll believe these ridiculous stories? Chen Wen crossed her arms. She guarded at the back door of the class like she was waiting for someone. The bell for class rang. Most of the students returned to their seats. And at that moment, a female student who was very casually dressed stepped into the class. She was wearing clothes that were bought at the market. She did not know how to dress herself. Her eyes darted everywhere but her deskmate, Chen Wen. The first class of the day was over. The girl did not dare leave her seat even though she wanted to go to the toilet. She kept herself glued to her seat, as if the moment she left the classroom, something bad would happen to her. You seem to have some issues with me, huh? Chen Wen moved her chair to the girl's side. If one was not close enough to hear the content of her voice and the tone of her voice, just looking at them, one might think they were very close friends. No. The girl held her pen and kept flipping through her notes. Where are your manners? I am talking to you. Look at me. Look at me. Chen Wen's arm landed on the girl's shoulder. How about we go to play together after school? Don't be such a good two-shoes. You've been wanting to make friends, right? After this afternoon, we will be friends. But I have something to do. Okay, so that is a promise. If you dare skip out on me, there will be hell to pay. I will see you later. Chen Wen let go of her arm and took out her phone to start chatting with someone. 
her deskmate gripped the pen in her hand tightly. She was very afraid, but she did not know who to share her problem with. She did not know what Chen Wen wanted from her, but she was sure it was nothing good. Without any actual evidence, even if she went to the teacher, the school would not intervene to deal with Chen Wen. Furthermore, even if the teacher did choose to believe her, all the school could do was leave Chen Wen a warning. As long as they did not kick her out of school, Chen Wen and her friends would only make it their mission to make the girls' school life more miserable. This was the saddest point about the victims of school bullies. They were the victims, but they were the ones being ostracized, and sometimes, they might even suffer secondary damage from their family and the school. Her head was filled with what Chen Wen had said, the girl could not even pay attention in class. She did not dare speak up, so she stared at her textbook quietly. During the physical education class, the girl requested a break from the teacher with the excuse that she was not feeling well. She returned to the classroom to rest on her own. Should I tell the teacher? The girls being targeted by Chen Wen either become her friend or transfer from this school. She appears to come from a very powerful family. The girl's family had just moved to Xi'an High not that long ago. She had the feeling of self-deprecation of a newcomer. I cannot create more trouble for my parents anymore, but, what should I do? Chang Wen Wen? The girl suddenly heard someone calling her name. She turned her head to the source of the voice. There was a young man standing at the classroom window with a smile. The sun created a halo around the young man, and the young man's smile was as warm as the sun. That should be her. Quick. Pull me back into the comic. My body is about to dissolve under the sun already. There was a shadow behind the young man who was struggling and pleading, but of course, the girl could not see that. Pulling Changgu back into the comic, Chinga pushed open the back door of the classroom. Please do not be afraid. I am completing a request for a friend, and I am here because I need a favor from you. The girl was utterly confused. She had no idea what Chingu was talking about at all. Have you ever had this dream before? Chen Gu stood at the back door and softly spoke. You dreamed about a blood-red door. Inside the door, there was a school that only had its classes at night. All the students and teachers at the school were ghosts. When you were lost and in despair, a female senior appeared to help you. The words jogged the girl's memory, and her face was overwhelmed by surprise. How do you know about that? Do you still remember what kind of promise you made that female senior? Chinga followed what Changgu said and was slowly leading the girl step by step. She would help me escape from the nightmare, and in exchange, I would help her look after something. The female student was very innocent, and she did not even consider hiding any information from Chingu. I am that female senior's friend. She asked me to come to you to reclaim that item. Chen Gu did not look like a bad person. After a moment's hesitation, the female student undid the first button of her blouse and took out something that looked like a pouch from around her neck. All this time, I have been wondering whether that was a dream or not. If it was not a dream, how come I cannot remember more details about it? If it was a dream, how I do explain this thing that appeared in my grasp after I woke up that night? The girl opened the pouch. Inside was a red stone, and in the middle of the stone was a strand of hair that had been balled up. This should be the thing. Chen Gu accepted the stone. The several red specters inside the comic gave him warnings at the same time as if this thing was extremely dangerous. Thank you, I shall take this with me. From now on, your luck will slowly become better. Before the school security arrived, carrying the stone, Chen Gu hurriedly left the grounds of Xi'an High first high. Chang Gu, I have already obtained the object. What should I do next? Chen Gu carried his backpack to the shadows of a large tree. It was as if he was talking to himself. A shadow behind Chen Gu opened his lips to say, that strand of hair is the last lingering spirit of my little sister. The red stone is formed from the blood of her heart, the most important drop of blood for a top red specter. Are you not afraid that I'll have the other red specters consume her by revealing to me such an important information? 
Naturally, I am afraid of that, but there is nothing I can do about it, Changgu said with a bitter smile. Even if I hid that information from you, your other Red Spectre's employees would notice it. Don't worry, I will fulfill the promise that I have made. I just hope that you siblings will do the same for me. Chingu tossed the bloodstone lightly into the air, and that caused Changgu to get immensely worried. With just this lingering spirit and bloodstone, your younger sister can come back to life? She still need to consume some specters first, but I have no idea the exact number of ghosts that she needs to consume. Changgu lowered his head. He did not dare look at Chen Gu. In other words, you two plan to rope me into the role of her nanny, huh? I think I finally understand Chang Wenyu's plan now. Her enemies are all in Jiujiang, so she chose a girl who just moved to Exian High and left her last shred of lingering spirit with her. After she awakens, she can consume the ghosts in Exian High to recover her power, and when she is at her full strength again, she can easily return to Jiujiang. Chang Wenyu was indeed very clever, but she had seriously underestimated Zhang Ya. She had failed to anticipate that Chen Gu would have a demon god with him. Boss, we were indeed in the wrong at the school of the afterlife. I hope you will help her one more time. Chang Gu was basically begging Chen Gu. During this period when they were together, his opinion of Chen Gu had kept improving. He felt like Chen Gu was someone trustworthy. Don't worry. Chen Gu put away the blood stone and creased his brows. To awaken Chang Wenyu, she needs to feed on ghosts. To improve my employees' abilities, I also need ghosts and specters. After giving it some thought, Chen Gu took out his phone and started to search for ghost stories related to Xian High. He created a throwaway account and snuck into a local supernatural forum. Inside a pinned thread, he found the thing that he was looking for. The collection thread for the ghost stories in Xian High. Come and review and vote your top 10 scariest ghost stories from Xian High. Chen Gu surveyed the thread post by post. His pupils slowly narrowed as he silently recorded all the information. Chang Gu, who stood next to him, did not dare speak. When his boss looked through these ghost stories, it was like a customer looking over the menu at the restaurant. The serious expression on the man's face caused his heart to shiver with fear. This thread is still updating. The latest post was posted about two minutes ago. Looks like I have come across a treasure of a thread. Chen Gu bookmarked the page. He had already memorized the addresses of some of the ghost stories, and he planned to visit them that night. Returning to the Nightmare Academy, Chen Gu did not have time to greet his employees, but directly rushed back into the headmaster's office. He asked Chi Rin some questions again and confirmed some information about Dr. Fong and people with the surname Chi before he left. Failure to plan is planning to fail, but sometimes, luck plays a huge part of it as well. Xiao Sun, you will run into many kinds of danger on this journey of yours, but I believe in you because you are different from the others. Chen Gu personally inspected the final result of Xiao Sun's special training and taught Xiao Sun a few more tricks. Once the sky darkened, Chen Gu, who was all prepared, carried the heavily injured Xiao Sun to the countryside of Xian Hai. The secret of the people with the surname Qi was only known to the people with the surname Qi, and this secret was one that they could not share. Due to the curse of the demon god, once the person revealed the secret, not only would they die, the demon god would be apprised of the situation there almost immediately. The cursed hospital did not expect the red high heels to inherit everything that belonged to the ghost fetus and become a top red specter, and Chen Gu was currently making use of this. Chen Gu created an accident so that the people with the surname Qi who lived at the countryside very coincidentally run into patient 101 Xiao Sun, who was about to dissipate. After using some words and actions to convince the man, Chen Gu watched the man carry Xiao Sun out of Xian Hai with his own eyes. The place that they were heading to was the border between Xian Hai and Jiujiang. There were many ghost buildings and barren lands there. It had been abandoned for many years already. God will smile on the faithful. Hopefully, Xiao Sun will make something of himself at the cursed hospital. 
For some unknown reason, after sending Xiao Sun away, Chen Gu unconsciously sighed in great relief. What I need to do next is improve my employee's ability as fast as I can and try to get the red high heels to become a demon god. It was extremely difficult for a red specter become a demon god, but Chen Gu had no other choice. Only by having the red high heels become the demon god would he have the right to fight the cursed hospital. Logging back into the supernatural forum, Chen Gu noticed that the thread was still updating. The forum users had gotten into an argument about the ranking of the ghost stories. No party wished to back down. In the end, some of them even swore that they would go to the locations of the ghost stories to record a video to show the other users how scary the place was. Ultimately, the place is a big city. The people are always busy. Jiujiang had similar forums, but the number of active users was pitiably small. The populations of both cities were not on the same level. The place with more people will have more despair and thus more ghost stories. Theoretically, that should be the case, but it appears like Jiujiang is an exception to the rule. Chen Gu had also had noticed that the number of ghost stories in Jiujiang was abnormally high. If he was to relate a city to a person, then Jiujiang was like Sun Xiaojun. It had the love of a thousand specters. It has been quite a few days since I arrived in Xi'an High. It is about time I go pay them a visit. Chen Gu hailed a cab to head to his destinations. Sir, please drive faster. I am in a hurry. I have to visit a few places tonight. By 11 p.m. of the top 10 Xi'an High ghost stories, Chen Gu had already visited three of them, but unfortunately, he was not rewarded. He also slowly realized that the ghost stories with great word of mouth in reality would have a very low chance of actually hiding a red specter. If an actual red specter with great resentment was behind these ghost stories, there would not be any survivors to spread the ghost stories. Without any survivors, there naturally would not be any witnesses, and the ghost story would not even be known. With a spirit of not wanting to miss anything, Chingu had recorded all the ghost stories on the pin thread. Among them, he had found a few special ghost stories. The descriptions were not that detailed, but he could pick out specific terms, like bloody clothes and red. Xian High Ghost Stories Rank 27 A crying well in a developing part of the city, it was supposed to be an abandoned well, but there was a crying sound coming from inside it. And there were witnesses claiming they saw bloody hair crawling out from inside the well. This sounds promising. It is worth a visit. Placing his phone on his knee, Chen Gu used his pen and some paper to help with his note-making. Those who did not know better probably thought he was really reviewing these places. Ten minutes later, Chen Gu arrived at a developing construction site. Due to many reasons, the construction progress was halted, and the well was at the foot of the hill behind the construction site. Walking through the bushes and trees, Chen Gu finally found the well. The well was made from stone, and not far away from the well were a few old and abandoned houses. This should be the place. Before Chinga even got near, he could hear a wispy crying sound. It's coming from inside the well? There was a magical power about the crying. Chingu appeared to lose control of his body as he slowly moved to the mouth of the well. The pale moonlight shone on the surface of the water. Chingu looked into the well. There was endless black hair floating on the surface of the water. Without any attempt at communication, the black hair gathered together and tried to grab Chen Gu around his neck, intending to drag him into the well. You asked for it. His palm flipped through the comic. The moon turned red as blood flushed right into the well. Moments later, the water ghost reappeared beside Chen Gu holding Chang Wenyu's blood stone. There was a half-red specter inside the well, but it appeared to have been cursed. It cannot be rationally communicated with. It did not even seem to realize it was a ghost. It was cursed? Whenever Chen Gu heard the term curse, he was immediately reminded of the cursed hospital. After swallowing the half-red specter, the blood stone has deepened in color. I predict it will need to swallow at least two more red specters before she can awaken. 
Other than that, there's something else at the bottom of the well. I think you'd better go and look at it yourself. The water ghost and Suin led Chingu into the old well. At the bottom of the well, they encountered a tomb. Inside the tomb was a set of well-preserved clothing, and among the folds of the clothes, there was a patient record. On the back of the patient record was written, This is a sickened world. Why have you not discovered that fact? I vow to cure you. This statement again? Chen Gu had once seen this sentence before at Lan Xiaochen's home. This is a sickened world. Why have you not discovered that fact? I have a feeling that question is meant for me. Putting away the patient record, Chen Gu crawled out from the old well. It's pointless to think about it now. We should hurry to the next location of ghost stories instead. Chapter 1148 The Awakened Top Red Spectre Xian High Ghost Stories Ranked 19 Midnight Delivery There was a horrible homicide that occurred at Xian Yu Tower's room 444. When the murderer was dealing with the dead body, the food delivery ordered by the victim arrived. The deliverer man had no idea what had just transpired inside the room, he was just hoping to complete his job and get a good review from the customer. The room door creaked open and the deliverer man was pulled into the room to face his death. From then on, as long as someone ordered food from Xianyu Towers after midnight, one would have a chance of running into that poor food deliverer man. After reading the information on the phone, Chingu gently shook the door handle of Xianyu Towers room 444. To his surprise, the door was not locked. He entered it directly and took out his own phone to order some beer and food probably because the address that he filled in was Xianyu Tower's room 444, even after the eatery had finished his order, there was no deliverer man who was willing to pick up his order. He waited for half an hour, but the food still had not departed from the eatery when suddenly footsteps came from the corridor outside room. Chen Gu peered through the peephole. There was a man standing outside the door of room 444. He was carrying a red box that appeared to be overflowing with blood. Chinga took out the comic and flipped through it while he shouted at the door, I am sorry, but did you get the wrong address? My delivery app shows that the food is still at the eatery. No deliverer man has gone to collect it. There is no mistake. This is the address that I was given. The man outside the door had his head lowered, and his body leaned very close to the door. Then it appears like there is something wrong with the app on my phone. Chen Gu appeared to convince himself. He opened the door and looked at the man with a smile. At that same time, the three red specters behind Chen Gu also turned to look at the deliverer man. When the door opened, a wicked smile appeared on the corner of the man's lips, but soon, the smile froze on his face. The red box that he was carrying suddenly appeared to weigh a lot more. His Adam's apple quivered slightly as he took a subconscious step backward. I am so sorry. It appears like you were right. I probably got the wrong address. This isn't what you ordered. Hugging the red box, the man turned and attempted to run but was stopped by the water ghost. The address is not wrong. The delivery that we have been waiting for is you. With the red specters surrounding him, the delivery man had nowhere to run but Chen Gu did not feed him to Chung Wen Yu. This baleful specter was very conscious of his actions, there was no trace of a curse on his body. Chen Gu also did not discover any information related to the cursed hospital on the man. He is not even a half-red specter, it would be a waste to feed him to Chung Wen Yu. Furthermore, he looks quite clever, and he even knows how to make deliveries. I suppose you can consider that a unique talent. Chen Gu pulled the delivery man into the comic and had him stay together with Men Nan. The ability of the delivery man was worse than the crying ghost in the well, but the atmosphere of horror he created was much stronger than the crying well. I'm struggling to make a decision. For now, this ghost story should be ranked lower than the weeping well. After leaving Xianyu Tower's room 444, Chen Gu hurried without pause to the next ghost story. He had already visited seven ghost stories that night, and of the seven, three of them were fake, there was no presence of ghosts. From the remaining four, only the half-red specter inside the crying well was made into food. 
The other three ghost stories had only normal lingering spirits and baleful specters. There was no point in consuming them. Xian Hai is so large. There is not even one wild red specter? Looking through his phone, Chenggu arrived at a place situated in the old part of Xian Hai, known as Card's Archway. This used to be the most raucous location in Xian Hai's old city, but due to a big fire, the place was abandoned directly. A development company bought the land at a very low price, but not long after that, for some unknown reason, the construction to bring this part of the city back to the life did not start. Thus, the place continued to be abandoned to the wilds, just like that. The street was surrounded by cement walls. After Chingo leaped over the wall, he immediately sensed that something was not right. The world inside and outside the cement wall could be said to be two completely different worlds. There was a scent of decay in the air, and the air pressed heavily on Chin Ji's lungs. There is no sense of human spirit in this place at all. Just how long has this place been abandoned? Oftentimes when a place in a big city was abandoned, it would soon become a paradise for squatters, but Card's archway appeared to be an exception. With the training from the black phone, whenever Chinga entered a place, without even checking it too closely, purely based on the lingering presence in the air, he could tell whether the place was truly haunted or not. He had experienced so much that this had become one of his habits. He had mastered techniques that most people would not even dare to imagine. Flipping through the comic and switching on the recorder, Chingu approached the nearby building, whose entrance was burned to a crisp and entered the interior. Why is there a scent of blood in the air? Chingu titled his head back to take in a big breath, using his spirit sniff talent. It drifts out from the interior of the building. Walking through a corridor filled with old cards tables and wooden cards, Chingu noticed something was wrong just as he turned the corner. Following the sound of ticking, he saw someone hanging at the end of the corridor inside the lobby. The horrible smell and the stench of blood radiated from this person, and just as Chingu discovered that person, the dead carcass, which had many fatal wounds on it, suddenly opened its eyes. Not good. Chingu wasted no time in summoning his employees. Before the dead body managed to get close to Chingu, the water ghost and Suin appeared to guard him. Black and red blood leaked out from the body's wounds, and black insects that looked like centipedes dropped down from the dead body. It did not know fear and pain, even facing the two red specters, it did not evade or run, instead charging headfirst at them. The water ghost easily blocked the dead body, but just as he touched the body, the fresh blood that leaked out silently behind the body morphed into a red shadow to gnaw at Chin Ji's face. Suin. The sound of static echoed in his ears, and a pale arm pierced through the blood shadow. A shrill wail echoed inside the lobby, but soon, something even scarier happened. The floor in the lobby started to crack and a face peeked through the gap. Black worms crawled out from the gap, and the floor, not far from Chingu, started to budge, as if something huge was moving rapidly underground. About one second later, a face filled with wounds appeared next to Chin Ji's shoes. There's another one? The face was about to burst through the ground but was stomped back underground by the boy with the stench. The stench with the giant body morphed into black mist and used his own body to envelope Chin Gu. The sound of wailing multiplied in the lobby. The paint on the ceiling started to flake like skin, exposing the many black and white pictures that covered the ceiling. The many faces stared closely at Chen Gu. Their faces were twisted in resentment and anger. It was as if they had been given some kind of order. An endless stream of evil spirits rushed out from the pictures, and they all surged at Chen Gu like the latter owed them their lives. Suin, who had torn open the red shadow, appeared again. He made easy work of the evil spirits that attempted to get close to Chen Gu. While Suin was occupied by the wave of evil spirits, a tight web of blood appeared on the ground. A black-red shadow whose body was charred ran out from the innermost part of the building. Its target was very clear, Chen Gu. If Chen Gu only had the protection of two red specters, then he would have been dead already. The ghost inside the building was very cunning. 
It waited until all the red specters around Chengu were preoccupied before it showed itself. But unfortunately, it had seriously underestimated the number of red specter that Chengu had with him. After the red specter with the burnt body appeared, Chengu stopped hiding his true strength, he summoned out the rest of the red specters. Then, something very strange happened. The red specter, whose body was burnt to a crisp, appeared to lose his mind, and he started to fight several red specters like he had gone mad. Is he cursed as well? For the sake of security, Chingu summoned out the red high heels. Once the top red specter showed up, the whole building started to shake. The ground split open to reveal many charred bodies that were buried deep around. The battle was over once the red high heels showed up. The black and red shadow revealed its true appearance, it was an amalgamation of many vengeful spirits. When the archway was caught in the big fire, many people had failed to escape. The resentment from before they died was deeply buried underground, and they collectively formed a monster that was stronger than a normal red specter. This monster itself felt deep resentment toward everything, and it was a victim of a curse. It would indiscriminately attack anyone that entered the card's archway at night. It was extremely dangerous. It could be said that Chen Gu had helped Xian Hai deal with a dangerous criminal. The collaboration of several red specters murdered the black and red shadow and fed all the resentment of Chang Wenyu's bloodstone. It was a mystery how many people had died in the big fire. There was no actual report, and Chen Gu could not find much more information on it. As the bloodstone continued to feed on the resentment, the black and white photos on the ceiling started to peel. The pictures yellowed and faded away, and the human faces became ever more blurry. Many cracks appeared on the ground, and even the outside wall of the building started to break. This old building that had survived for decades appeared to be on its last legs. Over the course of 15 minutes, Chang Wenyu's blood stone finally swallowed all of the monster inside the card's archway. The stone had doubled in size, and it kept on pulsing like the beating heart of a living person. Let's prepare to leave. This place is about to crumble. Chen Gu was about to leave when the red high heels jumped into the mass grave where the victims were buried. Moments later, she returned with two objects from inside the mass grave, an envelope that was half burnt and an earring. Initially, Chen Gu did not care much for this discovery, but after he gave the items a closer look, his expression changed immediately. The earring, he was sure, belonged to his mother. Putting the earring into the compartment of his backpack, Chen Gu tore open the envelope. His brows were then heavily creased together. The letter was half burnt, so only a few words were still visible, this is a sickened world. The handwriting is very similar to my dad's. Did someone copy his handwriting? But why would someone do that? And why would my mom's earring be found inside the mass grave? Chen Gu had encountered the sentence in the letter before, so even though the latter half of the sentence was burned away, he knew what the full sentence was. This is a sickened world. Why have you not discovered that fact? I swear to cure you. Is this a message that my dad tried to leave me, or is this a hint for me? Chen Gu looked at the familiar handwriting on the letter and contemplated the meaning behind it for a while. His finger touched the edge of the letter that was scorched. Then he pulled out the patient record that had the same statement on the back of it. No, wait. The letter might be written by my father, but the message might not be the same. The handwriting on the patient record is different from the handwriting on this letter. They were written by different people. Narrowing his eyes, Chen Gu compared the handwriting of the full sentence on the patient record and the half sentence on the letter. Someone is purposely trying to mislead me, hoping for me to fall into some kind of misunderstanding. He placed everything inside the compartment of his backpack, but he did not share his thoughts with anyone else. The person behind this managed to acquire my father's handwritten letter and my mother's earring, so the chance of them being related to the cursed hospital is very high. A sense of desperation arose in his heart. Chen Gu summoned back all his employees and left the card's archway. It's time to move to the next location. He had brought his habit that he had cultivated at Jiujiang to Xian Hai. 
he would not sit down and rest until the sun came up. At 3.55 a.m., Chingu arrived at an abandoned school in Exian High's countryside. Inside the school, he found a cursed red specter. After feeding the red specter to the blood stone, the hibernating Chang Wenyu finally awakened. The beating blood stone was actually half of this top red specter's heart. In the school of the afterlife, she did not go after the painter with full force because she had kept half of her power in this stone as insurance. When the blood red heart started to beat again, all the animals and insects around the abandoned school became quiet. This place appeared to have become a zone of the dead. The single eye opened, a sea of blood hidden within. With a twisted smile on her face, Chang Wenyu's bloody dress started to spread around her. She took slow and deliberate steps toward Chin Gu until she was stopped by the red high heels. I know you are very happy that you have come back to life, but I hope that you will reign in your power a little bit, or else I will feed you to the other red specters. Chin Gu had encountered many big events in his life. You tricked me and used me, but I have repaid it with kindness. I not only did not take revenge on you, but I even brought you back to life. Aren't you supposed to give me something in return? That does not sound like something an honorable person would say, Chang Gu whispered softly behind Chin Gu. After he saw his little sister, he was very excited. Chang Wenyu slowly calmed down. Her remaining eye studied Chin Gu and her bloody lips slowly opened. I once saw your phone at the innermost part of the Red City. Only I know about that place. I can take you there. When he was doing the mission at the school of the afterlife, Chang Wenyu had stolen Chin Ji's black phone. Because of that, the black phone had purposely given a mission related to Chang Wenyu. Is that it? That's all you can offer? Chen Gu was not satisfied. He had his employees surround Chang Wenyu. For you, I have purposely come to Exian High and accidentally offended the scariest cursed hospital in Exian High. The hospital has at least two demon gods. After I have paid so much for you, what you have in return for me is a single sentence. Her single eye blinked. Chang Wenyu had just woken up. She had no idea whether Chin Gu was telling the truth or not, but she did know that she was at her weakest. What do you want from me then? Until the cursed hospital is leveled to the ground, I need you to become an employee at my haunted house and listen to my orders. Chen Gu gave his request. You just said it was you who accidentally offended the cursed hospital, so why would you want to level them? What have they done to you? Since the offense has been made, the only reasonable step now is to vanquish the enemy to remove a possible threat. Being surrounded by multiple red specters, whenever Chang Wenyu's single eye blinked, the madness and cruelty in her eye would increase. But at the final moment, she decided to bend the knee. Okay, I promise. I swear this will be the best decision you have made in your life. Chen Ge had the red high heels leave an imprint on Chang Wenyu, and he then untied the hair around the headless woman's wrist and tied Zhang Ye's hair around Chang Wenyu's wrist instead. Through the whole process, Chang Wenyu did not resist. After Chen Ge ensured that everything was fine, Chang Wenyu spoke. I still have some of my own things to do. I will give you an eyeball. Whenever you need my help, just squeeze it until it breaks, and I will appear. The blood sea in the single eye boiled, the aura around Chang Wenyu was as reddened as the rising sun. She took out a bloody eyeball from inside her dress and handed it over to Chen Gu. Then, she dissolved into a blood mist and disappeared. Looking at the bloody eyeball sitting in his palm, Chen Ji's face was twitching. Chang Wenyu was an actual red specter, she was surrounded by resentment and was at the edge of lashing out at any given moment. She was not afraid of anything, and the parting gift that she gave was a bloody eyeball. The false red specters often bullied the weak and would run whenever they encountered red specters of the same level. They would not dare kill a chicken, much less harm a person. Where shall I put this eyeball? If I shove it inside the backpack, it might accidentally get crushed. If I put it inside my pocket, it might be discovered. People will treat me as a madman, it will only become worse if they call the police. 
Chapter 1149 Innocent Citizen Mr. Chin Chin Gook did not know where to put the eyeball given to him by Chang Wenyu. It did not feel like it was appropriate to keep it anywhere. After much deliberation, Chin Gook decided to hand the eyeball over to Men Nan. Of all the red specters, Men Nan had the highest IQ and EQ. In fact, Chin Gu would sometimes have him go off on some individual tasks. Therefore, he was not worried at all with Men Nan temporarily holding on to the eyeball. Now is the most vulnerable moment for Chang Wenyu. She does not dare stay too long around me, and she left the moment she found the opportunity to do so. Looks like she still has a problem trusting me. She is worried that I might really feed her to the other red specters. Rome was not built in a day, trust was the same. Chin Gu believed that with enough time, he would definitely be able to win Chang Wenyu's trust. The sky was already slowly brightening, but Chen Gu did not hurry to leave. He continued to wander about inside the abandoned school. The Red Spectre at this abandoned school and the Red Spectre at Card's Archway are so much more powerful than normal Red Spectres, but neither of their hiding places have the presence of a door. Is it because their despair is not strong enough for a door to appear? There was no absolute connection between red specters and the doors. A door pusher would always be a red specter, but not every red specter would possess their own door. Chin Gu did not think too much about it initially, but now that he stopped to consider it, he suddenly realized things did not add up. Could the doors be unique to Jiu Jiang? Entering the classroom where the red specter at the abandoned school first showed up, Chin Gu found that familiar statement on the table occupied by the red specter. This is a sickened world. Why have you not discovered that fact? I swear to cure you. The words were carved unevenly on the table. It was like a kind of psychological hint, and it kept appearing before Chin Ji's eyes. Eventually, even without realizing it, Chin Gu had already memorized the statement in his mind. The sentence is always the same, but the handwriting's completely different, so they were probably left behind by different people. But why would these people that seemingly had no connection with each other all write or carve down those same words? He really could not come up with a reasonable answer. Chin Gu summoned back all his haunted house employees, hailed a cab, and returned to Nightmare Academy. I will go for a nap. You guys find something to do. Be prepared for business. Chin Gu greeted his employees before entering the headmaster's office. Chi Ren had been staying inside the room and out of boredom. He was building a paper tower from a deck of cards. In a few days, you will be safe. Chin Gu entered the inner room, hugged his backpack, and entered his dreams. Without the need to worry about the operation of the haunted house and the safety of the visitors, he had the first relaxing sleep in a very long time. At 12 noon, Chin Gu woke up and went out to purchase food for himself and his living employees. After lunch, he left the haunted house again. Xian Hai was, to him, an unexplored treasure trove. How he wished he could capture all the baleful specters and red specters at once. After I deal with the cursed hospital, should I go on a train ride all over the country to spread this kindness to different cities? Of course, that was just a thought. Chenggu used the daytime to arrange his clues and information while preparing to visit the different locations to conduct his investigation at night. Before he had a full-on conflict with the cursed hospital, he needed to do everything he could to increase his own power. At around 6 p.m., the employees were still discussing the plan for the Nightmare Academy, but as the boss, Chenggu had already escaped to Xian Hai's countryside. It was yet another sleepless night. Chen Ji's plan was to feed all the red specters that he found to the red high heels to help her become a demon god, but she rejected Chen Ji's kindness. As a top red specter who had a special talent in curses, consuming other red specters would not help her in her breakthrough to become a demon god, only by consuming greater and more evil despair would her power improve. In other words, the Red High Heals herself knew very well that the key for her to become a demon god would be at the cursed hospital. The Red High Heals did not need to consume red specters, so Chin Gu turned his attention to Xiaobu Xiaobu, who could unleash the power of a top red specter, had a very powerful innate talent. 
She was the shadow selected by Qin Ji's parents and was a door pusher valued by the ghost fetus. After consuming a red specter, Xiaobu went into hibernation. With her ability, she would awaken after one night. When Xiaobu was hibernating, Qin Gu pushed the rest of the red specters that he found to Suin. Suin was weaker than the spider in the tunnel, and he was not the strongest among Qin Ji's red specters, but Su Yin's heart was very special. Every time it beat, his heart would gain little more of the black pattern. That pattern appeared to be the branding of memories. It contained some kind of unspeakable power. The hearts of the other red specters were the source of their power, but Su Yin's heart was more like a germinating seed. After consuming one red specter, the black pattern on Su Yin's heart grew to his chest, but to Qin Ji's surprise, even after Su Yin had consumed a red specter almost as powerful as he was, he did not go into hibernation. Whenever Qin Gu pressed the play button on the recorder, Su Yin still showed up. After Xiao Bu and Zhang Ye consumed red specters of the same level, they went into hibernation. How come it is so special when it comes to Su Yin? Qin Gu tried to ask the young man directly for the reason, but all he got in return was silence. It was as if Su Yin himself did not know the reason. By 3 a.m., Qin Gu had already investigated 11 ghost stories. He had collected the information in the day and come up with the best route to visit all of them. Just as he was about to go to visit the twelfth ghost story, the sky over the horizon of Xi'an High's countryside was curiously dyed red as if a bloody hole had been torn open in the night sky. Initially, Qin Gu did not think much of this paranormal activity, but when he used the wedding ring on his ring and realized that Xiao Sun's current location was right under that bloody tear, he started to get a little bit panicked. Brother Sun has already made his move? I only sent him in there two days ago. Will he be exposed doing something so obvious? Xiao Sun was moving too fast. Chen Gu was still training and preparing, but something had already happened at the cursed hospital. There's no use in me worrying about this. I'd better focus on the things that I have to do. Xi and Hai's population was several times greater than Jiu Jiang's, so there were a lot of ghost stories. But most of them were just smoke without fire only a very small portion of them really had actual ghosts behind them. For a professional like Chen Gu, he could sometimes tell the authenticity of a ghost story just from the description, but even so, Chen Gu was still tricked multiple times. In two nights, he had investigated 25 ghost stories in total, and among them, eight were fake. Of the remaining 17 ghost stories, however, there were five red specters. This probability was rather scary. But the thing that worried Chen Gu the most was that all the red specters that he encountered were on the verge of a mental breakdown. Every single one of them had a curse on them, and the statement about the sickened world could be found without fail at the location that they haunted. Now, Chen Gu felt that perhaps the statement itself was a curse. Every red specter, normal specter, and human being who was given the statement would eventually lose their mind. After working hard for two nights, Chen Gu was quite satisfied with his haul. Of the five cursed maddened red specters, two were used to awaken Chang Wenyu, one was fed to Xiao Bu, and the last two were fed to Su Yin. As he fed on more red specters, the changes to Su Yin became more obvious. The black pattern growing from his heart stuck on his body like a second layer of skin, it gave him a very dangerous feeling. Of all the employees other than Su Yin, there was another employee that underwent a huge change, and that was Zhang Yi. As a specter that possessed a very unique power like him, if he became a red specter by consuming other red specters, it would seriously impact his natural talent. That would be more of a loss than a gain. Therefore, Chen Gu did not have Zhang Yi feed on any red specters, but provided him with the half-red specters that they encountered. Before consuming two half-red specters, Zhang Yi asked Chen Gu to call Fang Yu, and then he talked on the phone for a very long time with Fang Yu. This was the first time he had actively called Fang Yu. It was a call that traversed death and life, memory and the past. Chen Gu had no idea what the content of the conversation between Zhang Yi and Fang Yu was. 
He did, however, manage to see Zhang Yi's body slowly becoming more transparent. Just as the man's body was about to fade away, a drop of blood appeared at the middle of his heart. Zhang Yi's power was deleting memories, but he could not recover deleted memories. Luckily, even though Fang Yu had already forgotten all the memories related to Zhang Yi, she had not forgotten the sense of presence of the man who had been protecting her. She had stubbornly waited at the garden for ten years and tattooed Fang Yu's name all over her body. She had tried everything so that she would never forget until she eventually met the person that she had been waiting for. Ten years ago, Zhang Yi had saved Fang Yu, and ten years later, Fang Yu had become Zhang Yi's salvation. After consuming two half-red specters, Zhang Yi sank into a slumber. The drop of blood inside his heart continued to spread until it formed a name, and it was seared at the bottom of his heart. Fang Yu tattooed a name all over her body while Zhang Yi branded a name at the bottom of his heart. It crossed the distance between life and death. They had chosen this method to remember each other. After Zhang Yi wakes up, he should be a red specter. His talent will improve again. Perhaps he will even gain a new power. Zhang Yi had a very powerful talent, and Chen Ge had high expectations for him. With this in mind, he turned to glance at the comic with helplessness in his eyes. Danian was still hiding inside the empty page. His ears were close to the world outside his comic, and he only had his attention on completing his work. After Chen Gu detained the cursed half-red specter, the first person that he thought of was Yan Danian. He had the red high heels, comprehend the half-red specter, and then sent the half-red specter into the same page as Yan Danian. Then, something that no one expected happened. Both parties shied away from each other as far as they could. One was hiding in the corner, and the other was facing the wall. The image looked curiously harmonious. After Yen Danian passed away, he had never harmed anyone, and he had never considered consuming other specters. In fact, he was very reluctant to do things like that. Chen Gu had tried very hard to persuade him to overcome that mental block, but Yen Danian still unable to make that first step. In the end, Chen Gu had no choice but to give up. After the old headmaster at Mu Yang High School passed away, he had not consumed a single specter, but he had managed to become a half-red specter. From that, one could see that there were many ways for a specter to increase their power, it was not limited to the consumption of other specters. In comparison to other methods, however, consuming specters was the most effective way. Actually, Chen Gu had realized in the few months prior, the presence radiating off Yan Danian had been getting stronger, but because Yan Danian had too low confidence in himself and would never leave the comic, very few people noticed this about him. Chen Gu suspected that the change in Yan Danian was probably due to the fact that he had been sending multiple red specters into Danian's comic. Even for a normal object, if it was housing more than 10 red specters every day, it would definitely change. The comic was originally Yen Danian's item of possession, now, every single page was filled with various specters. Inevitably, that was also going to improve Yen Danian's own power. Chen Gu could sense that Yen Danian's power was increasing, but the speed was too slow. He had to face the cursed hospital soon and he had to turn Yan Danian into a real red specter as soon as possible. He had very high expectations for Yan Danian. After all, when he was in the school of the afterlife, even the painter had said that Yan Danian's talent was above his own. After comparing the painter who had managed to build a heaven behind the door with his own power and then Yan Danian who cowered in the corner inside his own comic, Chen Gu did not know what to do. Danian, if you are ever hungry, please tell me. Pulling all the employees into the comic, Chen Gu waited until sunrise before he returned to Nightmare Academy. He did not sleep a wink throughout the night. He was just about to go and rest, but once he opened the front door of the Nightmare Academy, he saw all of his living employees waiting for him inside the lobby. Are you guys waiting for me? Chen Gu soon noticed that something was wrong. Other than his employees, there were a few other police officers present. He had met one of them before when he first came to Exion High. He believed the officer's surname was Kai. 
Mr. Chen, do not worry. We just have some questions that we wish to ask you. The leading officer walked toward Chen Gu. The night before last, the card's archway at the old city collapsed. We saw you on camera at the street right outside the area. I am just very curious as to why you would appear at that location during that time. With the presence of so many police officers, Chinga instantly realized that the mass grave inside the card's archway had been found by the Xian High Police. Even if you did not come to me, I was planning on going to you. Chen Ji's expression was even more serious than the police officers. There are some words that are not so convenient for us to discuss here. How about we go to the station to slowly talk this over? You want to follow us to the station? The leading officer shared a look with his colleagues next to him. They were just there to ask some questions, but the man had voluntarily requested to follow them to the police station. What was the motive behind this? Trust me, I really have something very important that I need to tell you. Chen Gu stressed this again. The few officers finally decided to bring Chen Gu with them back to the station. Seeing Chen Gu leave with the police, Zhang Jingjiao signaled for Chu Chonglin and Xiao Dai to return to their work. Don't just stand there. Go and do what you are supposed to do. Brother Jiao, the boss has just been apprehended by the police. Why are you so calm? Xiao Dai was very worried. Would something happen to the boss? There is no need for you to worry. It can't change anything either way. We have to believe in our boss. Eventually, you will get used to it. After he got into the police car, Chin Ji's expression became even more serious. He sat on the back seat next to the two other police officers, and his demeanor made the two other officers quite uncomfortable. Okay, the night before last, why would you show up around the card's archway? Captain Kai was curious, and he desperately wanted to know the answer. Other than the card's archway in the old city, I went to an abandoned skyscraper in the new city, a construction site in the countryside, and some barren land near the border. Chen Gu had taken a cab between these places. The police would be able to trace his route easily, so he offered this information to prove his innocence. Why would you go to so many different places that night? Not only that night. The night before last, I spent the whole night moving around the old city of Xian Hai and its countryside. I have barely slept for the past two nights. Chen Gu was forceful. He was the one being interrogated, but he was extremely assertive, so it felt like it was him interrogating the police officers. You still have not answered my question. Why would you go to these many different places? I am investigating the disappearance of a doctor. His surname is Fong. Chen Gu grabbed Captain Kai's hand. Things are more serious than I thought. I might need your help. Chapter 1150 Chen Gu, victim from 20 years ago, there was no evidence that directly linked Chen Gu to the case at the card's archway. If anything, the only thing that they had was some surveillance footage that showed that Chen Gu was around the crime scene two nights ago. That barely amounted to anything. The police were just running through the motions by asking him in for questioning, but what Chen Gu said had gone wildly beyond their expectations. Mr. Chen, so you are saying that you went to these places just to investigate the disappearance of Dr. Fong? Yes. Okay, let's just put that aside for now. Did you go to the card's archway last night? Captain Kai was more concerned about the case at the card's avenue. When the place collapsed the night before last, it had exposed the mass grave that was previously hidden underground. Most of the dead bodies were from a very long time ago, but two of the bodies were fresh kills. Their time of death was only several months ago. After the police's investigation, they found that the victims were all homeless squatters. They were most likely killed when they went to the card's archway to rest at night. Based on the profiler's analysis, there was no conflict of interest or any beneficial relationship tying the victims and the killers. In other words, the killer was someone who was committing murder for the sake of it. Such a dangerous person had to be arrested as soon as possible, or else it was certain that he would repeat the crime again. I only visited the place the night before last. 
I saw some things there as well. If you wish to solve the case at the Cards Avenue, then you cannot ignore the disappearance of Dr. Fong. Chin Go leaned against the cushion of the back seat. Before Dr. Fong disappeared, his mental health was seriously affected. His colleagues said that he was not acting like his usual self. He spent the entire day in a daze, and he kept mumbling about some horrendous ghost stories. Chin Gu took out the notebook that he had been using to record all these details from the inner compartment of his backpack. For the past two nights, I have checked about 20 ghost stories throughout Xi'an High in an attempt to find any connection between them and Dr. Fong's disappearance, and I really came up with something. Chin Gu then proceeded to pull out several paper notes from the compartment and showed them to Captain Kai. I found these at some of the locations for the ghost stories. Seeing the strange statement on the paper, the young officers next to the Chen Gu were slightly confused, but Captain Kai's reaction was very strange. He said subconsciously, this statement again? You have seen this statement before? Chen Gu wanted to borrow the power of the law enforcement, but it was not easy to persuade the police to help him. After all, this was not Jiu Zhang, they had not cooperated in the past before, and they had no reason to put their trust in him. But Chen Gu did not expect Captain Kai to have seen the note before. With that, they had some basis to continue this conversation. About half a year ago, there were two homicides in Xi'an Hai. The victim's state of death was extremely strange. We found the same notes with the same statement after canvassing the crime scenes. Captain Kai put on a pair of gloves and took the notes from Chen Gu. Even though the cases have been successfully solved, how shall I put this? When we got to the killer, the killer had already gone mad. Plenty of evidence pointed toward the madman as the killer, so at the time, the case was quickly solved and closed. This note with the same sentence appeared more than half a year ago? Chin Gu calculated the time. That would be around the time when his own parents disappeared. Since the same notes have appeared again, is it possible that it could mean there was more than one killer behind those cases? Chen Gu was giving plenty of face to the police at Xi'an High. He did not point out directly that the Xi'an High law enforcement had missed the real culprit but used a roundabout way to point out that there might be more than one killer. From the killer's lack of motive and the grisly method of killing, the possibility of that is high. Captain Kai became the most serious he had ever been. Mr. Chen, you have provided us with a very important clue. About ten minutes later, the three police officers brought Chen Gu into Xi'an High Police Station. Since it involved many murders, Captain Kai valued Chen Ji's opinion a lot, so he was directly brought into the police station's conference room. Pushing the door open, Captain Kai was surprised to find other people inside the conference room. A middle-aged police officer was seated at the side of the table with a serious expression. Opposite him stood a male lecturer who had the air of a cultivated scholar. It was clear that they had been arguing from the redness that covered both of their faces. Captain Yang? Mr. Wang? Captain Kai and Chen Gu spoke at the same time, and the people in the room looked at each other. Who is this young man? The middle-aged police officer, known as Captain Yang, looked at Chen Gu. Oh Kai, how could you bring a normal citizen into the internal conference room? The night before last, the card's archway collapsed, and thus, we found the dead bodies of two homeless people. The cause of death was determined as a sudden heart attack due to extreme pressure. It's clear that they were both homicides. During our investigation, we encountered Mr. Chen and he has provided us with a very important clue. Captain Kai pulled out the paper note. There might be more than one killer for the case of the two horrible murders that happened about half a year ago. The murder of these two homeless people was very similar to the previous cases. They might have been committed by the same gang of people. So, the killers who are responsible for the death of the homeless people at the Cards Archway and the people responsible for the horrible murders that happened half a year ago could be the same, huh? Captain Yang sank into quiet contemplation. Moments later, he turned to Mr. Wang. Oh Wang, it is not that I don't want to help you, 
but you can see for yourself that Xion High is not so peacefully. Our hands are full with all these sudden cases. We cannot spare any police officers for a case where the killer died 20 years ago. I hope you can understand our difficulty. Mr. Wang appeared to have expected this result before he came, so his expression did not change much when he was told such things. I shall be going then. I do not want to interrupt your investigation. He did not appear to be in a good mood. When he walked past Chen Gu, he dropped his voice to a whisper and said, Boss Chen, when you leave this police station, please do remember to reach out to me. Me? Chen Gu had no idea why Mr. Wang would suddenly reach out to him, but he still nodded. After all, they had both come from Jiaojiang, so they should be helping each other. After Mr. Wang left, Captain Kai closed the door of the conference room and started to ask Chen Gu some questions in more detail. At Jiaojiang Police Station, Chen Gu had accumulated a wealth of investigative experience, so he was very familiar with the procedure of the entire major crimes investigation. Initially, it was the two captains who were asking him questions, but eventually, Chen Gu slowly took over the discussion. He picked up the marker and started to draw and list out all the clues that they had found on the board. Those who did not know might assume that he was a professional lecturer hired by the police station. His mind was clear, and his logic was in place. Chen Gu used the simplest and most common words to complete wash the suspicion away from himself, and then he proceeded to compile all the information related to the two murders. The cases that spanned half a year were connected together, and the string that connected them was the paper notes with the strange statement found at the various crime scenes. The real killer is not crazy, or rather, perhaps they are a team. They knew that they would not be able to escape from your investigation, so they dropped a sacrifice and pushed out a madman to take the fall as the scapegoat. When Chen Gu said that, he closely watched the facial expression on the two officers. Where there was light, there was darkness. To reopen a case that had already been closed about half a year ago, this was not a result that would be easily accepted by everyone. With reputation and many other things on the line, some people might choose to turn a blind eye or purposely work around it. But thankfully, Captain Kai and Captain Yang were not such people. After they had confirmed that the two cases were related and knew that the real killer was still beyond the reach of the law, they immediately came up with a plan. Before Chen Gu, they summoned the entire major crimes unit at Xian Hai into the room. The police were about to conduct a special meeting, but there was an additional stranger in the room. The young police officers that entered the room could not hide their surprise, but Chen Gu was completely at ease. He even found himself a seat in the corner and planted himself there. Mr. Chen, we still need to discuss some internal details about some of these cases. Based on the rules, this cannot be observed by normal citizens, so I will have to request you to wait outside for a while. Seeing that Chen Gu was ready to sit in on their meeting, Captain Kai showed a helpless smile on his face. Yu Ji, why don't you show Mr. Chen to the break room and make sure that he is comfortable there? A female officer with a baby face walked over. Chen Gu rather unwillingly left the conference room. Looks like they do not trust me fully yet. Then again, I cannot blame them. I am only a stranger who's just arrived from Zhejiang. Chen Gu stretched lazily. But it does not matter. Trust can be slowly built. After all, I have a feeling we will be have a lot more interaction in the future. He had not slept the whole night. So, when he entered the break room, he pulled the few chairs together to form a line, and then, with his backpack as the pillow, he lay on them and fell asleep. During the whole process, the female officer stood at the side, watching Chen Gu move the furniture around inside the room, and then she watched him go to sleep just like that. He purposely came to the police station to have a nap. What kind of strange behavior is this? Yuji did not dare violate the order given to her by her superior. She even suspected that the man before her might be some important suspect, and she had been given the task of watching over him. Without anything else to do, Yuji leaned against the table and kept staring at Chen Gu, who had fallen deeply into his slumber. 
About one hour later, Chen Gu was shaken awake. When he opened his eyes, Yu Ji and Captain Kai were standing beside him. Have you finished the meeting already? Yes, we have decided to investigate both the cases from two nights ago and the case from half a year ago together. Captain Kai poured a glass of water for Chen Gu. Other than that, do you mind if we temporarily keep the notes? After the cases are solved, we will return them to you. There is no need for that. You can keep the paper notes as evidence. But I advise your people not to spend too much time staring at the words on the paper. Those paper notes were nothing good. If the police were willing to take custody of them, Chinga naturally would not reject them. Thank you for your cooperation, Mr. Chen. Captain Kai handed the water in the paper cup over to Chen Gu. During this period, we might need to summon you again for your help, so I hope that you will not leave Xian High for the time being. In that case, how about we exchange contact numbers? If you need any help from me, just call me directly. I am also very worried about Dr. Fong's safety, and I wish to hear any first-hand information about him. Chen Gu took out his own phone. Captain Kai could not find any reason to reject him, so he did end up exchanging numbers with Chen Gu. These cases are not as simple as you might imagine. The killers behind them might be a huge group. They are extremely dangerous. You must be very careful during your investigation. The purpose of Chen Gu coming to Xi'an High Police Station had been achieved. He had formed a link with the police force and had pointed the law enforcement toward the direction of the cursed hospital. Next, he would need to slowly gain the trust of the police, and then he would gain support for his own objective. Okay, we will be extra careful. Look at you, you must be tired. You'd better go back and rest. See you tomorrow. Seeing Chin Gu depart from the station, Yu Ji was filled with confusion. In the end, she could not help herself but ask, Captain Kai, who is this person? This is the first time I've seen you treat someone so kindly and respectfully. His name is Chin Gu. He is the only normal citizen who has received the Public Security Honorary Badge in Zhejiang. He has been personally involved in more than 10 major crimes and has helped more than 20 victims gain their justice. Captain Kai's gaze was heavy. Li Jing at Jiujiang's major crimes unit is my former classmates. I've already heard many things about this man from him. I just did not expect that he would come to Xi'an High so soon. Could it be some exaggerated rumors? He is involved in more than 10 heavy crimes and more than 20 human lives? Is he Conan? Yu Ji's interest in Chen Gu was piqued, she kept staring at his back. Regardless, time to get back to work. Things are going to get rocky in Xi'an High very soon. Once Chen Gu walked out from the police station, Mr. Wang, who had been waiting for him at the roadside, walked over. Mr. Wang, you have been waiting for me? Chen Gu had good impression of Mr. Wang, or to be more precise, he had good impression of everyone from Zhejiang Medical University. Yes. Mr. Wang hesitated. He stared at Chen Gu for a very long time before he finally said, I hear from Zhu Han that you are a legend. To search for your own missing parents, you practically flipped the whole of Zhejiang upside down and solved several important cases along the way. I was just extremely lucky. To be able to encounter so many murders one after another, I would not call that lucky. If anything, I would say you are probably the unluckiest person in the world. Mr. Wang sighed. Death, despair, pain, and struggle, behind every murder, there is hidden humanity's sin. During this peaceful era, we are the people closest to these sins. Mr. Wang was being very serious, and this caused Chen Gu to treat him very seriously as well. Sir, why exactly did you wait for me? What do you need from me? About twenty years ago, there was a serial killer in Zhejiang. At that time, public surveillance was not as comprehensive as it is now. Combined with the fact that all the murders were committed in the countryside, this seriously hampered the investigation. Mr. Wang looked at the cars moving up and down the road. It felt like he was talking to him. 
To avoid increased public panic, all the information related to the case was blocked off. The higher-ups even gave an order that the police needed to capture the murderer within a week. In the end, we indeed caught the killer on the seventh day, but at the time, we suspected that there was more than one killer. Mr. Wong sighed lightly. The captured killer could not even finish a full sentence. He was made to be killer simply because all the evidence pointed toward him. Since all the evidence pointed toward him, doesn't that mean that the police got the right person? Chen Gu had a feeling that he knew what Mr. Wang was getting at. But what if the evidence was purposely set up by the real killer? Mr. Wang squeezed his hands together. The killer is very cunning. He probably already came up with a solution to shake the blame off him when he committed the first murder. The atmosphere slowly became heavy. Both parties were silent for a while before Mr. Wong finally continued. That case has become a thorn in my heart. I'm always reminded of the victim's face, his open eyes, how he was struggling for help from me in his last moments. When Mr. Wong said these things, he kept his eyes glued on Chen Gu. Do you know who the last victim was during that killing spree? Who was it? Chen Gu. That child had the same name as you. Mr. Wang took a deep breath. Perhaps it's because of that Captain Yen was particularly partial toward you. I know you two cannot be the same person, but you two have the same gaze. His name was also Chen Gu? Chen Gu was startled. Mr. Wang, do you mind me about this case from 20 years ago in more detail? The first victim was a tourist from another state. He accidentally captured the killer in the process of murdering a child on his camera. The killer was wearing a white doctor's coat, and the child was only about five. The case that Mr. Wang described gave Chen Gu an eerie sense of familiarity. After the tourist died, we started our investigation. We slowly discovered how cruel and mad the killer was. He used different methods to kill children of varying ages, but of the same body size. Even though we failed to find the bodies of these children, there were witnesses and surveillance footage. Then, what happened next was inexplicable. Two witnesses were brutally murdered, and the murderer in the white coat even somehow managed to tamper with most of the physical evidence. Chapter 1151, Could This Be the Truth? Mr. Wang told Chen Gu about the serial killings that happened 20 years ago. Part of the details matched the information that Chen Gu already knew of the crime. For example, the killer once drowned the victim at Eastern Zhejiang Dam. Then, the killer lured the victim into White Dragon Tunnel and strangled him inside the tunnel, and there was a citizen who saw the killer push the victim from the edge of a tall building. Due to the long distance, the witness did not get a clear look of either the killer or the victim. However, in each case, the victims were children of a very young age. They wore different clothes, but their body size and height were extremely similar. It gave off the inscrutable feeling that the same child had been killed multiple times. After hearing the revelation from Mr. Wang, Chin Ji's heart was thumping unevenly. When he did the trial missions, given by the black phone, he had personally witnessed these scenarios. He was the child who was killed multiple times by the killer. Lifting his hands to press against his temples, green veins popped on Chen Ji's forehead. The shattered memories were slowly piecing up together in his mind. He felt a headache mounting. Mr. Wang, are you sure that the name of the last victim was Chen Gu? Did you guys find his body? Even though I failed to find his body, I was present when he was killed. Mr. Wang's eyes were filled with regret and guilt. His hands clenched into fists. After our long analysis, we locked onto three children in Jiujiang who had the same build and size as the victims in the previous cases. We believed that the killer would target one of these three children next. Therefore, the police had set up surveillance around these three children? Yes. At the time, the law enforcement was lacking manpower so I was called to join the operation as well. I was assigned to Team 7 by the captain of the Zhejiang police station at the same time. Our team was responsible for watching over a private orphanage. Mr. Wang paused for a moment as if worried that Chen Gu did not understand him. 
He added, of the three children that we'd narrowed down, one of them lived at the city center of Zhejiang. He came from a very good family. The second child lived in western Zhejiang, the child of the manager for Luo's real estate. The last child though was living in eastern Zhejiang's private orphanage. The details of the three children did not match Chen Gu at all. He could remember very clearly that he was living with his parents at Jiang Yuan Apartments in eastern Zhejiang. The three children targeted by the police at the time could not be him, but how come the last victim was called Chen Gu? Even to this day, I can remember what happened clearly. The police only told the orphanage's teachers and the director their mission, the children did not know anything. They spent their day playing like usual and then went to sleep. Once night fell, everything was normal until it was midnight, and the child that we were supposed to be watching over suddenly disappeared. Even now, I have no idea how the killer managed to do something like that. It was impossible to sneak a child without a trace out of a room of other sleeping children. After the child disappeared, I immediately reported it to my superior, and then the whole of Team 7 started to go and search for the child. In the end, Captain Yen, who had just joined the force back then, and I found the child inside an abandoned building in eastern Zhejiang. Mr. Wang's voice was shaking. Time supposedly washed away everything, but it was definitely not the case with Mr. Wang. Even when he was thinking back to the case now, he still found it hard to control his emotions. The child was shaking like a leaf. He was seriously injured, and his eyes were pleading for mercy. He cried out for help. He told us that his name was Chen Go. He said he wanted to see his parents, but just as the child was about to give us the name of his parents, the killer entered the room. The child told you with his own lips that his name was Chen Go? Chen Go himself had no recollection of this. He could not remember anything relating to Mr. Wang's story. Every single sentence that I am telling you now is the truth. So, what happened after the killer entered the room? The killer was wearing a doctor's coat and had the mask of a devil on. It appeared like he had already filled with room with narcotic gas before he walked in because once he did, Captain Yen and my mind started to spin in turn. After he shared a few words with the child, he took the child forcibly away. Mr. Wang's expression was wrought with pain and guilt. If only Captain Yen had fired his gun at the time, perhaps things would have ended up differently. Then, did you guys catch him in the end? That was the only thing that Chen Gu cared about. Based on the report from the officers and the other teams, they finally surrounded the killer by the side of the lake, and they personally witnessed the killer toss the victim's body inside the lake. Mr. Wang took a deep breath. The police instantly detained the man wearing the white coat by the lakeside. Everyone witnessed him kill the child and dispose of him in the lake, so there was no mistaking him as the killer. But the problem was there were still several unsolved mysteries regarding the killer that they captured. Number 1, the man in the white coat that they captured by the lakeside was a madman. He kept mumbling, do not come back again, do not come back again. Number 2, the white coat that he was wearing did not fit him at all. It was clearly not his size. Number 3, the way he disposed of the body was extremely amateurish. It did not look like the action of someone who had committed multiple murders. So, you believe that the captured man was a scapegoat? The real killer found a madman and purposely put on a show for the police to see? Actually, what Chin Good did not say was, perhaps the killers had been switched as well. The victim and killer encountered by Mr. Wang and Captain Yen were the real killer and the young Chen Gu, while the one encountered by the main police force at the lakeside was a planted killer. Even the body that was tossed into the lake probably was not Chen Gu, but one of the innocent orphans from the eastern Zhejiang orphanage. Yes, your guess is similar to mine. Mr. Wang's gaze became sharp. Captain Yen and I had a close encounter with the killer. Even though he was wearing a devil's mask, obscuring his face, the chilling and depressing presence that radiated off him was completely different from the killer who was eventually captured by the police. Did the police eventually find the body of the victim of the child from the eastern Zhejiang orphanage? Chen Ge asked. Mr. Wang shook his head. 
Throughout the murders, none of the victims' bodies were found. With what Mr. Wan had said, Chin Guk came up with a hypothesis. The doctors from the cursed hospital had been trying to kill him again and again for 20 years, but they realized that no matter how many times they tried, they could not kill him and attracted the law enforcement's attention in the process. To distract the police away from them, they purposely directed this whole show before the team of officers and had the police apprehend a scapegoat. The killer and victim of these serial killings were still alive in this world, but other than a few people who were still concerned about this case, no one cared about it anymore. The truth would not change due to time, it would instead get buried under the sands of time. Have the police found any information regarding the previous few victims? Chinga held on to the road light and kept his head lowered. No, they have failed to do so. Similarly, they could not find the bodies. Even the hair and blood had been properly cleaned by the killer, so nothing was left behind. Mr. Wong's expression was severe. I can tell you confidently that this was a serial killer, but when the captain of Jiujiang police station closed the case 20 years ago, simply because the bodies of the victims could not be found, in the end, the case was treated as an indiscriminate murder case. Is there a difference? The difference is very big, but honestly, it does not really matter now. In the unfamiliar city, Mr. Wang and Chen Gu stood by the side of the road. The people walked past them. They had their own lives to hurry to, and no one really cared about what they were talking about. So, did you come to Xian High hoping to reopen this case? Yes, the white coat worn by the killer at the time perfectly matched the uniform of a private hospital in Xian High. Other than that, Captain Yan and I heard the voice of the killer before. When he spoke, he had a local Xian High accent. Do you still remember what the killer said at the time? No, I don't. The feeling of having the memory blurred out is very hard to stomach. Mr. Wang swept a glance at Chen Gu but he did not continue. Actually, he had the same feeling when he visited Chen Ji's haunted house. Therefore, he had quickly recorded all the details that he could remember on the notebook the first moment he woke up. This did not mean that he suspected that Chen Gu was the killer. He just thought that Chen Gu did not appear like a normal haunted house operator, and that was one of the reasons he wished to cooperate with Chen Gu. What is the name of this private hospital that you mention? Where is its exact location? Mr. Wang was a crucial witness of the serial murder from 20 years ago, and that was the part of the memory that Chen Gu was lacking. Just based on this point alone, Chen Gu was ready to help Mr. Wang. The abandoned hospital was situated at the border of Xian Hai and Jiujiang. It's used many names in its lifetime, but the one that most people knew it by would be Xian Hai's Central Hospital. Mr. Wang hesitated for a moment before he turned to Chen Gu with sincerity. I know I cannot do everything on my own. A single person's power is limited, and I won't be able to handle most situations. If you are free tonight, do you mind going there with me? Just the two of us? And all Wu. Mr. Wang was determined to make this journey no matter what, but Chen Gu also knew that with just the three of them, they would not put a dent in the defense of the cursed hospital. Mr. Wang, if you are willing to place your trust in me, I hope that you are able to wait a few more days. Chin Gu would not tell Mr. Wang about his own secret, so he offered a different excuse. The night before last, the card's archway in Xian High collapsed. The police found a mass grave there. This new case is related to a case that happened one year ago. I know the police in Xian High are very busy, so they do not have the time to help me. I can understand that. No, what I mean to say is that these two cases are related to the private hospital that you just told me as well, Chinga said in a very serious tone. These three cases are related to that hospital. The Xian High police will eventually realize that, and when that happens, we can go with them. Then, how much longer do we need to wait? Soon. Chinga also had no idea when the law enforcement of Xian Hai would lead their investigation to the cursed hospital, so this was the only thing that he could say for now. You have already waited for 20 years, so what does a few more days matter? 
we should exchange contact information. When the time arrives, I will inform you immediately. Okay. Mr. Wang also sighed in relief. If the police in Xi'an Hai could help him with the investigation, naturally, that would be best. Mr. Wang, there is one last thing that I need to tell you. Do not try to investigate this on your own. If there are things that you wish to tell me and cannot do so on the telephone, you can come find me at Nightmare Academy on Destiny Avenue. Chen Gu put on a reassuring smile. That is one of my estates as well. It is very safe. Thank you. Mr. Wang focused his eyes on Chen Gu. It was clear that he still had something else on his mind, but he did not say anything in the end. He turned around and left, melting into the crowd. After Mr. Wang walked away, the smile on Chen Ji's face disappeared along with him. How come I have no memory of any of that at all? Has my own memory been tampered with as well? What Mr. Wang just told him could prove indirectly that Chen Gu indeed had been killed many times when he was young. That was not an illusion created by the ghost fetus, it was something that had happened in real life. The thing that Chen Gu had been trying to ignore now was brought up to the surface. He could not pretend that it did not exist anymore. He had to face this head on. The child who was killed again and again should be me. All the information and details matched, and the person who killed me should be someone from the cursed hospital. And what kind of role did my parents play in this whole process? How come they did not stop the hospital from murdering me? Chen Gu gripped his hair tightly until some strands of hair came out in his fingers. This kind of feeling of being unable to remember something that had clearly happened was very painful. My parents were always so kind to me. It was this family who showed me the meaning of happiness, warmth, and love. How could such parents sit idle and watch me being murdered again and again? Or perhaps the person that the doctors killed was not the real me, but a kind of something on me. Like perhaps the amalgamation of sin on my body? Chinga took out the black phone and carefully looked over the trial missions that he had done in the past. When I first obtained the black phone, the first nightmare mission that I did required me to stand before the mirror with my eyes closed. It was midnight. The me standing outside the mirror was a person, and the me inside the mirror was a ghost. One was kind and cowardly, the other was cruel and scary. Is it possible that the mission was trying to tell me something through the mirror ghost? Chin Gu could still remember the description of that nightmare mission now. I know you're still not wholly convinced about the existence of ghosts in the world. In that case, how about a little game? The truth will be revealed when you open your eyes. The mirror was used as the main item, when I opened my eyes at the time, would I see the version of myself in the mirror? When the haunted house officially opened for business, the first unique visitor that I encountered was Fan Yu. The child was reluctant to communicate with others in real life, and he had been searching for heaven. The other Fan Yu turned into the painter in the blood-red world behind the door. He carried the curse and the resentment of the whole school of the afterlife, building a heaven within the realm of hell. Fan Yu and the painter, one represented humanity, and the other suffered all the sin, one was living outside the door, and the other had entered the door. Fan Yu was the key person to unlocking the scenario of Mu Yang High School, and Mu Yang High School was the first two-star scenario I encountered. The key character to my first three-star scenario, the third sick hall, was Man Nan. Wait, the situation here was the same with Fan Yu. He was born inside a mental hospital. All the tragedy and pain morphed him into a red specter behind the door while his actual living body became a student under Dr. Gao and lived a normal person's life. Now that he thought about it, the whole thing was incredibly scary. Dr. Gao was the chairman of the Ghost Stories Society, and the red specter Men Nan was trapped by him inside the door at the third sick hall while the Men Nan in real life became his best student. Dr. Gao might have known more than Chen Gu expected. From the very beginning, he was probably doing some kind of purposeful experiment, and Men Nan was his test subject. The events surrounding the four-star mission, Ghost Fetus, are even clearer. The shadow escaped from me. 
From the information that I have, he suffered most of my pain and despair, and he was desperate for happiness and bliss. It was this part of his emotions that became the seed that eventually birthed the ghost fetus. Holding the black phone, Chin Ji's face was pale. He finally realized it. Ever since he obtained the black phone, every single key trial mission had been trying to tell him the same message. Behind one person's happiness, there was another person who was silently suffering all the sin and tragedy. Could there really be another version of myself behind the door? Chin Go looked at the black phone he held in his palm. He looked at the messages that he had received on it. He looked at the reflection of himself on the cold phone screen. I think I get it now. Chapter 1152 Dinner is served Chong Wenyu once said that she'd seen the black phone somewhere inside the blood city, so the person who has been messaging me should be there as well. Many clues started to link together, and Chen Gu was getting step by step closer to the truth. When Chen Gu entered the Nightmare Academy on Destiny Avenue, he noticed that there was a gaze from the Si Li Xiong Eatery opposite that had been following him. But when he turned his head that way with Yin Yang vision, he failed to find anyone. There was no one there staring at him. Was it the boss of Si Li Xiong staring at me? Chen Gu could not confirm that suspicion. He planned to wait until night arrived before he went over the place to give it a more thorough check. Entering the headmaster office, he noticed that Chi Ren was asleep. Chin Gu did not disturb him as he moved to sit at the study table. He opened his backpack and was about to arrange his items when his expression darkened. Why are these paper notes still inside my backpack? Didn't I hand them over to the Xian High Police? Chin Gu took the paper notes out from his backpack. The uneven handwriting on them was like a curse that could not be shaken loose. There are more than ten red specters living inside my backpack. If someone intended to silently to place the paper notes back inside my backpack, the red specter employees would have noticed it. If a common person encountered something like this, the first thing that would come into their mind was tearing up the paper notes or burning them. After they did that, they would realize that the paper notes would continue to appear in their vicinity. This was the quintessential beginning to a ghost story. But Chen Gu, as history had proven, was not a common person. First, he placed the paper notes on his own shadow. He waited for half an hour and noted that nothing strange had happened. Then he picked the paper notes up and shoved them inside the red high heels. These paper notes keep appearing, as if they are trying to remind me that I am living inside a sickened world. They keep on repeating the same sentence. If I start to believe the message of the statement and am led to believe its truth, I will probably become an actual patient. The cursed hospital only needed two kind of people, doctors and patients. The way they treated Dr. Fong and Chen Gu was completely different. It was as if they had already decided that Chen Gu was a suitable patient from the very beginning. They had tried everything they could to convince and persuade Chen Gu of his own illness. The moment Chen Ji's conviction started to shake, the moment he also believed that the world was sick and needed to be changed, he would have fallen completely into the cursed hospital's trap. The city of Xian High gives me a very bad feeling. On the surface, it is peaceful and vibrant, and the security is very tight. Yet, I cannot feel safe for some reason whenever I am here. Chen Gu was still thinking about the problem when Qi Ren, who was asleep on the bed, suddenly screamed. His hands waved violently about, and his lips kept mumbling something incoherent. His emotions were unusually heightened. What happened to him? Is it a nightmare? Chen Gu had a red specter who specialized in dreams, the son of the woman in the tunnel. But Chen Gu did not dare summon him out that easily. What if Qi Ren suddenly woke up to find a giant spider before him? He would probably be scared out of his wits. Hey! Wake up! Chen Gu pushed slightly but firmly on Qi Ren's shoulders. Qi Ren, who was woken up from his sleep, sprang up into a seated position. His chest was rising and falling violently, and his clothes were wet from cold sweat. Was it another nightmare? Chen Gu handed a glass of water to Qi Ren, but Qi Ren did not dare touch the glass. 
He curled his body into a ball and shrank backward, his eyes overwhelmed with fear and terror. It came into my dream again. It appears to know that I have already betrayed it. Chi Ren claimed in a shrill voice. His hand scratched his face. The man did not seem to realize that the scratches went so deep that they left bloody gashes on his face. Don't panic. Can you please tell me what happened in your dream first? I dreamt about that ghost who only has a mouth on its face. It was standing next to the bed and requested that I told it a story. Chi Ren placed his hand over his heart. I was very afraid, and I told him that I no longer had any stories to tell it. But it refused to take no for an answer. It threatened me, saying that if I refused to tell it any story, it would peel open my head and crawl into my brain. Then what happened? Just as it was about to crawl into my brain, you woke me up. Chi Ren was obviously still petrified by his nightmare. I have a feeling that it knew I have already betrayed it. All the family members who have betrayed it get seriously punished. They would be better dead. I need to escape. I cannot stay in Xian Hai. You need to calm down first. Chin Good grabbed Chi Ren's shoulders as he tried to crawl out from bed. The curse on your body has been temporarily suppressed. Even if he knows that you have betrayed him, as long as he is unable to find you, you will be temporarily safe. But it knows how to find me. As long as I am still in Xian Hai, it will eventually find me. Chi Ren was on the verge of a mental breakdown. A man of over 40 was scared witless, to the point he had regressed to the state of a child. If it could appear in your dream, there is a possibility that it could have gone through your memory through your dream. That way, it found your location and came in person to get you. Chen Gu did not want to lie to Chi Ren. I am surely dead now. I need to leave this place as soon as possible. I need to go now. I cannot wait until sundown anymore. There is no more time. Like I said earlier, please do not panic. It could only go through your memory in your dream which means that it can't do anything to you as long as you do not fall asleep. Chen Gu flipped through the comic to summon out Zhang Yi. Zhang Yi, who was now a red specter, gave a presence that was completely different from before. It was intensely scary. I could stay awake for another 24 hours, but that does not mean that I won't eventually be overwhelmed by fatigue and fall asleep. Chi Ren hugged his own head. His eyes were filled with despair. At the beginning, he only gave Dr. Fung a warning. That was not a big sin, but now he had shared everything he knew with an outsider. That was a taboo at the cursed hospital. If he was captured, he did not dare imagine what those group of people might do to him. The person that you fear can look through your memory in your dream and know everything that has happened to you, that is indeed a very formidable power, but it does not mean that it is irresolvable. Chen Gu signaled for Zhang Yi to use his own power. We only need to tamper with your entire memory and consciousness, then we will be able to fool the enemy. In other words, we will have to create a fake memory for you. Create a fake memory for me? Yes, I will temporarily hide away part of your memory and use that to misdirect the enemy. When other people ran into trouble, the first thing they would consider was how to solve the problem, but when Chen Gu ran into any trouble, the first thing that he would think of was how to turn that problem into his own benefit. It will be pointless. Even if the memory is hidden away, as long as I am still in Xian High, it will definitely be able to find me. Chi Ren shook his head with pain in his eyes. He had already given up. Every person with the surname Chi in Xian High is its eyes and ears, and I still have its curse inside my body. If I do not escape from Xian High, it only needs to pay a little sacrifice, and it will be able to sense my location. I am its family, someone who can never shake loose from its control. Its sensory power is only limited to Xian High? They have buried their curse deep beneath the ground of Xian High. They have cursed this city for twenty years. You should run away with me, we cannot win this. The curse is buried underground? Chen Gu held a tight grip over Chi Ren's hands. Tell me more about that. I cannot say more than that. Once I do, the curse will be triggered. 
It will hurry over here immediately. Chi struggled with his life. The cursed hospital was a fear buried deep inside his heart. Any kind of verbal consolation was unable to coax him out of his mist of despair. Looks like there is no other way. I will figure out a way to bring you away from here, but before that, I need you to take you to one place first. Chengu waved for Chi Ren to follow him. They walked out from the headmaster's office and down the dim corridor of the Nightmare Academy. We are here. This is the place. Chengu stopped before a door. When he pushed open the door, he also made a signal out of Chi Ren's sight. Zhang Yi silently appeared behind Chi Ren. When Chi Ren peeked inside the room to look, Zhang Yi's hand fell on the top of Chi Ren's head. The eyes slowly closed. Zhang Yi had wiped out all of Chi Ren's memory that was related to Chen Gu inside his mind. You have helped me a great deal. Naturally, I will not leave you to die like that. Chen Gu was a very principled man. He planned to wipe out Chi Ren's memory and then sneak him out of Axian High at night. The demon god with the surname Chi is able to look through all the memories of the people who have the surname Chi through their dreams. I will have to remember that. That is very important info. Zhang Yi could look through a person's memory as well, but even after he became a red specter, he still had to make physical contact with someone before he could use his power. Boss, his mind was filled with a black spider web, and many memories had been melded together with curses. The only thing I could do was remove the most recent memories related to you from his mind. I did not even dare look through his earlier memories before I got afraid of triggering the curse and setting off the enemy's alarm. After Zhang Yi became a red specter, he did not lose his rationality. If anything, he gained more than a bit of humanity. You have done very well. Chen Gu looked at Qi Ren, who had fainted on the ground. The demon god with the surname Qi has started to appear in these poor people's dreams. Looks like the cursed hospital has already noticed a problem. I wonder what they will do next. The true power of the enemy was an unknown, and their ability was unclear. If Chen Gu was cornered, he would be in a very bad spot. If I trigger the curse, will the demon god with the surname Qi hurry over immediately? Perhaps I can make use of that. Chenga took out his phone to call Ol Wu. Brother Wu, do you have time tonight? Can you drive your car over to the back door of Nightmare Academy? No problem, Ol Wu promised readily. At around six something, Ol Wu drove the car provided by the Jiujiang Medical University and arrived at the back door of Nightmare Academy. Chenga released the red specters to scout their surroundings. After ensuring there was no one around, Chen Gu brought the unconscious Qi Ren out and placed him on the back seat. Who is this? A friend of mine. Chen Gu then grabbed his backpack and also crawled into the car. I need to send him back to Jiujiang. What? We are going back to Jiujiang? Olwu was shocked. Are you already done with your task here? Not yet, but I need to go back temporarily. Chen Gu closed the car door. Brother Wu, when your car is about to cross Xian High's border, you need to decelerate. Why? Just follow my instructions. Chen Gu flipped through the comic and ensured that every single red specter was in their best condition. Let us prepare to set off. The car slowly moved. A dangerous glint was hidden at the bottom of Chen Ji's eyes. The demon god with the surname Qi has cursed every single one person with the Qi surname. Earlier, Qi Ren mentioned that once they trigger the curse, the demon god will arrive immediately. Chen Gu slowly narrowed his eyes. In other words, this was a perfect chance to lure a lone demon god away from the cursed hospital. When Chen Gu heard what Qi Ren had to say earlier, a mad idea had formed in his mind. He planned to lure the demon god out and use this chance to dispose of it. He knew that the cursed hospital had at least two demon gods. If he was able to kill one of the demon gods, the situation would be much better for him. Chen Ji's side was completely ready, but the demon god with the surname Qi had been in existence for decades. Chen Gu believed that he had a 70% success rate, and that was enough for him to take this gamble. 
The red high heel, Xiaobu, Changwenyu, I have three top red specters and several red specters with unique power and demon god Zhongya. That should be enough to set up a death trap. The people with the surname Qi will not be able to leave the territory of Xi'an Hai freely. Along with the fact that the curse has been triggered, even if the demon god does not show up itself, it will send other red specters in its place. No matter what, this is the perfect chance to hack away at the power of the cursed hospital. Chin Gu was tired of dealing with small mobs. He decided to tear off a huge chunk of meat from the cursed hospital. Ol Wu, who was driving, had no idea what was going on in the back seat. He merely adjusted the temperature inside the car and mumbled under his breath, This is so strange. How come the aircon is so cold tonight? It's so cold that my teeth are chattering. Xi and High Streets were very busy. Chen Gu and Ol Wu also happened to leave during rush hour. It took Ol Wu a whole hour to get the car to the countryside of Xi and High. As Chen Gu had requested, just as they were about to leave Xi and High, he started to decelerate. The atmosphere inside the car became heavy. Chen Gu closed his eyes to rest as much as he could, and he had all the red specters reign in their presence. After a while, the car successfully left Xi and High. No one appeared to stop them. The plan has failed? Did I overthink things? Chen Gu did not let his guard down. He continued to wait patiently. The night sky darkened, the lights from the streetlights dimmed, and the surroundings suddenly became curiously quiet. The number of cars on the road gradually dwindled until Ol Wu became the only vehicle on this long, solitary road. This is strange. There are so few cars on the road. You wanted us to take a detour before we left Xi and Hai. This path is less commonly used. It is normal for there not to be too many cars on the road. It will become normal again when we get on the highway. Ol Wu still had not realized the severity of the situation. Just as he said that, the vehicle suddenly shuddered. It felt like the wheels had rolled over something. Hmm, what was that? The road should be flat here. Looking at the rearview mirror, Ol Wu started sweating bullets. On the road behind him, someone covered in blood lay on the ground. I hit someone. He stepped on the brake immediately. Ol Wu quickly parked the car by the side of the road. Chen Gu. Quick, we have to go check up on the person. Do not panic. Chen Gu grabbed Ol Wu's hand to steady him. No matter what happens, I need you to stay close to me. You must not run away from me. Oh. Okay. Carrying the backpack, before Chen Gu even got the chance to open the car door, Chi Ren, who was unconscious, suddenly started to shriek. His hands reached to his throat, and his fingers gouged into his neck. He was trying to kill himself. Ol Wu. Watch over him. Try to stop him from harming himself. Chenga had Ol Wu control Chi Ren while he quickly flipped through the comic. The people from the cursed hospital had arrived, but he did not know whether it was a demon god or not. Chenga used Yin Yang vision to look at the body on the ground. The dead body, covered in fresh blood, suddenly convulsed. A face that had been crushed supposedly by the car and filled with wounds turned toward him. Save me. The sticky blood leaked out from the dead body's wounds. It morphed into numerous bloodlines to pierce through its body. Then, the bloodlines controlled the body to charge at Chen Gu. This red specter is just a toy. I need to find the puppeteer. To be able to control a red specter like that, Chinga knew that he had landed a big fish. The sound of pages flickering kept echoing, and an endless sea of red started to spread around Chingu. It is time for all of you to come out. Dinner is served. Chapter 1153 I have kidnapped the demon god S. Sun Chingu had predicted that the cursed hospital might send their people, so he had purposely gotten Ol Wu to drive the car to the other side of the city the side that was furthest away from the cursed hospital, and along a lane that people rarely used to leave the city. It was true that one might run into ghosts if one traveled too late at night, but if a ghost tried to ambush too many humans on the road,
they might run into Chengu, there were not that many people on the road. Even if he got into a battle with a demon god, they would not harm any nearby innocents. Furthermore, this place was very far from the cursed hospital, so Chengu had enough time to kill the opponent and escape as soon as possible. Chen Ji's escape looked like it was done in a hurry, but actually, every step was carefully planned. The endless blood waves gushed out from under his feet and soaked into the ground, sealing up the road at an extremely fast speed. The red specter before him was just a toy, the real danger was the one controlling it. Chinga knew that very well, so he had all his red specters make their moves at the same time to seal up the entire territory. Found you. The spreading of the blood soon met resistance. Chen Gu turned his head in that direction. A child was sitting at the door of an abandoned building by the side of the road. The child kept his head lowered, and he had something like a lollipop in his hand. When the blood that came out from Chen Ji's feet reached the child, the blood involuntarily moved around him and could not get close to the child's body. Is it a demon god? Chen Gu was very nervous as well. Using his inyang vision, he finally saw clearly that the boy was not holding a lollipop but an eyeball that was pierced through a stick. Around the boy's feet was a cluster of toys. The toys were all made from different human facial organs. The red specter in the middle of the road lunged at Chen Gu under the boy's control. When it was about one meter away from Chen Gu, it could not budge forward anymore. The stench morphed into a thick palpable wall to block the way toward Chen Gu. The red specter held in pain. Its body was torn by the bloodlines. The boy did not care about its feeling. For him, it was just a tool that could be replaced at any time. No wonder you have the guts to escape. You found someone to help you. A chilling and shrill voice came out from the boy's body. The boy raised his head. His face was as pale as paper, and his whole face only consisted of a mouth. Why would you escape when we are family? There is nothing more that I hate than those who abandon their family. The boy's voice traveled into everyone's ears as if the voice could pierce through their eardrums. Seeing the boy's emotion was getting out of control, Chen Gu was not only not afraid, the corner of his lips turned up into a smile. He isn't running? Looks like he has not realized the situation he is in. Chen Gu had once heard from Qi Ren that this was the child that he first dreamt about inside the morgue. Later, his dream included a middle-aged man who only had a mouth on his face. With that information, the middle-aged with only a mouth was the real demon god with the surname Qi, and this boy with just a mouth was probably his split self or perhaps his son. No matter the situation, there was at least one point that was certain. The boy was very powerful. At the very least, he was powerful enough to believe that he could deal with any trouble that Chen Gu might pose to him. Even though he was surrounded by the sea of blood, the boy still did not intend to escape at all. He knew that he had fallen for an ambush. The first thing that came into his mind was to kill Chen Gu alongside with the traitor. Actually, this was expected of the boy, Xian Hai was the cursed hospital's territory so there was nothing for him to worry about. Furthermore, his task was to chase after a betraying family member. Who would have thought the person would have a friend that had a demon god, three top red specters, and many red specters with unique talents to set up an ambush? A normal person or ghost would not even consider that. Chingu used this psychological that the opponent might have, and instead of running away, he pretended to escape to lure the enemy into his trap. This boy can control red specters like toys, and he has a curious relationship with that demon god. Thus, the boy himself should be very powerful as well. Chen Ji's initial plan was to trap and surround the enemy, but he did not expect the boy to voluntarily fight him head on. If the boy had chosen to run away when he first saw Chen Gu, it would have been very unbeneficial to Chen Gu should this turn into a chasing battle, and that was what he worried about the most. Thankfully, however, the boy was too overconfident to do something like that. Seeing the boy slowly walk toward him, Chen Gu could not stop the smile from appearing on his face. One red specter after another appeared from the blood mist. 
When the boy's attention was occupied by the several red specters, the red high heels, and Xiaobu, who had been hiding in the dark, attacked at the same time. This was not cunning, this was Chen Ji's tactic. The top red specters attacked from the back. When the boy realized what had happened, it was already too late. Five fingers covered in curses pierced his chest, and multiple black and red blood vessels stuck into his body. The sound of wailing shattered the peace of the night. A pile of living facial organs fell out from the boy's body. Somehow, these organs were still alive. The eyes were still blinking, and the lips were screaming, the whole scenario felt surreal and terrifying. Make it quick. After the quick interaction, Chinga had a sense of the boy's true power. He was a top red specter, but he was different from a normal top red specter. There were plenty of black patterns that did not belong to him residing inside his body. This gave Chinga the feeling that this body was like a spare body the demon god had prepared for himself. Just like how Chang Wenyu had separated out her heart, the demon god with the surname Qi had given the pattern with a special meaning to this boy. The boy could not utilize this power inside the black pattern. Combined with the ambush from two top red specters, one of them being the red high heels, a top red specter who specialized in curses, the battle from the beginning was one-sided bullying. That was Chen Ji's style, he would never preserve his energy. A battle should be wrapped up as soon as possible. Demons danced in the sky, and ghosts floated on the wind. Blood and curses covered the empty road. Even the clouds over the horizon were dyed red. The top red specter from the cursed hospital was attacked by more than ten red specters from Chen Ji's haunted house. His body was flickering. He was seriously injured, but he refused to die. The black patterns on his body would always protect him at the most crucial moment. In the end, he knew that he could not resist any further. He thus transferred his memory and his consciousness into the black pattern and gave up the rest of his body. The battle continued, but a very bad feeling started to form inside Chin Ji's heart. If this continues to drag on, the cursed hospital will definitely send reinforcements. The black pattern on the boy's body was under incessant attack. The demon god with the surname Chi must have sensed it already, and if he arrived at the scene, everything would go out of control. Chin Ji's plan was to surprise the enemy with an ambush, but now that the cursed hospital knew that he had the ability to surround and slaughter a top red specter, they would not let their guard down again. Unable to take advantage of the situation, Chin Gu decided to call it a night. With the cooperation of several red specters, the dying boy was sent behind the door of the tunnel lady's son. Oh Wu! Get back to the driver's seat. We are going back to Jiaojiang. Chen Gu had done something big this time. He had directly kidnapped the demon god's son. With no time to waste, Chen Gu immediately ordered Ol Wu to drive and leave Xian Hai. After they got on the highway, Chen Gu turned back to look at Xian Hai. The night sky above Xian Hai's countryside was painted red, like a bloody mouth that was widening. Has something happened inside the cursed hospital? Did they not send anyone to chase after us? Touching the wedding ring on his finger, Ching Gu had no idea whether this had anything to do with Xiao Sun or not. Ol Wu had just experienced the scariest night of his life. He drove the car directly back to Jiaojiang. He had not driven so fast in his life before. Chen Gu, when we left Xian Hai, what was the thing that we encountered? Ol Wu's voice was shaking. He had been holding this question in during the whole journey, but just as they were arriving at their destination, the question finally slipped out. I will tell you in more detail when we reach New Century Park. We still have not escaped from the danger yet. The theme park? We are not going to a theme park. We should head to the police station now. I am going to give Captain Yen a call. That won't be necessary. Trust me. I will explain everything to you when we reach the theme park. When Ol Wu drove the car into New Century Theme Park, Chen Gu summoned out Zhang Yi and sent Ol Wu into a beautiful dream. When you wake up, you will forget all the pain and anxiety. Chen Gu left Ol Wu inside the car. 
he carried Chi Ren and headed toward the haunted house. After he opened the gates, before he even entered, the curtains were pulled back to reveal Ol Bai, who was hugging Xiao Xiao, and a big white cat was slumped lazily across his shoulder. Boss, you're home. Seeing Bai Chilin in the role of a house husband, Chin Guk did not know what to say. He removed the white cat from Ol Bai's shoulder. You are a red specter. At least get them to respect you while you're working. The white cat wiggled its body out of discomfort. It tried to scratch at Chin Ge, but it was easily ignored by the latter. Did any accidents happen at the haunted house while I was away? Chin Gu was not that worried about the haunted house, but he still needed to ask. The running of the haunted house went smoothly. Everyone gave their full cooperation, but... Olbai pointed at the direction of the haunted house's toilet. There was a little change there. Master Wei and I were planning to try to reach out to you and tell you about this. The toilet? What happened? Chenga became nervous. The door of the cubicle suddenly opened on its own one night. What? Chen Ji's heart immediately jumped to his throat. His rush to the toilet, and what he saw, caused his already quivering heart to palpitate even further. The wooden boards that had previously sealed up the cubicle door littered the ground in pieces. The picture of the demon on the door was ghastly and creepy, like it was watching everyone that headed into the toilet. The door was opened from the inside. When I heard the sound, it was already like this. Old Bai walked in behind him. To preserve the state of this place, I have not cleaned this place at all. I have been guarding the entrance and made sure that no one came in here. When was the door pushed open? Around midnight yesterday. Old Bai tried to bring up his memory about that night. At the time, I was training the students from Mu Yang High School in the underground scenario when we suddenly heard a loud crash. Old Bai walked to the cubicle door and pulled the door open. The picture of a demon was carved into the outside of the door, while inside the door, there was a bloody handprint. The handprint was left behind that night. It is clear that it is the handprint of a child. I can't think of a child in this haunted house who would match this handprint. Olbaik shared everything that he knew with Chen Gu. The door that has been relatively quiet has started to change. Is it because someone has escaped from behind the door? Chen Gu stared at the bloody handprint on the door. And he chose to open the door when I was not at the haunted house? Is this a coincidence, or is it premeditated? The door at his own haunted house being pushed open from the inside was not something that Chen Gu had envisioned. His focus was currently all on the cursed hospital, he did not have any energy left to investigate this door at his own haunted house. One could not enter a blood door without any preparation. For example, the door of the ghost fetus and the door at the school of the afterlife, once entered, would put one under the control of the door pusher. Therefore, Chinga had no intention of entering this door without finding out more about it. Ever since he obtained the black phone, this was the first time Chen Gu had been away from the haunted house for so long. I have a feeling that the thing that escaped from the door was purposely trying to avoid me. It did not harm anyone and did not destroy anything inside the house. After it left the world behind the door, it disappeared almost immediately. Chen Gu silently scratched his chin. It feels like it was being chased by something behind the door and finally found its chance to escape. The handprint on the door was that of a child. Chin Gu memorized the shape of the handprint and then closed the cubicle door. It feels like everything is connected somehow. Chin Gu had Olbai to continue guard the entrance to the toilet while he entered the underground scenario. After greeting every employee who had been left behind at the Jiujiang haunted house, Chin Gu brought the remaining red specters into the spider boy's door. The world behind the door was separated from the real world. Even the demon god would not be able to sense the boy's presence there. Chen Ge had already planned everything with no crack in his plan. Chen Ge turned to Zhang Yi. Have you gone through the memory of that top red specter? I just became a red specter myself, so the difference in power is too big. I cannot go through his memory. Whenever Zhang Yi wanted to get close to the boy, he would be burned by the boy's curse, 
and black blisters would appear on his body. Of all the employees, only the red high heels was not affected by this at all. The power difference is too big? Then you guys should continue to suck away his power. No matter the method, just keep on doing it until you are able to read his memory. Chengu used the most vindictive tone to say the cruelest thing. Hearing what his boss had said, Zhang Yi smiled helplessly, but he did not dare reject him. He merely said, the top red specter who is familiar with curses is currently peeling away the layer of curses. After she has consumed all the curses, there should be no issue. The curses on the boy were a strain that the red high heels had not seen before. The curse contained the demon god's power, so it could enter the red high heels, but at the same time, it could increase her power. As mentioned before, it was difficult for the red high heels, who was already a top red specter, to seek a breakthrough, but she was now one step closer to becoming a demon god. With the cooperation of more than ten red specters, each using their unique talent, they had split the top red specter from the cursed hospital into several parts. The most dangerous curse was consumed by the red high heels, the remaining memory and consciousness was given to Zhang Yi, and the resentment and hatred collected by the top red specter was shared among the rest of the red specters. The only thing that remained was the black pattern that came from the demon god. This strange pattern contained the truth of life and death. It had a captivating beauty to it while giving off a very dangerous presence. The most valuable things on the top red specter are these few patterns. Consuming them will give one an enormous power boost, but one has to be able to perfectly digest them. Zhang Yi relayed the words of the red high heels to Chen Gu. It is very difficult to digest them. Even the boy with the aid of the demon god was unable to do it. Even a top red specter was unable to do it? Digesting a demon god's resentment with just the ability of a red specter is almost impossible because the process of digestion will take too long. During this whole process, the consumer will suffer from unimaginable pain and despair, and they have to be careful not to get influenced by the demon god's lingering spirit. Zhang Yi shook his head. That is too difficult. Unless the demon god who produced this pattern is willing to help, almost no one could successfully digest this thing. The most valuable thing was also the most dangerous. Most of the red specters were unable to give it a try, only a red specter was silently staring at that strange pattern. Suin? Chin Gu and the nearby red specters all turned toward Suin. The young man with the melancholic expression reached out, and he slowly raised his arm. The skin that came into contact with the pattern cracked and shattered almost immediately. This was a pain unimaginable to a normal person, but it only made Su In barely frown. Of all the employees at the haunted house, Su In had the toughest determination, and Chen Gu had confidence in him. He believed that even if he was influenced by the demon god, Su In would not do anything to harm Chen Gu or the haunted house. Chapter 1154 The Last Nightmare Daily Mission When Zhang Ye was hibernating, Su In had protected Chen Gu many times. Most of the time, both the human and the ghost were at their weakest, and they had somehow managed to survive through the impossibility. The ghosts that Chen Gu trusted the most were Zhang Ye and Su Yin, the bond that they shared had already surpassed the distance between life and death. Are you sure you want to consume the black pattern of this demon god? Chen Gu looked at Su Yin seriously. Even though Su Yin was the most suitable candidate, he was not going to force him to do things that he did not want to. Even though Su Yin was going to gain enormous power, he would also suffer from unimaginable pain. Just from the touch alone, Su Yin's skin had started to crack at a very fast speed. Su Yin looked at the black pattern at the tip of his fingers and then slowly nodded. No one knew what Su Yin was really thinking. Perhaps he could feel the pressure coming from the demon god, or perhaps he knew that Chen Gu was not in a good position. The danger that they had experienced together made him realize that his current power was not enough for him to protect everything that he valued. He never wasted much energy on words, but he knew deep inside his heart that he did not wish to lose anything else in his life. There is no need to force yourself. Chen Gu and the other workers at the haunted house turned to Suin. 
Among the group of people, Suin slowly raised his arms and swallowed the demon god's black pattern. When the black pattern slid down his throat, Su Yin's face and neck surfaced with innumerable thin and tiny black blood vessels. The heart of the red specter in the middle of his chest was palpitating crazily. Even just by looking at him, one could imagine how much agony he was in. Su Yin's expression gradually twisted from pain. Despair and sadness rushed into his eyes, he seemed to turn back into that helpless young man that Chen Gu once encountered. Rationality was being consumed. Suin was at the edge of going berserk. The endless howls echoed behind the door. Chen Gu actively rushed forward to reach out and grab Su Yin's hands. The red specter's cold and sticky blood enveloped Chen Ji's hands. The blood vessels carved out numerable wounds on Chen Ji's arms. The blood vessels slid across Chen Ji's skin, cutting and slicing it open. Warm blood kept on leaking, but Chen Gu did not take one step back. Do not be confused by the demon god. You are Suin. Your name is Suin. The Red Specter employees behind him also moved forward. Blood vessels of different intensities fell on Su Yin's body. They were unable to help him share the pain, so they could only use their own method to help him induce the recovery of his body as soon as possible. A Red Specter had forced himself to swallow the pattern of a demon god. This was something that had not happened before. In a few short minutes, Su Yin's body felt like it had been reconstructed. A normal red specter would not have survived an ordeal like this, but Su Yin had somehow survived it. He slowly got used to that sensation of pain. The strange pattern around his red heart was growing rapidly while the black pattern from the demon god with the surname Qi was disappearing at a rate noticeable to the naked eye. Suddenly, a strange male voice came out from Su Yin's body. It was unclear what the man was saying, but it sounded like it was mumbling some kind of vicious curse. Following the curse, the black pattern inside Su Yin's heart morphed into a mouth, and it attempted to bite at Su Yin's heart from inside the latter's body. When the mouth bit into Su Yin's heart, the black pattern around Su Yin's heart also crawled into that mouth. Neither party backed down, and they were both trying to eat the other. Resisting the extreme pain, with the aid from all the employees at the haunted house, the black pattern around Su Yin's heart gradually won over. The black pattern from the demon god with the surname Qi was shattered and was turned into nutrients for Su Yin. Drops of black blood with strange presence dripped out of Su Yin's heart. It changed the young man's presence completely. The black pattern around his heart also started to spread madly. Was that successful? Chen Ge asked the red high heels through Zhang Yi. I suppose you can call it a temporary success. The pattern of the demon god might strike back at any moment because Su Yin still needs some time to completely digest the nutrients. Other people could not assess Su Yin's body, only red high heels, who was familiar with curses, would be able to do that. After Zhang Yi turned to her with the questions, he also returned to Chen Gu with some good news. Due to some unknown reason, a huge change has happened to Su Yin's body. Now, most curses will not work on him. This was something revealed by the top red specter who specialized in curses as well. The pain would continue for a while longer, but Su Yin's condition could be said to have stabilized. The top red specter from the cursed hospital was utilized completely, not even a single part was wasted. Zhang Yi, you'd better look through his memory as soon as you can. The more you can find out, the more beneficial it will be for us. Summoning all the red specters into the comic, Chen Go left the world behind the door. Returning to the haunted house's underground scenario, Chen Go suddenly felt it was more comfortable at home. When he was at Xian High, even though he had so many red specters with him, he did not feel safe at all. The next focus should be the cursed hospital. My parents should be there. I need to find them as soon as possible. Chen Gu had returned to Jiaojiang, but Zhang Jingjiao and Chu Chonglin were still in Xian High. He knew that their situation there would get more and more dangerous, so he had to return there. I have already given my promise to Mr. Wang to solve the case together. 
Other than that, I still need to consider Xiao Sun's safety. If I stay too far away from him, even if he sends me a message through the wedding ring, I will not be able to rush to him in time to help him. Chen Gu could not stay for too long in Zhejiang. He planned to deposit Qi Ren at the haunted house, and then he would depart back to Xian High once the sun rose. Last time, I left in such a hurry that I still have many things that I did not have the time to do. Chen Gu first entered the staff break room alone. He took out the black phone and used the remaining screen points to draw items from the Wheel of Misfortune. Perhaps he had really drawn all the specters from the prize pool already. He did not encounter any specter from his draws, but he won many strange and curious items. Is the game a scam? Either I draw a specter or something only usable by specters? Can't you give me something I can use once in a while? Chen Gu was getting rather annoyed. He read through the introduction of the Wheel of Misfortune, provided by the black phone again. He knew that there were supposed to be many different prizes, but everything that he had won so far was related to ghosts and specters. Is it the influence of the title Red Specters Favored? Chen Gu had no other choice but to share the items that he had won with his employees. Seeing the happiness looks on his workers' faces like it was Christmas, the annoyance in Chen Ji's heart slowly dissipated. The strengthening of the employees is beneficial to me as well. After he was done with the gift giving, Chinga realized that the Nightmare Daily Mission coupon that he had won from the previous draw still had not been used. He glanced at the time and decided to use it before he could think twice. The Nightmare Daily Mission normally has a special requirement, I cannot bring any specter and things related to the black phone with me. It is impossible to do the Nightmare Daily Mission in Xian High. The risk will be too great, so I can only give it a try at Jiujiang. Putting away the black phone, Chen Gu looked left and right before he spotted the white cat, which was curled up next to the wall. The white cat, whose body had grown even rounder, looked at Chen Gu with open eyes. It waved its tail back and forth. The other specters and spirits had all been given gifts. It appeared to be anticipating one for itself. Do you think I have forgotten about you? Chen Gu took out the high-class cat food inside the cupboard. After he lured the white cat to his side, he scratched the cat's head gently. We might need to go out for a spin this midnight. Since he had returned to Jiujiang, Chen Gu wanted to finish things that he had not handled. After taking a swift break inside the staff break room, Chen Gu waited for midnight to arrive. He took out the black phone and tuned into the daily missions, which would have refreshed. Simple daily mission, the number of surveillance cameras is seriously underwhelming, so accidents are bound to happen. Please install new security cameras in all three-star scenario within the next 24 hours. Normal daily mission, the number of baleful specter employees is growing rapidly. To ensure that they are loyal towards you, you must ensure the state of their mental health. Please help five spectral workers complete their dying wishes within the next 24 hours. Nightmare Daily Mission Have you ever wondered if there would be another version of yourself standing on the other side of the door when you pushed open a specific door inside your house alone at night? Of the three daily missions, only the last mission was written in ghastly blood like red letters. Taking in a deep breath, Chin Gu chose the last daily mission. Nightmare daily missions are very dangerous. Are you sure you want to choose it? Yes. Red Spectres favored, you have accepted the nightmare daily mission, Door, this the most difficult of all the nightmare missions. Hopefully, your luck will be as good as always. Door, nightmare difficulty, close your eyes, cover your ears, and do not speak a word that is not your name. Starting from 1.44 a.m., push open all the doors in your house. Whenever you push open a door, you must call out your own name. There are two ways to succeed at this mission. One is to have successfully pushed open all the doors in your house, and the other is to hear your own voice echoing from the other side of the door when you shout out your name. Warning! You cannot reveal the information of this nightmare mission to any other individual. You cannot carry any items related to the phone or any specter or spirits with you when conducting this nightmare mission. Chen Gu was silent looking at the writing on the black phone. 
Based on the description of the nightmare mission alone, it did not look that scary, but Chen Gug knew how difficult it would be when put into practice. The mission requirement is for me to push open all the doors inside the house, but it did not mention whether this house is referring to the house that I once occupied or this house of horrors. If it is referring to this haunted house, even if it gives me the entire night, I will not be able to open so many doors when the most crucial of my senses are blocked. Chen Gu stared at the words on the phone screen. For me, the only way to pass this mission is to hear the echo of my own voice from the other side of the door, but at the same time, the mission requirement has me block off my hearing. In that case, how am I supposed to hear any voices coming from the other side? Or is it because the voice that rings out from the other side of the door will travel directly into my heart and mind? Pushing open doors in your own house and then hearing your own voice coming from the other side of the door, from the description, it sounded very simple, but it carried a very unique meaning to it. Will I run into any danger conducting this mission inside the haunted house? The thought just flashed across Chen Ji's mind when it occurred to Chen Ge that not too long ago, the door inside the toilet had been pushed open, and something had escaped out from it. The thing that had escaped from behind the door was possibly still hiding in the haunted house. Even if he is still hiding inside the haunted house, I should not be that worried. For the sake of security, Chen Ge tied one end of the rope around the white cat and the other end of the rope around his own waist. Leading the white cat, Chen Ge entered the prop room and found the necessary eye patch and earmuffs. When all the preparatory work was done, Chen Gu walked to the front door of the haunted house. He wanted to start from the entrance and then gradually open all the doors inside the haunted house. I grew up in this haunted house. For the area above ground, I can walk through it with my eyes closed. The real difficulty will be the underground scenarios. Time was slowly ticking away. At 1.43 a.m., Chen Ge put on all the necessary accessories and started to count his heartbeat at the entrance of the haunted house. When it was 1.44 a.m., Chen Ge pushed open the front door of the haunted house with a powerful swing. He was unable to see or hear anything. The world around him was dark and quiet, it felt like he was the only person left in the world. The map of the haunted house was slowly being constructed in his mind. Chen Gu moved down the corridor with his eyes closed. He did not bump into anything. After all, he had taken this route basically every single day. All the nightmare missions have a deeper meaning behind them. They are leading me step by step closer to the truth. This mission should be no different. Chen Gu did not tell his other employees about the details of the mission. He could not hear any voice or see anything. Padding down the corridors of his own home, it felt like he was walking back in time to the time when his parents had just disappeared. The young man who had just lost the anchors in his life always cowered inside the corner of the haunted house's staff break room. He was very afraid. He was not yet ready to deal with all these things alone. But from a time that was hard to pinpoint, the young man had started to change. Chen Gu? Pushing open the door to the dressing room, Chen Gu called out his own name lightly, but there was no response. Holding on to the door, the image of him helping his employees with their makeup appeared in his mind. They were busy as they joked among each other. He had never imagined that he would be able to make so many friends in his life. Chen Gu? Then he found his way to the prop room. After pushing open the door, there was still no response. Chen Gu slowly moved down into the darkness. The surrounding became more and more quiet and cold. The surveillance room, the staff break room, the changing room, Chen Gu had visited them one by one before he finally reached the toilet. He knew very well that he was standing before his haunted house's toilet. The blood door was inside this toilet. Is the aim of this mission to lure me to open that door? But a blood door can only be opened at midnight, can't it? Unless the person pushing open the door is the door pusher himself. With a certain supposition in his mind, Chen Gu opened the toilet door, walked through it, and moved toward the faded cubicle. His hand landed on the door handle and slowly pushed. Chen Gu? The cubicle door was pushed open. Chen Ji's heart was beating so loudly, 
and he held his breath without knowing it. One second, two seconds. About ten seconds later, he did not hear his own voice being echoed from the other side of the door. It's not here? Retreating from the toilet, Chen Gu went to explore the scenario of Ming Hun and murder at midnight, but he still failed to find that door. Could it be underground? He slowly nudged his foot forward and pulled open the iron door that led to the underground scenario and carefully stepped down the stairs. The temperature continued to drop. Chen Gu shivered involuntarily. He tugged at the rope around his waist and realized that the white cat had already struggled loose from its constraint. The other end of the rope had been dragging on the ground. The cat has gotten cleverer and cleverer. Even though Chen Gu had gone to the underground scenario many times, it did not form muscle memory. To ensure that he did not miss any doors, he could only move slowly step by step. Darkness, loneliness, chilliness, and quietness, Chen Gu felt like he was stranded alone in this world, and all of his sensory emotions were being slowly stripped away. Chapter 1155 Please come and find me with his eyes closed and ears blocked. Unable to share what he was doing with his employees, all he could do was repeat his name again and again. Chen Gu walked for a long time down the dark hallway. He tried to bring up the map of the haunted house inside his mind, but he slowly discovered something scary. It appeared like he was not inside the haunted house at all. He had no idea where he had landed. He was unable to communicate with anyone. He could not hear anything and all that he could see around him was darkness. Piercing chills stabbed into his heart, Chen Gu finally stopped moving. Am I still inside the haunted house? This was the first time Chen Gu had felt like he was unfamiliar with his own haunted house. Is it possible that I exited the haunted house when I opened one of the doors earlier? Many different scary thoughts entered his mind. Chen Gu had no idea what was waiting ahead of him, and he had even less of an idea when he could push open that real door. Searching in the dark, when he could not see even the wisp of hope, he tried to open all the doors that he could encounter. Chen Gu felt like this whole experience was quite a deja vu. The nightmare daily mission with the name door appeared to wish to tell him something. In the absolute darkness and silence, time slowly lost all meaning. Chen Ji's body movement became more awkward and the surface of his skin was startlingly cold. Memories from his past flashed across his mind, and the strange sense of deja vu became stronger and stronger. Chen Gu? He called his name again and again while he kept repeating the same action. The surroundings became quieter and colder. Chen Ji's gait slowed down. A very scary thought overwhelmed his mind. If he continued walking, he probably would not find his way back. His mind became duller, and he could not stop his brain from filling his heart with ghastly and eerie imagery. Chen Gu was visited by an emotion that he had not encountered in a very long time, despair. In the past, no matter how scary the enemy was, no matter how strong the opponent was, Chen Gu would not give because he had a firm determination holding him upright and pushing him forward, but in this nightmare mission, the determination was slowly being hacked away. There appeared to be a lingering voice in his mind that was trying to tell him that despair was the norm. It was not until then that Chen Gu realized hope was like a colorful soap bubble, it would burst with the lightest of touch. All this time, he had been like a child who was holding a soap bubble in his grasp. He stood stubbornly on the other side of the world and insisted on believing that the world inside the soap bubble was the real one. His memory was flipped over by a pair of invisible hands. Along with the sense of chill, pain, and suffocation, many kind of memories that supposedly did not belong to him were churning in his mind. The feeling was very bad, but strangely enough, Chen Gu felt they were also quite familiar. It was as if he had personally experienced a similar kind of pain in the past, and he had been through it more than once. His footsteps gradually slowed down. He seemed to be walking down a path that had no end. All his memory and experiences were polluted by despair. They did not want Chen Gu to keep on going, they wanted him to just stop and stay there forever. The road ahead was very dangerous, and the chance of returning could be zero. It was a world of darkness waiting to envelope him. 
When he could still think with his mind, Chen Ji's arms reached toward his eyes. He was hesitating over whether to take a peek or not. If he did look, the nightmare mission would definitely fail, but if he did not remove it, he could no longer standing the overwhelming anxiety in his heart. Is it possible that I am now inside the world behind the door? Someone other than the door pusher only can push open the door at midnight, but what if I am the door pusher? What if I was the one who pushed open the door in the haunted house? His fingers landed on the bridge of his nose. In the end, Chen Gu chose not to look, and his feet decided to keep on moving. I am currently experiencing pain that did not exist in my memory before. I am experiencing a despair that did not belong to me. I have no idea what the black phone is trying to tell me, but I know that when there is despair, there is also hope. The two cannot exist without the other. For those in despair, even though they were surrounded by bliss, they would not escape the torment of despair. And for those with hope, even if they had lost everything, they would be able to see a colorful world inside a simple soap bubble. I have never been treated kindly by this world, but that does not mean that I do not love this world for what it is. For some reason, Chingu was reminded of Zhang Ya and the other employees at his haunted house. Even when I am in the deepest despair, I can chance upon a very beautiful accident. With his eyes still covered, Chingu suffered the pain that he had not experienced. He forged his way forward while suffering the double torment both on his mental and physical health. He no longer hesitated, and he spent no time on overthinking as he picked up speed. The pain on his body became more obvious, and the pressure on his mind grew heavier. The scenes of Chen Gu being killed slowly swamped his mind. Before he died, he struggled helplessly and pleaded for mercy, but every time, the thing that welcomed him was painful death. His compromise, kindness, and help had all been disappointed, his final result was only despair. The green veins on the back on his arms popped. Chen Gu suffered all of that silently. He did not stop his footsteps, and he kept on moving. No wonder who is the owner of this despair, it will not stop me from moving forward. Before Chen Gu obtained the black phone, most of the memories left in his mind had been beautiful and happy ones. His parents also wished that he could continue with his life in that manner. But in reality, when he obtained the black phone, Chen Gu had been given the chance to make a choice. If he had chosen to deny accepting the phone when he found it, then he would have kept on living with his happiness, being none the wiser about the other world around him. However, Chen Gu had chosen a different path. He wanted to know the truth, and for that, he had traded his blissful ignorance for despair and began his slow journey of searching for his parents. As he slowly approached the truth, the despair that had been hidden away would slowly be brought back to the forefront, but Chen Gu had no regret. Along the way, only Chen Gu himself knew how difficult the path he had chosen actually was. His life schedule had been turned upside down. He worked more in the night compared to the hours in the morning, he had not had a good rest since forever, and he was always caught in between the line of life and death. He spent his days with baleful specters and red specters. Dancing on the sharp edge of a knife was not enough to describe Chen Ji's situation, if he was a little careless even once, he would have become a dead body already. He had chosen the most difficult path, but at the same time, this was the path that would lead him the quickest to the truth. This was not some kind of good fortune or bad tragedy that someone had placed on him, it was a choice that he had made for himself in the wide path of destiny. I will not change due to this despair, and I will never abandon my path. No matter what has happened in the past, I am willing to face them openly. Images of his own death flashed across his mind again and again. Chinga felt like his body was being torn apart repeatedly. Suffering the dual torture on his physical and mental selves, he pushed forward with determination in the seemingly endless darkness. He could not see his surrounding, and he felt he was stranded alone in the world. He could not hear any sound and could not sense the passage of time. He kept on calling his own name as he opened one after another door. Chen Gu. He pushed open another door before him. Chen Gu had lost count of the doors he had opened, but suddenly, another voice came from the space before him. 
I did not expect you to really come here one day. Chen Ji's own voice came from a spot that was only a few steps away from Chen Go. At that moment, Chen Go almost removed the eye cover, and his body could not help shuddering. Everyone wants to kill you. You are my final hope. Please come and find me no matter what. Something was slipped inside his palm, and the voice became smaller and smaller. I am in the haunted house within that city. Please, you have to come and find me. That city? The Blood Red City? There is also a version of the haunted house in the Blood Red City? Gripping the thing in his palm, Chin Gu could not control himself any longer. He opened his lips and was about to voice out the question in his mind. You. But when the first word escaped from his lips, the chill around him instantly disappeared, and the arm that he raised suddenly came into contact with something hard. It was the handle of a door. Pushing the door open. The memories that did not belong to him started to disappear. It was as if he had walked back to earth from hell. The phone in his pocket started to vibrate. After being stunned for several moments, Chin Go slowly removed the eye cover and the earmuffs. The first thing he saw was all his haunted house employees standing before him in a circle. They were all looking at him strangely and curiously. This is. Wait, I'm still inside the toilet? He looked around and realized he was standing inside the cubicle of the haunted house's toilet. His hand was still holding the door of the cubicle. I did not leave this place and go to the underground scenario? You covered your eyes and then locked yourself inside the cubicle. Initially, we thought you were possessed by some kind of ghost, but then we thought about it among ourselves and felt like no ghost would do something that would waste so much of their energy and for such little gain. Men Nan was standing right at the door. Seeing that nothing was wrong with Chen Gu, he squeezed through the crowd of people and left. The party's over. The man is fine. Go back to your work. I did not enter the underground scenario, but have been standing inside the toilet cubicle. In other words, when I pushed open the door of the cubicle, I entered the world behind the door. Chen Gu was covered in cold sweat. He lowered his head to glance at his palm. Before the other voice of himself disappeared, the person had shoved something into his hand. It was a key that was covered in cracks. A key? Wait, this is the self-perceptive key. Once Chen Gu tried to take a closer look at the sky, the rust covering the key in his palm peeled off in big patches, and then the key itself split in two. I entered the world behind the door, and it was with this self-perceptive key that I was able to return back to this world from the haunted house behind the blood door. Chen Gu had obtained two self-perceptive keys from his missions in the past, but he had no idea what they were for. It should not be that simple. The person behind the door perhaps wanted to remind or warn of me something through this key. The words that his own voice said kept appearing in his mind. Chen Ji's brows did not stop creasing. There is another haunted house inside the Blood Red City, and he is currently hiding inside that other haunted house, huh? Why does he treat me as his final hope? Chen Gu leaned against the door. His back was already soaked in cold sweat. He felt like the energy had been fully drained from his body. This door inside the haunted house should have been pushed open by him. Chen Gu looked at the cubicle door. He pushed on it lightly, but nothing changed inside the cubicle. Only the door pusher could control the door. Chen Gu himself was unable to open the door, but the fact was, he had been able to enter the door earlier, so the real door pusher had probably opened the door for him through some method. Wait a minute. Is there a possibility that the door pusher has been split in two? Only when both parties are touching the door at the same time, can the door be opened? Climbing up from the ground, Chin Gu gave a brief explanation to his employees and then had all by continue guarding the toilet while he ran back to the staff break room. The moment he opened the door, Chin Gu saw the white cat, who was munching on the high-class cat food inside the cupboard. But he was in no mood to be training his cat. He took out his black phone and swiped on the screen. Congratulations, Red Spectres favored, for completely the daily nightmare mission, door. You have obtained the unique special talent, Lips of Tragedy. 
Lips of tragedy, natural talent as they say, tragedy comes from the lips. Now that you have gained this talent, you will be able to hear all that they converse about among themselves. Congratulations, Red Spectres favored. This is so impressive. You now possess mortician's makeup, spirit sniff, ghost ear, in yang vision, lips of tragedy, and dollmaker's talent, all six natural talents. The current you can now produce the version of yourself that you want. Looking at the message on the black phone, Chin Gug shuddered involuntarily. He had a feeling that the last sentence was hinting about something incredibly horrible. The current me can now produce the version of myself that I want. I need to personally make another version of myself? What does it mean? Chen Ge had not used most of the six talents to their maximum potential. Other than Nin Yang vision, he did not use the rest of the talents much. All this time, he thought the rest of the talents were rather weak, but from the looks of it, that was not the case. Never mind, it is too early to consider something like that. Chinga knew very well that to unleash the full potential of the dollmaker's talent, he would first need to capture a living human to experiment on them. A perfect living door needed a fresh human life. This was something that Chen Gu would never attempt to do. Perhaps in the future, I might change my mind, but I hope that day never comes. Chen Gu put the black phone away. The nightmare daily mission that night had given him more questions than answers. He needed to lie down to slowly work over the information that he had gathered. Is the despair that I experienced when I was doing the mission the despair that was experienced by my other self? What exactly is my other self anyway? Has he been shouldering all the despair that should have fallen onto me? Chen Ge found it impossible to rest. His mind was too active with questions. At that moment, Chen Ji's eyes glanced at the white cat which was still sneaking toward the pack of cat food. Chen Gu sat up to drag it away from the cupboard and forced it to join him on the bed. He tussled the cat's furry coat, and his heart slowly calmed down. Even the cat knows when to run away from danger, but someone like myself insists on walking down the most dangerous past. However, the most despairingly, this appears to be the only path that is given to me. Being hugged by Chen Gu, the white cat appeared to be frozen in fear. It seemed to have realized that it had done something wrong earlier, so it was acting like the best pet in the world. It did not dare move in Chen Ji's grasp, playing the role of a fluffy doll. The white cat has consumed the blood vessels from the Ghost Stories Society. The blood vessel was prepared by Dr. Gao for the woman in the well, so technically, it belonged to Dr. Gao. Chen Gu scratched the bottom of the white cat's stomach. Is it possible for me to trace Dr. Gao through the blood vessels in the white cat's body? Or can I somehow make Dr. Gao actively come to me through the blood vessels in the cat? There were at least two demon gods at the cursed hospital. Chen Gu knew that he was too weak to deal with the cursed hospital on his own, so he wished to gain the assistance of Dr. Gao. His finger moved up and down the white cat's belly like a surgeon drawing out the lines before the surgery. The white cat was so scared by Chin Ji's action that it could not help convulsing. The blood vessels have probably been digested by the white cat's body already. Looks like I will have to bring it with me behind the door in the future. Looking at the time, there was still some time before dawn. Chin Gu carried the white cat in one hand and found the graduation certificate from the School of the Afterlife inside the prop room. It has been quite some time since I last returned. I wonder if anything has changed at the School of the Afterlife. The cursed hospital had placed a ton of pressure on Chen Gu. He decided to combine all the sources that he had to deal with the hospital together. The Blood City is very close to the School of the Afterlife. If I am lucky, perhaps I will run into a lost red specter. Chapter 1156 Expanding Red City Chen Gu had Old Bai stay back to guard the haunted house. Then he pulled all the other red specter employees into the comic and carried the white cat out of the haunted house. The guard at the entrance of the new Century Park was already fast asleep. There were not many vehicles on the road. Chen Gu waited for a long time before a taxi stopped for him. At 3 a.m., Chen Gu arrived at Western Jiujiang Private Academy. 
he held the graduation certificate and ran to the toilet cubicle at the top of the education block. How do I use this thing? He gave it multiple goes, but the blood door did not show up. Chen Gui had no idea whether this meant some kind of accident had happened to the door of the School of the Afterlife or he had missed the crucial timing. The School of the Afterlife's door currently is still missing a door pusher. It looks like I will have to come back again at midnight tomorrow. Just as he said that, the shadow behind him started to change. A drop of blood leaked out on the cubicle door, and the blood slowly bloomed like a flower. The blood flower expanded to cover up the entire door, and a strong stench of blood drifted out from the gap of the door. The startlingly red of the blood reacted with the red letters on the graduation certificate. Chen Gu tried to give the blood door a push. Instantly, a wave of redness overwhelmed him. When he recovered, his world was covered in red, and the whole building was surrounded by blood. The school of the afterlife? Chen Gu stood where he was. Before he decided what to do next, the sound of footsteps came from the outside corridor. Chinga reached for the comic subconsciously to summon Men Nan and Xiaobu moments later, the toilet door was pushed open, and two beautiful young ladies appeared at the door. One of them was wearing a white dress and the other a red dress. They had similar facial features, but the reactions they had when they saw Chingu were completely different. In Bai, In Hong? Once the blood door was pushed open, I knew that you'd returned. In Hong tilted her head to the side to swipe a glance at Chen Gu. Then her eyes landed on Xiao Bu and Men Nan beside him. Her cute brows slowly frowned as she pulled In Bai's hand to move her away from Chen Gu. State your intention. What is your purpose for coming back to your alma mater? Even though we do not really welcome you here, considering that you once saved our school, we can offer you some help if it is absolutely necessary. Is the headmaster here? I wish to talk to him. Chin Gu was quite worried about the school of the afterlife as well. After all, this place was very close to the Red City. The old headmaster from Muyang High School was just a half-red specter. Chin Gu was afraid that he might not be able to handle things alone. Follow me then. In Hong did not waste time and led Chin Gu to the nurse's office. After the original school doctor was killed, the place had been vacated. I want to meet the headmaster. Why did you bring me to the nurse's office? Chen Gu was rather confused. In Hong shrugged, quite helplessly. Just go in, and you will see. Pulling open the blood-red curtain, Chen Gu saw a fat old man who was in a red shirt sharing his experience and counseling several students. The old man heard the movement of the curtain and lifted his head to see Chen Gu. Instantly, a kind smile appeared on his face. Chen Gu? Why are you here? Sir, when you did break through to become a red specter? Chen Gu was very shocked. When he left, the old headmaster had been a half-red specter. It had not been that long since they last met, but the old headmaster had already become a red specter, and he seemed to possess a special power within him. I also cannot remember the actual moment. Ever since I took over the responsibility of this school, I have been trying my best to help these children, and without knowing it, I turned into a red specter. The old headmaster at Muyang High School was a very special specter. After he died, he did not consume any ghosts, but he had somehow become a half-red specter. Now, even more miraculously, the senior gentleman had somehow turned into an actual red specter. From the old headmaster, Chin Gu saw another path available for specters to break through to their next level. Perhaps this was a path that was more suitable for Yen Danian. How did you manage to do it? Can you tell me more about the details? Chin Gu appeared rather inconspicuous standing amid a bunch of young students. My experience probably will not be much use to you. The children at the School of the Afterlife came from all different backgrounds, but most of them are victims of school bullying or children of broken families. They had never experienced love and warmth. My purpose is to heal the wounds that they have suffered during their childhood by attempting to provide them a new home at the School of the Afterlife. The old headmaster rubbed his large belly. 
Actually, I have not done anything. It was mainly because the children have slowly given me their approval. They have influenced the school's consciousness, and I gradually gained the approval from the school's consciousness. When the door of the school of the afterlife was at its weakest moment, it desperately needed to search for itself a new door pusher. Under those circumstances, since the old headmaster had gotten the approval from most of the students, and there was no competition from others, the school's consciousness was slowly channeling its energy into the old headmaster and aided him to slowly become the owner of this door. In terms of pure power, the painter and Chang Wenyu were much stronger than the old headmaster, but neither of them would be able to bring salvation to the students behind the door. Even though the old headmaster was the weakest among them, this kind gentleman was the most suitable candidate. While he could not build a fake heaven behind the door, nor could he help all the students escape from the constraint of the door, he was trying his best to create a sanctuary behind the door for these lost souls. A four-star scenario can cultivate a demon god. The school of the afterlife is a four-star scenario approved by the black phone. If the headmaster is given some more time, he might really become something of a miracle. Without consuming any specters, he could become a demon god. This incident that was almost impossible was slowly turning itself into reality due to the determination within the old headmaster to do the best by his students. The old headmaster had provided a brand new path for Chen Gu. He felt like he should sit down and have a real talk with Yen Danian to understand the thoughts that Yen Danian had inside his heart. Sir, during this period, has the Red City caused any trouble for you? When Chingu entered the school of the afterlife last time, Zhang Ya had just become a demon god, and she had been recovering from a heavy injury. Moreover, most of his employees had still been quite weak. This time, it was different. Just looking at top red specters alone, he had three with him. About that city. The smile disappeared from the old headmaster's face. It is not looking so good. I will bring you to the top floor, and you will understand what I mean. The headmaster led Chen Gu to reach the top floor of the education block. The iron door that led to the roof was the only door in the school of the afterlife that was not sealed up by wooden boards. I will open the door. Do not move too far away from me. It is very dangerous. The old headmaster took out a key from his shirt. The key had the etching of a small heart of a red specter. Slowly, the door was pulled open slightly. The rolling blood mist slid through the gap and floated down the corridor. After ensuring that there was no danger, the old headmaster finally waved Chen Gu over. Look for yourself. Using his Yang vision, Chen Gu looked through the gap. Many different kinds of buildings stood around the school of the afterlife, and every one of the building was covered in blood. This was different the last time I came. Chen Gu was very shocked. The school of the afterlife has already been swallowed up by the Red City, the old headmaster said with a helpless smile. Not long after you left, the distance between the school and the city became smaller and smaller. We had no choice but to abandon part of the campus and gather all our energy. We used the rest of the wooden boards and sole nails to seal up the main campus, and this is the only door that we have left open. In other words, the school of the afterlife is currently a completely isolated scenario? Yes, we've had to abandon places like the field, the recycling center, the library, the extracurricular hall, and so on. Most of the school body are gathered in the education block, the dormitories, and the lab building. The old headmaster looked at the blood fog outside the door and sighed lightly. That is the only solution available to us at the time. Before the Red City, we are so weak and small. The school of the afterlife had already been consumed by the Red City. This was something that Chen Gu did not anticipate before he arrived. The Red City is still expanding. No, perhaps the word growing is more suitable. The old headmaster tried his best to look at the bright side. Even though the campus is now much smaller, as long as we stay in the main few buildings, the ghosts from the Red City will not harm us. They seem to have a set of rules that they have to follow here. Before this, the school of the afterlife was situated at the fringe of the Red City. 
Just like the ghost fetus scenario, it was a scenario in and of itself, but now the school of the afterlife had become part of the Red City. Chin Go looked into the distance through the gap in the door. All he could see were the red buildings, and they continued over the horizon. I wonder if the cursed hospital is also isolated outside of the Red City. Chin Go focused his gaze as far as he could. If only I could make this city to go and consume that cursed hospital. Chen Gu, this place is very dangerous. If there's nothing else, I am going to close the door now, the old headmaster said. The painter headed into the Red City after he was defeated, and Dr. Gao might currently be somewhere inside the Red City as well. Should I try my luck inside the city? Chen Gu flipped through the comic. He wanted to have his employees go hunting inside the Red City, but it was too dangerous. He could still remember what had happened to Dr. Gao after he had forged his way through the underground morgue to the Red City. Bang! The iron door was slammed shut. The old headmaster appeared to have read Chen Ji's mind. Do not do anything stupid. Even a top red specter will not be able to survive the danger inside the Red City. How do you know that, sir? When the school was first being consumed by the Red City, there were some specters and ghosts who were hiding inside the blood fog. It was clear that they wanted to enter the school. It was unclear what happened after that, but all of the ghosts and specters were killed and murdered. The old headmaster himself could not give a clear account. It was very scary. We were hiding inside the education block at the time, and all we could see was a red shadow floating past. Was that a top red specter? Even a top red specter could not kill so many specters in an instant. Furthermore, there were top red specters among the ghosts who were interested in the school of the afterlife. The old headmaster still shivered just thinking about it. If you somehow end up inside the Red City, you have to remember to stay away from any red shadows. If I have noticed anything, it was that they do not seem to be able to enter any buildings. Thank you for the information. Chen Gu took a deep breath. Sir, do you mind opening the door again? I wish to conduct an experiment outside the door. How come a human like you is so much braver than ghosts? The old headmaster shook his head, but in the end, he was persuaded by Chin Ji's miraculous power of persuasion. Holding the comic, Chin Gu had the red high heels pull out some blood with the red specter's blood vessels from the white cat's body. Put some curse on this blood. See if you can make contact with Dr. Gao. The red high heels gave it some try before she shook her head. It won't work. Looks like the blood vessels left behind the Ghost Stories Society are not enough. In that case, I will have to go and find Gao Ru Shui. Chen Gu did not mean Gao Ru Shui any harm, but the girl was Dr. Gao's blood relative, and he wished to reach Dr. Gao through her. The tragedy of Dr. Gao started when he encountered the cursed hospital. His wife's death was also related to that hospital, so he shared a common enemy with Chen Gu. They should be able to form a truce. Chen Gu. Quick, come back. Do not stay out there for too long. The old headmaster spotted something approaching from the blood fog, and he shouted to warn Chen Gu. Chen Gu did not want to take any unnecessary risks. He put away his comic and returned to the school. Closing the iron door, the old headmaster finally sighed in relief. Do not go out there unless it is truly necessary. The Red City is very dangerous. Sir, I hope you do not mind, but there is another favor that I need from you. Chin Gu voiced out the other reason he was there that night. Is there anyone left at the school who can contact the painter? I wish to get his cooperation to help me with something. All the students who approved of the painter have already left with him, but there is something here that should be able to help you find the painter. After locking the door, the old headmaster led Chen Gu to the lab building. He found an unfinished oil painting inside the art room. This is the only painting left behind by the painter. When he left the school, all the paintings dissolved into ash. This is the only painting that remained. I believe that is because this painting is very important to him. Chen Gu picked up the half-finished oil painting. 
The content was very simple. It was the painting of a young man with heavy lines of worry on his face sitting next to a boy under the sun. They appeared to be chatting about something. This painting is about the painter and Fanyu, huh? This was a simple scene, but it was a dream that was impossible to fulfill for the painter. Chinga took good care of the oil painting, and then he went to meet up with the other red specters at the school. He still needed more helpers to deal with the cursed hospital. After gaining the old headmaster's approval, Chin Go left the school with three red specters. After leaving the school of the afterlife, Don had not yet arrived in real life. Chin Go gave Zhang Wenyu a call, saying that he wished to meet him in person. Half an hour later, Chin Go found Zhang Wenyu at an abandoned building in the countryside of northern Zhejiang. The suicide line operator was standing next to a homeless person who was suffering from a serious illness. He stared at the person silently. It was clear that he wanted to save the person, but he knew better than to break the rules. In the end, he was like death animated in real life, watching the person slowly drift away. I wish to ask you for a favor. Chen Go walked toward Zhang Wenyu. Zhang Wenyu answered with a simple word. Sure. Do not hurry to say yes. The enemy that I need to deal with has at least two demon gods. Chen Gu did not want to press others into his aid. Demon god? A ghost that is at least ten times scarier than a top red specter, Chen Gu said with a serious expression. Are you still willing to help me after knowing that? Of course. Zhang Wenyu nodded. Thank you. Chen Gu wanted to pull Zhang Wenyu into the comic, but he failed after multiple tries. After he asked for more details from Yan Danian, he only found out why. Zhang Wenyu might appear to be a red specter, but actually he represented a multitude of ghosts and specters. The comic was not large enough to fit so many spirits and ghosts. When Chen Gu was figuring out what to do, Zhang Wenyu's body slowly disappeared. Moments later, Chin Gu got a message on his phone. It was a message delivered from the number of the suicide line operator. I will always be by your side until you have resolved this danger. He turned to look around him. Even with the help of Yin Yang vision, Chin Gu was unable to see Zhang Wenyu, but there was a source of power that he could not describe that was burgeoning in his heart. It felt like there were a large group of people silently following him and cheering him on. The people that you have rescued will eventually become the source of your own salvation. The sun was rising over the horizon. Chen Gu put away his phone and left northern Zhejiang. He hailed another cab, and this time, his destination was Zhejiang Medical University. He planned to meet up with Dr. Gao's daughter, Gao Rushui. Chapter 1157 You are my seventh friend, he arrived at Zhejiang Medical University. Chen Gu gave a call to Gao Rushua on her phone, but no one picked up. Chen Gu entered the school and found a free lecturer. After asking him, Chen Gu only found out that Gao Rushua had applied to defer. She had not appeared at the school for a very long time. Her mother was killed by that hospital, and now her father has disappeared after committing such a serious crime. It is hard to imagine the pressure and pain that Gao Rushua must be feeling. Since Gao Rushui refused to answer Chen Ji's calls, he had no choice but to personally go to her place. He knocked on her door for several minutes before Gao Rushui opened the door. She looked so much more haggard, and she had lost quite a bit of weight. Chen Gu? Do you mind if I come in to talk with you? Chen Gu carried his backpack. He had not slept that night. His eyes were bloodshot, and he did not look much better than Gao Rushui. I have something that I have to discuss with your father, but I need your help to be able to find him. With a small nod, Gao Rushua opened the door and allowed Chen Gu to enter the room. The room was covered with a thin layer of dust. It was clear that the place had not been properly cleaned for quite some time, but at least overall, the place still looked rather passable. Everything was neat, if a little bit dusty. I also would like to talk to him, but I have no idea where he is. Gao Rushua sat on the couch. Even though a decent amount of time had passed since the incident at the underground morgue, 
Gao Ruxue could not stop the change in her expression whenever she talked about her father. I need some of your blood. Chen Gu did not wish to go into detail. He stated his reason for being there directly. My blood? Gao Ruxue slowly lifted her head that was previously lowered. She looked at Chen Gu with open confusion before she stretched out her arm toward Chen Gu. Using my blood, you will be able to find out where my dad currently is, right? It might not be successful, but it is worth a try. Hearing that, the light in Gao Ru Shui's eyes slowly dimmed, but she still did not pull her arm back. Instead, she said, if you really do succeed in meeting him, remember to tell him that I miss him a lot. Of course. Chen Ge had Gao Ru Shui close her eyes, and then he summoned out the red high heels. A black curse, like an iron needle, pierced into Gao Ru Shui's body and sucked out a drop of blood right from her heart. You can open your eyes now. Chen Gu looked at Gao Ru Shui's pale face, and he gave her a serious promise. I will relay your words to Dr. Gao, personally, and I will try my best to help your family if it is within my power. After he left Gao Ru Shui's home, before Chen Gu moved that far away, Chen Gu got some good news. By applying a curse on both the blood vessels inside the white cat's body and the blood from Gao Ru Shui's heart, the red high heels had successfully sensed a very scary presence. Based on Chen Ji's prediction, the monster that was giving off this scary presence should be none other than Dr. Gao, it is a good thing that we can sense his presence. After we enter the world behind the door, perhaps the intensity of this presence will become much stronger. After he walked out from the apartment, Chen Ge rushed to Jiu Jiang Children's home and retrieved a drop of blood from Fan Yu. After he was done with everything, Chen Ge silently returned to New Century Park and woke up Ol Wu before Theme Park opened for business. Brother Wu, it is time to wake up. We should prepare to return to Exian High already. Ol Wu, who was fast asleep, was shaken awake. He looked at Chen Ge blurrily. There were so many questions on his face. Chen Gu tried his best to help recover his memory. Last night, I asked you for a favor to drive me back to Jiujiang to get something. Did you forget about that? Yes, I think I do remember that. Ol Wu rubbed his head. So, let's return to Xian High. I have already gotten everything that I needed. Chen Gu placed the white cat on the back seat. He had already done everything that he could. What he needed to do next was focus all his energy against that cursed hospital and get to the bottom of the mystery behind his parents' disappearance. The car left New Century Park in the morning, and they arrived in Xian High when the sun was at its peak. Brother Wu, if possible, stop using this car. Other than that, I need you to remind Mr. Wang not to go out late at night. It will also be best if the two of you are staying somewhere with a lot of people. Chen Gu was worried that the car might be targeted by the cursed hospital, so he gave Ol Wu a kind reminder. Okay. Ol Wu dropped Chen Gu at the Nightmare Academy and then left in a hurry. Chen Gu carried his backpack and hugged the white cat as he pushed open the front door to the Nightmare Academy. Once he stepped into the building, he felt something was not quite right. Because they had not yet prepared to open for business, the central air con was not on, but at that moment it was curiously cold inside the haunted house. Xiao Dai? Zhang Jingzhou? With a bad feeling in his heart, Chen Gu flipped through the comic to summon out several Red Spectre employees. Search the entire building. Chen Gu ordered in a serious tone. He did move away from the entrance. He stood right at the front door. If there was a trap, he would turn and run at the first notice. Half a minute later, Men Nan appeared before Chen Gu. There is no one inside the haunted house. Did something or someone come here last night? Chen Gu was very worried about the safety of his haunted house employees. We cannot sense the trace of the presence of any other baleful specters, but I can say for sure that something indeed infiltrated this place last night. Men Nan pointed at the entrance to one of the scenarios. Come and take a look at this. Being escorted in the middle of several red specters, Chen Gu walked to the entrance of the scenario. 
The wooden doors that led into every scenario were covered in paper notes, and every single note had that familiar statement on it. This is a sickened world. Why have you not discovered that fact? I swear to cure you. The paper notes with different handwriting covered the many wooden doors, and it looked intensely creepy. This has to be the doing of that cursed hospital. Chen Gu was reminded of a detail. The previous morning, when he returned to the Nightmare Academy from his red specter hunting, he had felt a sharp gaze that was watching him from Shirley Xiong Eatery. Perhaps from then on, he had already been targeted. Time to go to Shirley Xiong Eatery. It was just past the lunch time, so there were not that many people inside the eatery. Chen Gu burst through the door, with several red specters behind him. Welcome to Shirley Xiong. How can I help you today? The waiter very passionately walked toward Chen Gu, but the latter ignored him directly. He walked toward the counter and strode toward the door that was meant for employees only. Hey! This was the first time the waiter had encountered a customer so rude and unreasonable. He was about to reach forward to stop Chen Gu when his body was suddenly drained of power, and he collapsed onto the chair behind him. Chen Gu did not want to waste time on meaningless actions. Without wasting any time, he rushed into the kitchen at the back, and he saw the boss of the shop who was pouring something into a big vat of sauce. The boss was Qi Long too. Zhang Yi. Wasting no time for a single pleasantry, when Qi Long Tu saw Chen Gu, Zhang Yi had already crawled into his body. About ten seconds later, Zhang Yi crawled out from the back of Qi Long Tu's head, and he reported with a disappointed expression. The enemy appears to have realized that I can look through people's memories, so this man's memory has already been tampered with. I cannot find any useful information. The cursed hospital had realized that Chen Gu had a specter who could look through people's memories, so they had sent someone over to deal with Qi Longto's memory. Chen Gu had already predicted that the demon god with the surname Qi would be able to look through a living individual's memory, so he did not reveal the presence of Qi Ren to any of his living employees. He had kept Qi Ren hidden inside the headmaster's office. The devil was always in the detail. Even if the cursed hospital has taken away my employees, they won't be able to obtain any useful information from my living employees, but with how the cursed hospital approaches things, if I am unable to find Zhang Jingjiao and Xiao Dai soon, I am afraid they will be in mortal danger. Be it living employees or ghost workers, Chen Gu treated them like they were his family. Now that his family had been kidnapped, he was naturally not going to sit idle. After he returned to the Nightmare Academy, Chen Gu summoned out all the specters from the comic. He started a carpet search, not letting go of a single detail. After about half an hour, Chen Gu was rewarded with a new discovery. He found a cursed letter inside Xiao Dai's room. The content of the letter was pieced together from newspaper cuttings. The letters of different size were stuck to the paper, and it looked like a ransom letter. Is this some kind of cursed game? I held the hands of seven friends to come to the hospital. My mother said that the patient is among us. If any of us are not smiling, then that person is the patient. My good friends, my bad friends, they all smiled. I held the hands of seven friends to come to the hospital. Father told us that mother is sick and told me to wait outside the sick room. My good friends, my bad friends, they all turned to look at mother. They told me that none of us would leave the hospital alive. I held the hands of seven friends to come to the hospital. The doctor told us my father and mother had both died at the hospital. My good friends, my bad friends, they heard what the doctor said. They said that they would not come to play with me at the hospital at midnight anymore. Even after reading the letter, Chingu had no idea what the content of the letter was trying to express at all. Was this left behind by a non-smiler? He turned the letter over to the other side. Chen Gu discovered the picture of a human face blurrily drawn on the back of the letter. When he looked closer, he was able to see the following words written not that clearly along the human face, You are my seventh friend. I am the seventh friend? So, there are seven people who received this letter last night, huh? Is this some kind of an invitation to a cursive game? Chen Gu put the cursed letter away. 
After he ensured that there was nothing else to discover, he pulled out his phone and called the police immediately. Captain Kai. I have been assaulted by the criminals. Three of my employees were kidnapped last night. After hearing the call from Chen Ge, the police did not even know how to react. From their perspective, no matter how rampant the criminal activity might be, they would not go to the biggest business area in Exian Hai to conduct their crimes, much less commit something as serious as kidnapping three people at the same time. We will be there in a minute. You'd better look after your own safety until we get there. In just ten minutes, two patrol cars had arrived at the entrance to the Nightmare Academy. Captain Kai, come and look at this door. Chin Good dragged Captain Kai by his arm and ran to the entrance to the haunted house scenario. The paper notes that covered the wooden door gave the police quite a shock. When did you discover that your employees had disappeared? I returned to the haunted house around noon today. Once I walked through the front door, I realized that the employee on duty was not at reception. It was then that I realized something was wrong because my employees were still living at the haunted house. After that, I called them on their phones, but there was no answer. When I walked in deeper into the haunted house, I encountered this door, Chinga said urgently. These employees followed me from Jiujiang because I wanted to expand my haunted house to Exian High. We were supposed to open a second branch here, but before we could even open for business, they have already been targeted by the criminals. This is all my fault. The criminal must know that I've been investigating him so he used this kind of method to take revenge on me. Please do not blame yourself too much. By the way, were you not at the haunted house yourself last night? Captain Kai felt like there were too many loopholes regarding this case. Initially, I planned to reopen this place for business in three days, so last night, I went back to Jiujiang to gather some necessary props. Ol Wu from Jiujiang Police Station can attest to that. He gave me the ride back to Jiujiang. You can probably see us on the traffic cameras as well. Chen Gu was very sad. The criminal's real target is me. If I had not involved myself in this case, then my employees would have been safe. Mr. Chen, you must not think that way. It is already very impressive that you dared step forward to expose the evilness of the criminals. Technically speaking, it is our responsibility for the failure to protect the safety of your employees. Captain Kai wanted to consult Chen Ge, but he really did not know what to say. Captain Kai, there must be more than one criminal at work here. They were able to kidnap all three of my employees at the same time, so they should be working in a group. Yes, that is what we are thinking as well, and our investigation is heading in this direction. I am afraid that there might be more than just my three employees who disappeared last night. They should have been planning this for a long time. Chen Ji's basis for saying something like that was because of that cursed letter. The letter said that he was the seventh friend, so it was highly probable that there were seven cursed letters in total. Captain Kai, the criminals have actively targeted me and my people. They must have done more than that behind the scenes. You are the only people who I can rely on now. Please do not worry. I will assign people to guard around your haunted house. If they dare return, I will ensure that they are apprehended. They have just caused such a big disturbance here. I doubt they will return to this place anytime soon. This case is related to the safety of my three employees. Is it possible for me to join the investigation? The cursed hospital had existed in Exian High for more than 20 years. The police must have collected some cases related to the cursed hospital. Chen Gu wanted to make use of the police force's information and try to get to know that hospital as best as he could. He knew the truth behind certain things, so the perspective that he held would be different from the Exian High police. Therefore, he might come to a different conclusion regarding the same case. I am afraid I cannot make the decision regarding something like that. Captain Kai rejected him in a roundabout way. That's okay. Chen Gu did not press further. The criminals have kidnapped three people, so it must have caused them some trouble. They will make their next move tonight. You guys need to be careful. 
When Captain Kai heard that from Chen Gu, he felt weirded out. Normally, when a person encountered this kind of situation, they would plead the police to capture the culprit as soon as possible, but Chen Gu had been consciously reminding the police officer to mind their own safety. Both parties exchanged information for an hour. Chen Gu linked the clues of all the cases together, and some of the clues could be directly or indirectly linked to an abandoned hospital in Exian Hai's countryside. Exian Hai had always been a city with very good security. The cases that had happened in the past few days were extremely rare serious crimes. With the stern order from above, the police force all over the city had mobilized. More than one case was being investigated at the same time. When the whole city was brought under control, the police even prepared to conduct a deep investigation into the hospital in Exian High's countryside. The peace and silence on the surface of Exian High had been completely shattered. The tides were raging violently under the surface. At 3 p.m., Chinga had just sent the police off when he received a call from Ol Wu. He brought Chinga more bad news. Mr. Wang had disappeared. Chinga did not even have time to finish his meal. He hurried to where Mr. Wang was staying. He did not encounter Mr. Wang there, but he did come across Mr. Wang's student, Suhan. Why are you here? Last night, I gave my lecturer a call because I wanted to ask him something. When we were halfway through the phone call, he said that someone had entered his room. Suhan looked very serious. He hung up on me to give it a check. After that, he did not answer any of my calls. I was worried about him, so first thing this morning, I got on the earliest train to come to Exian High. Did you find anything special inside Mr. Wang's room? Like a note or a letter? Before Chinga finished, he saw Zhou Han pick up a letter from the small coffee table. The letter was similar to the letter that Chinga found inside Xiao Dai's room. The only thing that was different was on the back of the letter. On the human face on the back of the letter, it was written, You are my first friend. Chapter 1158 Four Star Trial Mission, Cursed Hospital. This letter again? Chin Gu pulled out the letter that he found in Xiao Dai's room and placed it on the coffee table as well. Last night, three of employees went missing, and I found similar letters in their rooms as well. What is their goal? Swahan's eyes stared closely at the letters on the table. The back of Mr. Wang's letter states that he is the person's first friend, and on the back of this letter that I found in my employee's room, it states that they are the person's seventh friend. This person believes that my employees and Mr. Wang are both their friend. There must be something in common between my employees and Mr. Wang. Chinga very calmly started to do his analysis. In terms of timing, I suspect they have captured these people based on the serial killings that happened 20 years ago. Mr. Wang was the person who was involved in the investigation of the case from 20 years ago, so he was the earliest person who found out about the clues of the real truth while my employees are wrapped in this situation due to the fact that I started to investigate this case recently. In a way, they can be considered the last few people who became related to this case. Therefore, Mr. Wang is the first friend and your employees are the seventh friend? Swahan nodded. He agreed with Chen Ji's analysis. Boss Chen, can you leave the letter that the person left for Mr. Wang for me to keep? Chen Gu could guess what Swahan was planning. After a moment's hesitation, he handed the letter to Swahan. Do not act too rashly. The people that we are dealing with do not belong to the same world as you. They do not belong to the world as me? I am sorry that I cannot reveal more details to you, but trust me that I will not do or say anything with the intention of harming you. Chen Gu picked up his backpack. If possible, you and Ol Wu should leave Exian Hai as soon as possible and find a place where there are many people to stay. Then, what about you? Swahan could pick out a trace of unusual urgency in Chen Ji's voice. Certain things happened because of me. Therefore, it's my responsibility to deal with it. I cannot escape from it. Chen Gu said a few words to Zuhan and Ol Wu, and then he left from the place where Mr. Wang was staying. The cursed hospital had been operating in Exian High for many years. 
This was something that Chen Gu had already noticed several days ago when he was out hunting for baleful specters. All the red specters in Xian High appeared to have been cursed, be it the evil spirit at Card's archway or the red specter at the abandoned school. Their spirits had both been polluted, they had been turned into monsters who only knew how to kill and to spread the seed of despair. The control that the cursed hospital had over Xian High was invisible. Any specters or spirits that had any kind of power within the territory of Xian High were all under their control. In other words, the cursed hospital could be said to represent the darker side of this big city. The seven friends might be all related to the serial killings from twenty years ago. In other words, these seven people might all be related to me. Perhaps they are all people who knew a little something about that case. The cursed hospital is now forcing me to show my hand. Chin Gu had been through a lot of things, so he saw through the cursed hospital's ploy almost instantly, but unfortunately, even if Chin Gu knew that this was the enemy's evil plan of trying to lure him into a trap, there was nothing that he could do about it. If he wanted to uncover the truth, he could not be a coward and slither away. Furthermore, this time, seven innocent human lives that were related to Chin Gu were on the line. The cursed hospital had done everything it could to force Chin Gu out from the darkness and into the open. Perhaps the cursed hospital was somewhat cornered by Chin Gu as well. After all, Chin Gu was someone who was playing a hit and run tactic with his demon god and top red specters. Today, the cursed hospital had lost a red specter, and tomorrow, they might lose a top red specter. No matter how long the history of the cursed hospital went in Xian High, they could not allow themselves to be continually ground down like this anymore. The cursed hospital had been cultivating their power in Xian High for more than 20 years, they would not allow Chen Gu to ruin their power. They had learned from their previous mistake. They would no longer send out one specter after another for Chen Gu to ambush. That might happen in a game, but this was not something that would happen in real life. After Chen Gu had ambushed and killed one of their top red specters, the cursed hospital had responded almost immediately. They would have to deal with the big problem that was Chen Gu no matter what. To be frank, now was not the perfect time for Chen Gu to make his move, but the cursed hospital could not allow this to drag on any longer. The cursed hospital possessed the advantage of the location, but Chen Gu had the possible advantages of unity and people. Both parties had completely stopped dancing around in circles and started a killing game with the city of Xian High as the background. Night fell. The busy city of Xian High was still as bright as if it was daylight. If anything, the crowd on the street was even more bustling than in the morning. The partying crowd did not realize that there was an additional hue of redness in the night sky. Bloodshot eyes opened up in the shadows of the city, but even they did not notice a young man who was standing at the corner of the stuff. The young man was carrying a large backpack, and he had a cat with a fur coat the color of snow following him. Chen Gu did not return to Nightmare Academy. After he left Mr. Wang's home, he went directly to the police station. He did not enter the station but posited himself at the cafe next to the station. The passers-by assumed he was a street performer based on the large amount of items he was carrying and the pet that curled around him. In any case, no one came to disturb him. At around 8 p.m., Chen Gu received some good news. The red high heels had managed to gain contact with Dr. Gao through her curses. Although, instead of actually gaining communication, it was more like the red high heels had used the blood and curse to create the fake impression that Gao Ru Shui was heading toward the cursed hospital. Through the curse and the blood, she could sense that the distance between Dr. Gao and herself was slowly closing. To prevent unnecessary misunderstandings and accidents in the midst of battle, Chen Gu had the red high heels brand the blood that was mixed with the curse on the back on his arm. A scar that was in a shape of a droplet was the seal that was mixed from the blood from Gao Ru Shui's heart and the blood vessels taken from inside the white cat's body. Dr. Gao was madly moving toward the location of the scar. Based on the red high heels prediction, Dr. Gao's current power level is much higher than hers. 
To be able to surpass a top red specter who specializes in curses, there is a very high chance that Dr. Gao has already become a demon god. There was an irresolvable hatred between Dr. Gao and the cursed hospital. Chen Gu hoped that it would mean Dr. Gao would prove helpful to him when he was dealing with the cursed hospital. Now that he had the aid of two demon gods, Chen Gu felt like he could give it a try. He took out the black phone and turned to the page that had all the trial missions. His eyes finally landed on the four-star trial mission, Cursed Hospital. The Cursed Hospital is the only mission that I have not completed on the black phone's list of missions. I wonder if anything will happen to the black phone after I accept this mission. At the very beginning, there was no four-star trial mission that was showing at all inside the list of missions provided by the black phone. As Chin Gu continued to clear more and more missions, the four-star trial missions started to get unlocked. The black phone has not updated its list of available mission for a very long time now. After I complete the trial mission at the cursed hospital, I wonder if it will update with five-star trial missions. The difficulty of a four-star trial mission was already impossible for Chin Gu to accept. If there was really the presence of a five-star trial mission, how high would the difficulty be? Chasing all the unnecessary thoughts out of his mind, Chin Gu looked at the last mission available on the list of the trial missions, and his finger slowly moved. His parents disappeared at that hospital. All of this started because he had not given up the mission of looking for them. Actually, he had been waiting a very long time for the arrival of this day. One could say that all of his effort and sacrifice was for this moment, for him to have the power to make this choice. And now he had done it and had surpassed the expectations of everyone. The lives of at least seven people are in the hands of the cursed hospital. I cannot watch them be killed by the cursed hospital, just like that. His finger touched on the screen lightly. Chin Gu soon received the message from the black phone. Are you sure you want to accept the challenge of the four-star trial mission, the cursed hospital? Warning. This trial mission is extremely dangerous. Please make sure that you have finished with all of your preparations before you make this decision. Yes, I am sure. Chin Gu continued to move his finger to click on the confirmation button. The black phone then kept vibrating. He had received multiple messages. Red Spectres favored, Chin Gu, you have now accepted the four-star trial mission, Cursed Hospital. Cause and effect. The ending has been destined since the beginning. In the end, you have returned to this place. Life and death. You have used one death after another to deflect fate and destiny. Twenty years have been exhausted to buy yourself a chance at life. Kindness and sin. Everyone thought that the world behind the door is a representation of despair, pain, and unforgivable sin, but there was a child. He has sealed up his own kindness deep inside the nightmare behind the door but has left the most extreme sin in the human world. Human and Ghost Are you willing to choose to become a blissful human or an immortal ghost? Mission Requirement Arrive at Exion High Central Hospital before midnight and survive until sunrise. Optional Mission 1, Find Your Parents or Their Dead Bodies. Optional Mission 2, Provide Salvation to Patient 1 or Kill Patient 1. Optional Mission 3, Kill the Hospital President or Become the New Hospital President. Mission Hint, The version of yourself who lives inside a dream might be immortal, but your life is nothing but a slate of barrenness. After reading the messages that appeared on the black phone, Chin Gu was startled for a very long time. The information that was provided by the description of the mission this time was enormous. The cursed hospital might be the most complicated and most difficult mission that he had ever attempted. The ending has been destined since the beginning? Reading the mission description, many predictions that Chin Gu had were slowly being confirmed. The young version of myself that died again and again must have come to the cursed hospital about 20 years ago. He fought for a chance for me to keep on living but there is one thing that is different from what I believed. The child has sealed up the kindness and the nightmare behind the door but has left the most extreme sin outside the door. If this child in question is the other version of myself, 
then the child who is suffering the torment of despair behind the door is the representation of kindness, and the me who is living a normal person's life outside the door is the representation of sin. Can I understand it this way? Chen Gook paused for a moment and could not help questioning his own self. Do I look like a bad person? But I have sworn on my soul that everything that I have done was out of the kindness of my own heart. I have helped so many people and saved so many ghosts. Putting this question aside for now, Chen Gook turned to the optional missions. When he saw the first optional mission, his whole body became jittery with excitement. Since the black phone had given this mission, there was an 80% chance that Chen Ji's parents were still trapped in the cursed hospital. From the first day Chen Gu obtained the black phone, he had been waiting for this chance to arrive. I am not that interested in the other two optional missions, but I have to complete this first optional mission no matter what. Chen Gu only managed to calm down several minutes later. He read the information given by the black phone all over again. Be it the hint or the optional missions, there are choices of opposite ends. This is something that is very strange. I should pay some attention to it. Chen Gu had done all the preparation that he could. At around 10 p.m., he received a call from Captain Kai. The tone of Captain Kai on the other end of the phone was rather strange. Chen Gu, we have already finished our investigation of that abandoned hospital in the countryside. Our people did not come back with any findings of any strange events happening there. The hospital has been abandoned for many years now. There is no trace of any living people there at all. Then, what's your next move? Part of the police will be assigned to continue the exploration at the abandoned hospital, but most of the police force will be mobilized to scout out the entire city. The criminals are very cunning. Perhaps they intend to use different existing ghost stories to create widespread panic throughout the city. If we do not capture them as soon as possible, it might lead to a very bad influence on the city. Captain Kite briefly informed Chen Gu of the investigation, but essentially, he had not given Chen Gu anything useful. Just as Chen Gu was about to hang up on the phone, Captain Kai suddenly lowered his voice. He appeared to have moved to a place where there were not that many people around him. Chen Gu, I need you to listen to me. This case is very strange. If you involve yourself any deeper, you might be in mortal danger, so you'd better leave everything to the police. Did something happen to the police at the cursed hospital? Chen Gu very astutely noticed something was not right. Do you still remember the reminder on that paper note? Captain Kai's voice lowered even further. This is a sickened world? When you return, you'd better burn all the paper notes that contain that sentence. What's wrong? What did you guys encounter over there? Chen Gu still wanted to press for more details, but the signal suddenly became very bad. Captain Kai's yelp came from the other side of the phone. It sounded like someone had bumped into him. The call was disconnected. When Chen Gu called back the same number, no one picked it up anymore. The tone that Captain Kai was using was different from usual. Is it possible that he was forced to make this call under the threat of someone else? Or was someone trying to mimic him on the phone? Since Chen Gu had Tong Tong with him, he knew that other specters could have done the same thing. This is not good. The cursed hospital had a lot more spirits and red specters compared to the number of employees that Chen Gu had at his haunted house. Their combined powers and abilities were enough to overturn Chen Ji's understanding of the normal world. I have already accepted the trial mission on the black phone. I have no other choice. Chen Gu waited until past 10 p.m. before he called a cab to head to Xian Hai's countryside. To ensure that the driver was not a puppet sent by the cursed hospital, Chen Gu even had Zhang Yi quietly look over the driver's memory. Ever since he accepted the mission, other than his company of ghosts, Chen Gu refused to blindly trust anyone from Xian Hai. To search for his parents, he had worked through endless days and nights. He had struggled multiple times along the line of life and death. Everything that he had done it was in preparation for this day. He would not allow himself to make any mistakes. After they entered the countryside of Xian Hai, the hubbub of the city was left behind almost instantly. 
They were still within the territory of Axion High, but this place appeared to be a completely different world from the city. Behind them were the bright lights of a bustling city, while before them was an enveloping darkness. Only traces of some abandoned buildings could be seen in the dark. This was the countryside of Axion High, a piece of land occupied by many abandoned buildings. The deeper one ventured into it, the lower the chance of one encountering another person. Dude, I will drop you off here. The driver parked the taxi by the side of the road. No matter how much Chin Gu was willing to pay, he refused to go any further. Chin Gu did not waste too much time arguing with him. After he paid his fare, he got out from the car. He was about to leave when the driver poked his head out from the driver's seat window and waved at Chen Gu. Is there anything else? Based on your accent, you aren't a local, right? The driver looked left and right before he whispered at Chen Gu. Do not stay too long at the countryside. I hear from the older generation that this place is a small hell. Many people have been buried here. Before Chen Gu could ask for more details, the driver turned the car around and returned the way he came. The speed was twice as fast compared to before. Chapter 1159 When I encounter darkness, I walk right into it a small hell. Chen Gu kept his eyes on the taxi until the last bit of light from the taillight of the taxi was also swallowed up by the darkness of the night. The countryside of Axion High was extremely deserted, there were barely any people on the road. Flipping through the comic, Chinga had all his employees remain ready, and then he placed the white cat on the ground. The white cat, which was naturally cautious, perked its ears perked up. Its heterochromatic eyes were filled with intense anxiety. It stuck close to Chinga and showed more than once that it would crawl underneath Chinji's clothes if it could. You also feel the danger in the air? Scratching the white cat on the back of its head, Chinga took a deep breath. He moved away from the main street and trekked deeper into the countryside on the smaller path. Walking through the series of abandoned buildings, the surroundings became quieter and quieter. The sound of the insects chittering had disappeared, as did the last speck of light. This piece of land consists of mostly unfinished residential buildings. How come the construction was stopped only after the shells of the foundation were built? Using Yin-Yang vision, Chen Gu saw the many different crass words that were written on the outer walls in red paint. It appeared like there was a riot among the employees due to the delay in the construction company paying their salary. They desecrated the unfinished building to force their bosses to surrender to their demands, but something else had happened. Not far away from the unfinished residential area was a large site of an abandoned factory area. There were chemical factories and medical factories, but most of the factories did not specify what kind of factory they were. The rest on the fences showed that they had been there for a long time already. They lacked cleaning, and various large machines had become garbage that was impossible to deal with. The Xian High countryside was larger than Chen Gu anticipated. The taxi driver basically dropped him at the edge of the countryside, the man did not intend to drive Chen Gu in any further. To prevent the possibility of an ambush on the main road, Chen Gu did not dare use the paved street. He could only slowly seek out his own path this day. The interaction that he had with the Xian High police proved useful at a moment like this. It was not completely useless. At least when he visited the police station, he managed to gain a more detailed understanding of the building layout at Xian High's countryside. The countryside had been abandoned for so long that the location of the various abandoned buildings and factories were only marked down at the map used by the police force. Residential areas, various factors, cinemas, supermarkets, small parks, and the types of abandoned building at this countryside, sure, are numerous. It is basically like a forgotten city. Chen Gu had been wondering why the cursed hospital situated deep inside the countryside would be called Xian High Central Hospital, but he believed he had found the answer. If the entire Xian High countryside was seen as an abandoned city, then the cursed hospital was indeed placed at the center of the city. The mission requires me to arrive at Xian High Central Hospital before midnight. I am on a time crunch. 
looks like I'd better pick up my pace. If Xian Hai was the cursed hospital's territory, Xian Hai countryside was their old lair. Chen Ge reminded himself that he had to be extremely careful with his every step here. At around 11 p.m., Xian Hai countryside, which was surrounded in darkness, suddenly had a flash of light cut through it. Chen Ge looked toward the source of the light. It looked like a car that was driving down the main road. Wait, isn't that the car from Zhejiang Medical University? Could that be Ol Wu and Zhu Han? Chen Gu knew how dangerous the cursed hospital was, so he immediately took out his phone to call Ol Wu. Ol Wu, you have come to Xian High Countryside as well? It was Zhu Han who drove the car away. I parked the car in the original parking spot at the apartment, and then I brought Zhu Han with me to check in at a hotel in the middle of the city. But half an hour ago, when I went to take a shower, Zhu Han grabbed my keys. He's now missing, and he is not answering my calls. Swahan is not the kind of person to act so rashly. Take a close look around the room. See if he has left any clues behind for you. Chen Gu was a bit desperate. The battle between the haunted house and the cursed hospital was on a completely different level. No matter how clever Swahan was, if he was dragged into this battle, there was only one ending. Death. When I went to take a shower, I believe he was reading a book. Hmm, yes, found it. The sound of pages being flipped came from the other side of the line. Olwu suddenly said, hmm. Did you find something? Some of the words on this page have been circled in pencil, Olwu said softly. Room, someone, the, is, in. Someone is in the room? Chengu widened his eyes. Someone is in the room. Oh Wu, leave the room immediately. Now. By the time Chen Gu shouted that order, the other side of the line had already gone quiet. No matter how loud he cried, there was no response. The cursed hospital has already made their move, so what exactly do they wish to take from these people around me? Chen Gu shared a very normal relationship with Ol Wu. There was basically nothing that Ol Wu knew about Chen Gu. But even so, he was not spared by the cursed hospital. The memory that Ol Wu might have when he accompanied Chen Gu in leaving Xian Hai had already been wiped away by Zhang Yi. The cursed hospital would not find any valuable information on him. That could be considered the only good news. Have they targeted anyone related to me? The hospital is most familiar with curses. Is it possible that they are attempting to put a curse on me through the many individuals who are related to me? For most curses to work, they required a medium. The scarier and harsher the curse, the more significant the medium needed. A very bad feeling overwhelmed Chen Ji's heart. Time is needed to complete a curse. They have just taken all Wu, so if I am not wrong, their curse cannot have been completed just yet. Chen Gu looked at the car that sped into the darkness, and he moved faster than before. At 11.30 p.m., Chen Gu finally arrived at the perimeter of Xian Hai Central Hospital. This abandoned hospital was situated at the middle of Xian Hai's countryside. Several buildings were joined together to form an inverted cross. It gave off a sense of death, like a zone of hell. This is the place where my parents gone disappeared, huh? Chen Gu did not use the front door. He summoned the red high heels and Shui Rong while he observed the hospital from the outside. Shui Rong did not expect that she would once again return to this place where her nightmare originated after she tried so hard to escape from it. The curse in her body was evoked. If not for the suppression from the red high heels, she would have gone berserk. Have you lost your mind? Why would you voluntarily come here to seek death? Can't you just live your life peacefully in Jiujiang? What is so bad about that? Shui Rong tried her best to maintain her rationality. Stop wasting time. You were a night doctor at the cursed hospital before, so you should be very familiar with the inside of this place. I am not going back into this place. There is no way you can convince me. Shui Rong was on the verge of breakdown. Chen Ge had the red high heels add new curses on Shui Rong. The cursed hospital has captured my employees, 
and they are threatening with the lives of many other innocent people. I am not asking you to do me a favor here. If you do not want to help me, then I will have my employees swallow you up right this moment. Jin Ji's tone was sharp and icy. At a moment like this, hesitation and kindness would not help. It would only delay his plan. The black lines on Shui Rong's body continued to increase as the red high heels applied more and more curses on Shui Rong. When Shui Rong was treating the red high heels, she too had placed many curses on the red high heels. In a way, this was a cycle in and of itself. Stop. Fine. Shui Rong's eyes were bleeding. Black blood vessels surfaced on her skin, and she was in extreme pain. The cursed hospital will not capture people for no reason. There are only two kinds of people that they will capture, doctors who are worth investing in and humans who possess the unique properties to become patients. When the doctors are tricked into joining the hospital, they will start their work as a day doctor, but the patients are not so lucky. They will be kept inside the quarantine area. If they can survive for three days, they will gain a new number, which will replace their name. Quarantine area? Yes, all the new patients will be locked up there. The black blood vessels on Shui Rong's skin disappeared. She glanced at the red high heels fearfully. Her once patient had become a very scary monster. The central hospital is very big, and the quarantine areas are at the deepest part of the hospital. I hope you will reconsider what you are doing. I think you might have misunderstood me. I am not going to the quarantine areas to save people. Then, what are you planning to do? Shui Rong was a bit confused. My plan is to completely destroy this hospital and clear out any humans or ghosts who have already fallen for the curse. After cleansing the whole hospital, naturally, I will be able to rescue the people that they have kidnapped. Chen Gu waved his arms. Bring us into the hospital. Lead the way. Since she was basically no different from a hostage, Shui Rong had no choice. She led Chen Gu to the left side of the hospital. This here is the side door. It is relatively safer because only the hospital staff know about it. After Shui Rong said that, both she and Chen Gu saw the car that was parked beside the side door. Why would the car from Zhejiang Medical University be parked here? Did Suhan enter the hospital from the side door? But didn't you say that only the hospital staff know about the existence of this door? But that's the truth. Shui Rong was clueless as well. I have no reason to lie to you. I will end up worse a thousand times if I am recaptured by the cursed hospital compared to being captured by you. Therefore, I will unconditionally side with you. If the hospital staff know about this place, then doesn't that mean that they will predict me using this door? This route is not as safe as you think. Chen Gu shook his head. He chose a window that was even more out the way. At 11.54 p.m., Chen Gu officially entered the cursed hospital. Xian High Central Hospital was supposed to have been abandoned for a long time already, but the inside of the building reeked of disinfectant, and there were occasional footprints and shoe prints on the ground as if people still wandered these halls. When Captain Kai called me earlier, he told me that there was no trace of any recent human activity at the hospital. Why would he lie to me? Was something standing next to him when he made that call? With the aid of Yang vision, Darkness posed no trouble for Chen Gu. He carefully moved down the corridor. Without moving that far, Chen Gu saw someone had used a red paint to write the following on the wall of the corridor, this is a sickened world, why not destroy it? The ghastly handwriting, combined with bright red paint, it stood out even in the dark. Chen Gu frowned slightly. He continued to move forward. The real maddening side of this hospital was slowly being exposed to Chen Gu. Yellow death notices appeared on the ground, and black and white pictures of doctors were hung upside down on the walls. Some of the pictures had scratch marks from fingernails, and the white coats were poked through with needles. The owner of the cursed hospital is the hospital director, and the doctors, why would they allow such vandalism of the doctor's pictures? The situation was more complicated than Chinga thought. The corridor that he had been walking along appeared to reach down into the endless darkness, 
and every door seemed to hide a monster behind it. Every corner of the hospital showed signs of the patient's struggles. The walls had been repainted layer after layer. The surface looked white as snow, but the inner layers were already corrupted, and the new layer did nothing to cover up the rotting smell. This whole place does not feel right, but strangely enough, I cannot sense the presence of any monster or ghosts. Chen Gu had superhuman senses. Ever since he entered the hospital, he did not sense any danger. He only felt strangely uncomfortable, like he was dropped inside a pool of quicksand. The white cat, which was highly alert when it was outside the hospital, started to relax once inside the hospital. It strode next to Chen Gu and sometimes turned its head around to observe things out of curiosity. Do not let your guard down. The night at the cursed hospital has always been like this. You should be lucky that you have not run into any patients or night doctors. Every single one of them is scarier than the last. Even though she was already a red specter, when Shui Rong thought back to these things, she was still afraid. Are you sure? How come it feels like all the ghosts have already decided to leave tonight? Chen Gu pushed open the door of the sick room. He saw the handwriting left behind by the patient on the wall next to the bed, who can bring me away from this sickened world. Why does everyone here think the world is sick? The truth is that because they themselves are sick, and that is why the world looks sick from their perspective, isn't it? There was plenty of similar handwriting, scratch marks, and paper notes that had the same message. Chen Gu had a feeling the cursed hospital was doing this on purpose. A normal person was led into the impression that they were living inside a sickened world, and then the cursed hospital used many crazy methods to show them how sick the world was to get the normal person to approve of the world's sickness. Once that impression was made, the normal person would officially become a patient. No matter what, I cannot allow my conviction to be shaken. No matter how imperfect this world might be, it exists in reality. Just walking down the corridor, the sickened world had already appeared before his eyes who know how many times already. Chinga finally understood why he felt so uncomfortable when he arrived at this place. Xian High Central Hospital was different from the outside world. In fact, one could say that the whole of Xian High's countryside was different from other places. This place was the real sickened world. They appear to have the aim of forcing madness on everyone that enters the hospital, be it the patients or the doctors. The scariest part of the cursed hospital was not the fact that they would kill people, but that they would do everything in their power to change a person, like with the ghost fetus. What the shadow was looking for was bliss. He was desperate for love and being loved, but after he ran into the cursed hospital, the shadow's worldview was corrupted. The child, who originally had a chance at salvation, was turned into a demon god in the world of the dark fog. He had committed many erroneous crimes and had been made to suffer the most painful and the most despairing curse, and the culprit behind everything that had happened to him was the cursed hospital. Chen Ge had no idea why the cursed hospital would do something like that, but he knew that what he needed to do now was ensure that he was not influenced by the cursed hospital. From the moment his employees were kidnapped, the cursed hospital appeared to have initiated their plan. Chen Gu wanted to destroy the cursed hospital, and the cursed hospital wanted to turn Chen Gu into a patient. The history behind the two parties had started more than 20 years ago, it crossed the line of life and death and two cities. It involved many forces. Many ghosts and people were waiting for this moment. Walking out from the reception hall, Chen Gu entered the ICU. When Shui Rong and his employees were not paying attention, Chen Gu silently brushed against the wedding ring on his finger. Xiao San was located somewhere underneath the hospital. Chen Gu was very close to him. Chen Gu did not head directly to Xiao San, but continued with his original plan. Along the way, he did not run into any living person or any ghost. He moved smoothly and arrived at the door that led underground. The first quarantine zone is underneath this door. I need to remind you, this place is very dangerous. Shui Rong's expression became quite strange. Black lines started to appear in her blood-red eyes. The atmosphere is indeed rather unusual at the hospital tonight. 
you'd better remain on alert. Looking at the dark corridor, Chinga rushed into it without any hesitation. Chapter 1160, Am I Still Me? The underground layout of Xi'an High Central Hospital was incredibly complicated. The internal space was very large, and the twisted handwriting could be seen everywhere. The air reeked of heavy disinfectant. The ground was littered with stained patients' garbs and various types of trash. Occasionally, no entry signs could be seen at the corners of the corridors, but the wooden signs had all been decayed away, and there were clear signs of struggles from the nail marks there were left behind on them. How come I have not encountered a single person or ghost at all? Is this Xiao Sun's work? But no matter how powerful Xiao Sun is, he could not have cleared an entire scenario on his own. Chen Gu walked down the underground corridor for a very long time. He looked into the many different sick rooms that were not locked. It was not until then that he realized none of the rooms at the hospital appeared to be locked. He could open the door and explore them if he wanted to. He had no idea what this meant but his feeling told him that this was not right. I have to be careful around these doors. The atmosphere inside the hospital became stranger and stranger. The feeling of oppression and suffocation grew stronger and stronger. It was as if the building that they were inside was slowly dropping into the abyss, and no one inside the building would be able to escape. If you move further ahead, you will reach the quarantine area. Everyone that is brought to the hospital, be it doctor or patient, will be first sent to the quarantine zone. Shui Rong's eyes were moving around. Her pupils were flushed with blood. Then that means that you were once sent into the quarantine area when you first arrived at this hospital as well. In that case, do you still remember any details from your days spent inside the quarantine zone? Chinga suspected the secrets behind the hospital were all locked behind the quarantine zone. The quarantine zone's main purpose is for the hospital to observe the patients and have them recognize their true selves. After their condition has stabilized, they will be released. Shui Rong did not really answer Chen Ji's question, but instead, she introduced the function of the quarantine zone to Chen Gu. How would a normal person be forced to recognize their true self? How would a person who is not sick get their condition stabilized? Chen Gu could not help but frown. What exactly is inside the quarantine area? What Chen Gu did not tell Shui Rong was, he realized Xiao Sun was currently located inside the quarantine zone. I really cannot remember anything. After leaving the quarantine zone, I realize I was unable to remember anything that has happened inside the quarantine zone. Shui Rong did not look like she was lying around. All I could remember was after I left the quarantine zone, I started to approve with the hospital's philosophy and voluntarily stayed to work at this place. You cannot remember anything about it? Chen Ge thought back to the final stage of the ghost fetus scenario. He did not see any memory that was related to the quarantine zone inside the apartment building that was a tome of the ghost fetus memory. In fact, the ghost fetus memory started after he was moved into the sick room. Based on what Shui Rong had said earlier, when a new person was brought to the hospital, they first had to been sent into the quarantine zone and not assigned a sick room. Did the ghost fetus forget the incidents that happened to him inside the quarantine zone as well? Chen Gu continued ahead. There was not even a glimpse of light around him, nor was there any sign of life. A strange feeling started to arise in his heart. The underground building of the cursed hospital was very similar to the underground scenario of his own haunted house, the atmosphere was surprisingly similar. It was eerie, scary, and it kept creating different nightmares to consume various negative emotions. It feels like both the Black Phone and the Cursed Hospital are trying to build the same thing, but the path that they have chosen to do this is completely different. Chingu eventually reached the end of the corridor, and before him now was a staircase that led deeper underground. At the corner of the staircase, written in uneven writing, were the words, Quarantine Area. The signal that came from the wedding ring became more intense. Chingu was on high alert and slowly moved down to the second basement level. This is the quarantine area? Chen Gu glanced down at the sick rooms at both sides. The rooms were filled with many different old clothes and old shoes. 
some of the models had already gone out of fashion. They were from at least 10 years ago. I saw a similar setup at the old hospital storage where Chirin worked. The shelves there were filled with various kinds of shoes as well. At the time, the image had left a deep impression on Chengu. Each pair of shoes appeared to represent a person. After entering the storage, he felt like there were many different dead people squatting on the shelves. He continued to move down the corridor. Several consecutive rooms that he walked by were filled to the brim with old clothes. Just how many people has the cursed hospital treated in the past 20 years? Chinga temporarily did not notice anything special about the quarantine zone. What changed was the number of crazed words that were left on the walls. They overlapped over each other. Even if one did not pay them specific attention, the message would be imprinted in one's mind. The smell of disinfectant in the air became so heavy that it had reached the point of being stinging to the nose. But what most alarmed Chin Gu was that even though the smell of the disinfectant was so intense, it did nothing to cover up the barely discernible stench that was lingering in the air. He was very familiar with this stench, he had once encountered it in the world behind the ghost fetus door. It was a kind of stench that only his nose could pick up. He carefully walked into the deepest part of the quarantine zone. Chin Gu finally stopped in front of a door. This was the fourth floor underground of the cursed hospital, and it was the location where the stench was the thickest and the location where the signal from the wedding ring was the strongest. Xiao Sun appeared to be behind this door. The whole hospital has not even one person. Why would they purposely leave Xiao Sun behind the door? Could it be that Xiao Sun has already been exposed? Or are all the ghosts from the cursed hospital currently hiding this door? The situation at the cursed hospital was too strange. Chen Gu did not dare lower his guard. He gave it some thought. Before he pushed the door open, he whispered Zhang Ye's name in his heart. The shadow behind him started to ripple. Zhang Ye also did not discover anything that was too strange about this hospital. She could not sense anything dangerous about this place. This appeared to be a very normal abandoned hospital. With a demon god present, Chinga felt more comforted. He signaled for Shui Rong to go and open this door at the deepest part of the quarantine zone. Shui Rong herself was one of the more powerful red specters. She would be able to take care of herself when she was faced with danger. Furthermore, she was at the constant edge of a breakdown, and she would not be able to listen to Chen Ji's order if that happened, so if an accident happened, it would not decrease the overall power level of Chen Ji's haunted house. Chen Gu had taken many different factors into consideration before he decided to have Shui Rong push open the door. Shui Rong did not refuse. In her mind, her memory about her days in the quarantine zone was a blank as well. She wanted to recover the part of her memory that was lost. The finger that was covered in wounds landed on the door. Shui Rong slightly pushed. Just as she pushed open the door a gap, the shadow behind Chin Gu started to spread like a black ocean. An indescribable horror reached its boiling point, and a pale arm reached through the line between reality and the void, carrying an enormous wave of blood as it surged at the door. At the same time, the door before Shui Rong was thrown open from the inside. An arm that was carved with many black human faces reached out to block Zhang Ye's wave of blood and then another blood-red arm reached out from inside the door to grab at Chen Ji's shoulder. Two demon gods. Black hair wound itself tightly around Chen Ji's body. He became the battleground for the three demon gods. His body temperature instantly dropped below zero. Chen Ji's physical body was being torn in many different directions. Just as he was about to be torn apart by the three demon gods, the black hair completely enveloped itself around Chen Gu. Zhang Ye hugged Chen Gu from behind and charged actively into the door. Zhang Ye's diary that was sitting inside Chen Ji's backpack disintegrated into dust, and the lines of words appeared on Chen Ji's body instead. At the same time, the blood on Yen Danian's comic was slowly being washed away. All the pictures started to disappear. One red specter and ghost after another was pulled into the door. As the owner of the comic, 
Before the last page of the comic disappeared, he held a ballpoint pen that was covered in cellophane tape in his hand and was madly drawing something at the edge of the page that was quickly dissolving. Before he was sucked into the door, the final painting that he had completed also appeared on Shin Ji's back. Heaven and Earth Spun His body felt as if it had been pulled apart into small pieces and reconstructed again. Chen Go hugged his head with both of his hands. Many different memories in his mind were being squashed, and they were replaced by painful memories that did not belong to him. This is a sickened world. Actually, you are more familiar with that fact than anyone else. In less than half a minute, the fourth basement level of the cursed hospital returned to normal. Death, silence, oppression, and a complete void of hope. He slowly opened his eyes. His line of sight was very blurry. Chin Gu tried multiple times before he managed to find a focus. His body was covered in pain. The pain came from all parts of his body, but the source of the most intense pain was his brain. Chin Gu found that he was unable to control his body. All he could do was barely move his eyes about. He realized he was lying inside a sick room. The sunlight shone into the room through the window that was equipped with an iron fence. It was very warm and comfortable. The sick room was not big, and there were other people in the room because Chin Gu could hear drifts of conversation coming from the other corners of the room. C-reactive protein, homocysteine, male hormone, head CT, hypophamine CT, breast CT, the speed of the nervous transport system does not any obvious anomaly. Similar checks have been done during his previous bout of fainting. His mind was clear, inspection of his heart and lungs showed no sign of damage, the nervous system showed no sign of negative impact, and his limbs were working just fine. There should have been a chance for him to improve, but his condition suddenly worsened after the treatment began. The patient suffers from paranoid schizophrenia as well as serious delusions. Searching for the source of the voice, Chin Gu slowly turned his head and looked beside him. Two doctors in white coats were chatting with one another. After the younger doctor noticed Chen Gu had woken up, he immediately stopped talking and walked out from the room with the document file in his hand. The other middle-aged doctor, though, walked over to Chen Ji's bedside. How did you sleep last night? Chen Gu raised his head with difficulty. When he saw the middle-aged doctor's face, his lips opened slightly, but he realized he was unable to utter a single word. You've forgotten everything again? The middle-aged doctor appeared to have gotten used to this already. I am your main physician. My name is Gao Ming. You can call me Dr. Gao, for short. Dr. Gao? The words were slowly formed in Chen Ji's lips. His throat was completely raw. It was incredibly taxing even just for him to say these two words. Looks like you have come back to us. Dr. Gao removed the straps that had been used to keep Chin Ji's limbs bound. Last night, when you were acting up, do you know how much trouble you gave me and the workers? Me? Acting up? Whenever Chin Gu tried to remember what had happened, an intense pain would shoot through his mind as if someone was using a knife to stab into his brain. Take these pills and have a good rest. After your condition has completely stabilized, I will apply to have you sent over to the normal sick bay. Dr. Gao fed Chin Gu two white pills. After swallowing the meds, Chin Gu realized his headache was gradually going away. After ensuring that Chin Gu had swallowed the pills, Dr. Gao turned to walk away. Wait a minute, Dr. Gao. Even though he was quickly overwhelmed by drowsiness, Chin Gu still called after Dr. Gao. What is this place? Xian Hai Central Hospital. Who brought me here? Don't you worry about that. Just get a good rest. Do not go and think about those things. It will only hinder your recovery. Dr. Gao left after he said all that. The sick room became incredibly quite other than the occasional bird song that came from outside the window. The warm sunlight showered itself warmly on Chen Ji's body through the iron net. He tried his best to gather his strength, but he was unable to sit up. My head hurts so bad. His mind was working very slow, and whenever he tried to formulate a thought, 
intense pain would shoot through his body, so all Chen Gu could do was lie in the bed quietly. After who knew how long, the door was pushed open, and a young female nurse walked in carrying his meal. When Chen Gu saw the female nurse's face, the name practically slipped out of his lips. Su Wan? When she heard Chen Ji's voice, it was clear that the female nurse was quite shocked. She placed the tray of food on Chen Ji's bedside table, and she sat down beside Chen Gu. You managed to remember my name after all? I guess the six months I have spent looking after you were not a complete waste after all. The female nurse was very kind. She looked cute and her voice was very soothing. Six months? You have taken care of me for half a year? Chen Ji's brows were knitted in a frown, and his brain felt like it had been pierced with a thousand needles. Seeing Chen Gu in such pain, the female nurse quickly stood up, your condition has not stabilized yet. Please do not use your brain too much. It will only cause further injury. Tell me, can you please tell me? The pain scrunched up Chen Ji's face, but he still gritted his teeth to repeat those words. I will not tell you anything, lest it puts any more pressure on you. Please do not exhaust yourself like this. I will go and get the doctor now. Suwan turned to leave, but the corner of her shirt was grabbed hold by Chen Gu. Turning around, Suwan looked into Chen Ji's eyes that were filled with pain and sadness. Who brought me here? What has happened to me? Suwan did not the heart to leave. She sat back down beside Chen Gu and reached out to massage Chen Ji's arm that was bursting with green veins. If you can calm down, I will tell you what you wish to know. That is a promise. Taking a deep breath, Chen Gu forced himself to stop thinking, and the pain slowly faded away. His facial expression slowly returned to normal. Chen Gu was like a wounded stray. His eyes were filled with the lethargy and pain after a long struggle. Now, can you tell me? About half a year ago, you drove your parents to the hospital. Your whole family was caught in a traffic accident, and only you were saved in the aftermath. At this point, Su Wan took a pause. She watched Chen Ji's status closely. After noticing Chen Gu did not react too intensely, she continued. But your brain was heavily damaged. You were in coma for a very long time. Not too long ago, you finally woke up, but the effect of the traffic accident appeared to leave you with a serious case of delusion. I am suffering from delusions? Yes, I believe it is your brain trying to protect itself. You refuse to admit that your parents are already gone, and you keep evading the truth and live inside the memory that you created for yourself. Suwan looked at Chen Gu with clear concern in her eyes. Occasionally, you lash out, but at other times, you are so still. During the few moments of sentience, you would describe a world where humans and ghosts were able to coexist, and you kept saying that you'd search for your parents, believing you could one day find them. That was not a delusion, and I did not make any of that up. Without even thinking, Chen Ji's subconscious offered the words. I did not mean to shatter your dream, but if you insist on staying inside that dream, your only company will be pain. It is time to move on. Su Wan sighed under her breath. Actually, you know that's all fake. For example, in your story, you have not even met your parents because they are already dead. Furthermore, you rarely drive to any location, you always prefer public transport or taxi. That is because your subconscious is still afraid of driving after that car accident that cost your parents' lives. It is not that you do not know what is happening. It is just that you have been purposely avoiding seeing the truth before you. Can support us, completed novel house in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story.